Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Everybody says in the office, I'm very bright today. Boy, it's good morning, isn't it? It's Friday. It's the weekend, officially, starts right here. So welcome to Friday. Does uh, everybody else love a Friday? Even if I'm working the weekend, I think, Friday. Brilliant. Absolutely. Is it just me? No? No? Uh, right. I've got one of my favourite guest designers in today. We shouldn't have our favourites, but I do love this one. She was my first. Never forget your first, do you? Never. So, it's our lovely Fleur Hastings, gorgeous girl. How are we? I'm good, thank you. You look stunning, as always. Oh, thank you. Love your dress. Yeah, I love this dress, it's my favourite We're going to have to one. strip that cardi off in a bit. You have to, you know, don't, let's not be <laughs> hiding it. No, because I've got horrible arms. You haven't got... Oh, I tell you, she's been ever so hard on herself this morning. <laughs> she has, she's been really hard on herself. Uh, well, I hope you've got a lovely weekend plan. Now, don't forget this morning, you can get in touch with us and you can get involved. And if you, have a ch if you send a text in, hopefully we'll get a chance to read it out. We can't always read all of them, but we'll do our best. And we'll do our best, yeah. And then we'll have a little natter with you. So, and if you've got any questions on definitely chain mail, you've got the chain mail queen, the mistress of chain mail over there. Is who she is. So if you have, and, and she's done a new weave today. She has. She just told me she's done a new weave, haven't you, that we've, you've we've never got, done before? We've got a new weave in the second kit that we're mm. going to demo, and I've done a new weave just to see how people liked it, and if people like it, then we will definitely do a demo. I, I love it. I've already bagged it to take it home. I'm going out tonight with my dad for a nice meal. I needed some new jewellery. Now look at that. With those abalone droplets there. Oh, this is the first kit that we're going to be bringing up to you in about 10 minutes or so, really. And I love those black sort of yeah. black effect. I've never used those before. Oh, I think they're brand new. Never I seen think, them? Yeah, I think they're brand new. Oh, no, don't. And they'd be good, good for gents as well, wouldn't they? Yeah, it would be a really nice oh, gents piece. That is very decadent. Oh, we like those, don't we? There's a big screen over there. So if ever you look back thinking, hey, what's she looking at? Do you not look at, I'm looking at the big screen over there because I like to see it up and big and close. You know, when you have like a, as you get older, you get a bigger and bigger telly so you can see it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's my excuse anyway. Um, so, yes, we've got some, oh, we've got some lovely sterling silver today. We've got some phenomenal cabochons. Um, we've got a wonderful, wonderful strand called Lepidolite, if you've never seen that before as well, so that's very exciting. Uh, lots of sterling silver as well, uh, amazing jump rings, of course, as we've got the lovely Fleur. So uh, we're going to have a fun morning, so text in, so I was chatting about texting and I moved on, didn't I? Uh, text in on 60, if you would, 777, start that cheeky text of yours with JM Studio and let's have a natter. Get involved, it's your show, get involved. Anyway, in case anybody thinking, who are you? I'm Zena. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good, good morning. Uh, right then, so should we get cracking? Shall we? Everybody's going, yeah, would you? <laughs> ah, right, okay. Now, I did say I was going to start with some sterling silver, didn't I? So that's exactly... Oh, now these. Oh, these are so pretty. Now, we haven't seen these. They've only just come back into stock. You're going to love these. Um, we haven't seen these since April. So that's May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, Jan. Nine months since we've seen these. Now let me pick one up for you because I'm going to... They are a double spacer and they are... If I can just show that round for you. Let me show you. The, they're so pretty. Can't believe I've seen nine months we've waited for these. Goodness me. No, you could have had a baby in that time, couldn't you? 925 sterling silver. Can you see, look, there's two roses on there. Now, I'm just thinking, I mean, we on the show the other day, we had some lovely uh, rose-shaped ambers in lemons and cherries and multicolour amber, Baltic amber. I'm just thinking, any time you've got any of our carved rose gemstones or... I mean, let's just think as well. We have got... These are spaces in jewellery. We've got Mother and Sunday on the 6th of March in the UK, haven't we? Imagine making a beautiful bracelet or a necklace with this as your feature spaces two beautiful little roses in 925 sterling silver now they've only been on air twice before ever in the whole history in the whole five years of jewelry mate gosh but six years this year isn't it yeah. Ooh, six years in, oh in may just jump it over there um so yeah six years in may we've, we've, we've been on air so um but yet yeah, these are solid 925 sterling silver i'll just hold them up for you so you can actually see the holes as well, so you can see the size of the holes there for you, actually, oh hang on, let me turn it around, there we go, can you see? My tweezers are covering one of them, but it's the same size as the other one, <laughs> if that helps. And um, so those are your double spacers. Now, 
They are just beautiful, aren't they, they Fleur? Are absolutely beautiful. They look amazing with chainmail. If you put two pieces, Ooh, yeah. uh, two um, head pins, or a, a piece of wire, and then put a, a head pin loop on yeah. either side, and then connected it into your chainmail, that would oh, look, look really beautiful, beautiful. wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Now the good thing is as well, we have got some sterling silver um, spacer uh, hoops coming up as well this morning as well, so that's great news. Now these are just divine, aren't they? You are going to get ten of them. Okay, so again, that's a lot of silver weight, isn't it? Now, the price we're going to take them to, now, if we just remember, this is 925 sterling silver. Any time you add sterling silver into your designs, you can do anything from adding 5, 10, 15 pounds, doubling, depending on the price of your jewellery, doubling the value of your jewellery. But these, it, for me, it's all in the detail. I mean, there's so much work. I'm, I dread to think what the... I'm just going to tell my producer as well, the lovely Scott, that at the moment, I'm not getting in for... It's good, good job I can read the screen. <laughs> Oh, it's come through now. That's all right. I'm just looking. Uh, I mean, that's a lot of sterling silver weight as well, isn't it? They are just divine. Look at that. I'm just going to show it you look as it sits proud as well. So you can see all those layers of those beautiful rows in solid 925 sterling silver. Okay, now let's get the price in. We are going to take these. Okay. In April, when we bought these to you last time, nine months ago, they were 14 95 and they sold out in seconds. That's one pound, just less than one pound fifty each. Be one pound forty nine and a half pence if we, well, you know, if we still had half peas, but we don't, do we? They are just beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Do you know what, Scott? Now, come on, Scott, it's the start of the weekend. Scott's out, he's a manager. You're a manager, Scott. Come on, he can do a bit better than that. I know they sold out at 14.9, so what? Oh, oh, hang on a minute. There we go. We started the weekend. Oh, my goodness gracious me. We've just given you a 33% saving. We have now just taken each of those to less than a pound each. Bear in mind, solid 925 sterling silver there. Just less than a pound a piece. Oh, my goodness gracious me straight away Belinda Belinda have you been to bed she was with I tell you what she's well, I tell you what she's up bright and early Pauline and our lovely Carol there's so many people now coming Marie Jacqueline Deborah collectors Susan Tina Lynn Beshley so many of you good morning do you know the early bird catches the worm doesn't it that's what you're doing ten of those are oh, they are just charming aren't they they are uh, and there's so many mediums you can work them with yeah. you could do a stretchy bracelet put some elastic through them and then just do a, a double stranded stretchy bracelet you could um, use your macrame, so all your S lines yeah, and your silk cords. Um, you could use your wire work, your memory wire bracelets. You know, you could put two strands of memory wire and then do a memory wire style bracelet. See, that would be just nice, lovely. yeah. They're yeah. just very versatile, but they're also beautiful for earrings as well. Imagine yeah. them as earrings. You've got one, one of the loops, to one of the holes to then go to your earring find and one to yeah. have um, a drop. Say, yeah, those are, as earrings would just, yeah. be, as you say, would just be beautiful, yeah. wouldn't they? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, don't just think about these Azure spacers. They could be, I mean, they're such a versatile. I'm um, just trying to see if I can hold them up for you again, just so I can show you the double. Because, again, those just as earrings, just as hang, hanging down, even yeah. with those, because you have a little droplet of a pearl yeah. coming underneath yeah. or something, yeah. couldn't you? Just show you those, if I can see them. It's quite hard to show you the two holes, but just see if I can pick them up for you. So you can actually, oh, I don't, I don't know. I've already, I've already, yeah. Hang on a second. You could make that as into just a lovely necklace as well, because the way it would just hang with nice the two little holes little. as well on the back. I'll show you that again. But yeah, bracelet, earrings. Make a little ring if you wanted to. Could Some make silver, a sterling ring. silver yeah. wire, couldn't you? Yeah, beautiful yeah. ring, yeah. Now, you know when I said to you, my lovelies, that they're slippery little suckers as well, I tell you. But yeah, I'm thinking uh, Valentine's Day, coming up in three weeks on Sunday. Oh, yeah, three weeks on Sunday. Start thinking about it. Get your cards in before you forget, um, before you get in trouble. Uh, but, yeah, so um, Mothering Sunday, as I said. Now, Mothering Sunday in the UK is the 6th of March, um, and it's the 8th of May, I think it is, second Sunday uh, for the, uh, in America. So it does differ depending on where you are. Uh, Mothering Sunday, it's always a lovely time, isn't it? But to hand make a piece of jewellery for your mum or your mother-in-law, what a lovely idea that would be. Ten of those. I mean, I'd quite to see that. I'd like to see those if you wanted to be. I mean, at, at less than a pound each, you could actually make quite a nice. I'd put. Could you put like three of those onto yeah. a bracelet? You could. Yeah. Couldn't you make could a real you, feature? Yeah. If you did um, a stretchy bracelet and That's had a double thinking. stretchy bracelet and had them set up every th third bead, so do three beads yeah. and then put one of these in. Be really yeah. beautiful that. 
Yeah. And if you get the coils of our memory wire, um, do you know, this is what I love about our director, Ollie. He gets so involved. He said, you know what you said, Zane, in the end. Then he said, right, what you could do, you could get the memory wire. You know when you get the coils? We normally do about 14 coils of the memory wire in the ring, don't, don't we? Add those in, sort of do a three sort of stacker type coil. Have that as the main feature on the ring and it would look absolutely beautiful. Wouldn't it? It would look Good really idea, nice. Ollie. Oh, now I did, now two thirds of the stock have already gone. How many did I start with? Lovely Scott Alicious. 150. Okay, so 100 have gone. Okay, that only leaves me 50. Sorry, so. Um, Marie, my lovely in South Yorkshire. Deborah in, the in Tyne and Weir. Susan in Hampshire. Lynn in Hertfordshire. Brian in Berkshire. Sandra in Oxfordshire. Collector in the West Midlands. I've got, oh, Hyacinth. What a great name. Just coming on the telephone. Lovely. Barbara Jean. Now, uh, as well, any time you add sterling silver into your design, um, it just elevates you as a jewellery maker. Oh, the l hello, good morning. Hello. Alison Terry just mm -hmm. walked in. Morning. I'm guessing one has got a workshop today. One has got a workshop. I thought you might have. See you later. Have a mm -hmm. lovely day. <laughs> oh, lovely Alison Terry. Uh, she just popped her head in. So sorry, that was me chatting away. But yeah, sterling silver, when you add sterling silver into your designs, obviously you've got to remember you need your sterling silver. Anytime you're finishing with your crimps or your crimp covers or your, or your eye pins or your head pins or your clasp, if you want to call it sterling silver jewelry, the whole lot's got to be sterling silver as well. Don't forget that as well. But I'll tell you what, I'd love to see that as a full-on bracelet. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so please be quick checking out. I haven't got many left. Haven't got many left. Um, they're so pretty, aren't they? They are. They're really beautiful. You keep smiling at those, don't you? I do. You? I like those, yeah. I like those. They're really pretty. Lovely rose. Little rose spacer. Oh, what a lovely way to start the morning. And you're all feeling as lovely and happy as me now. It's lovely. I've got rose quartz. Oh, can you imagine? Rose quartz cabochon and then a rose spacer either side with... Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now, <laughs> now we are talking... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I did promise you some sterling silver um, hoopy hoops, loopy loops, didn't I? So let's do those next as well. Let's just kick start the morning with sterling silver. Let's be a bit decadent. And then we're going to start on the kit with our lovely fleur, fleurtastic. Now, can you see, look, if I can move, is it uh, that one there? Can you see, look, very, very helpful, although it is upside down, um, but very helpfully there, look, you can see these are blatantly stamped. Oh, no, it isn't upside down. Look, it is the right. Nine, two, five. That means you've got sterling silver. So the great thing is when you are working with these, these are your round ring spacers. They are solid 925 and you can prove the fact because they're hallmarked. Okay, always helpful. Always helpful. We've popped the lovely rose flower spacers, just in case you forgot, on the bottom of the screen then. The code is OCRF38. All my contact lenses are working. That's good. Couldn't have seen it other one. Uh, now you're going to get 10 of these. Now look at the thickness of these. I tell you what, these have got a really good... I'm going to say the word girth. Well, they have, haven't they? They have. They've got a good girth on them, they have. And uh, as we said, 925 sterling silk. Look at this. I'll tell you what, great for gents' jewellery as well. They are a, they're a chunky monkey, aren't they? They are beautiful, then. They are gorgeous. Could you still chain mail with those if you wanted to, or are they a bit thick? You could chain mail up to them, but it would sit flat. Yeah. Um, but yet, yeah, I would, personally, because I love my stretchy bracelets, I would put these as spacers. In my stretchy bracelets, and there's Ooh. a beautiful strand on there that I, I would... Yes. i tell you what. I'll be talking about the Lepidolite. Sounds... A, I've got, let's be honest. Some names of gemstones don't sound the best, do they? I mean, I've got two gemstones today. One called Stick Tight. Stick Tight. And one called... Not the best, is it? And one called Lepidolite. But you know what? Forget the name, because the beauty. Now, look at these. This is your wonderful... Oh, Gosh, this is, this is bang on trend, this colour. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, imagine that with uh, amethyst as well. I ha oh, gosh, I had a wonderful deal of the day on amethyst yesterday. Now, if you, as, as Fleur says there, if you pop those in between the sterling silver spacers, even if you just put three at the front of a, of a stretchy bracelet, it would really, really increase the value. And the look would just look so expensive, wouldn't it? Would look amazing, wouldn't it? Isn't yeah. have you ever seen a pedalite before? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Isn't it I gorgeous? Love it. love it. It's just got this beautiful silver shimmer, it's absolutely stunning. Thank you for one of her favorites. See, see, um, and that's the biggest availability that we've ever had on that. And I tell you what, the best.
price possible on lepidolite it is good and i tell you what just really quickly i shouldn't be showing you all these things yet but i'm going to i like to i like to just get you all all revved up now i've got shara white as well again not the best sounding name but look at that shara white look with that lepidolite would look amazing wouldn't it look at that oh and if you did get my faceted graduated wheel strand of the deal of the day yesterday where we went to under 10 pounds mm. Mm. Oh, and lepidolite with the rose quartz cabochons again. Oh, it's all happening this morning. Uh, can we get the price in for our lovely everybody out there? We're going to go all out for you. Wow. Less than 70 pence each. Hallmarked Chunky Monkey 925 Sterling Silver Spacers. We didn't expect that, did we? Now, I might have hoped to about 14.95, 12.95 at a push, but I tell you what, our manager Scott's gone all out there, bless him. Um, now, every, oh, I tell you what, I've got, oh my word. Everybody's having three. Susan's had three, Leslie's had three, Susan in Merseyside, Susan in Oxfordshire's had three. Um, Kathy's had three, now Fiona's gone for two, Cassandra's gone for two, Angela's gone for four, Deborah's gone for four. Do you know what everybody's doing? Everybody's just seen the price and said, hang on, hang on, hang on. Didn't expect that to happen. And it's literally when you go to your basket, or you put the plus sign, don't you? Or you just add change it, go, no, I'll have four, no, I'll have five, no, I'll have <laughs> That's what you've got to do. They're lovely. And look, the fact that they're hallmarked as well. Just one on a chain. If you've got a sterling silver ready-made chain that we've yeah. been doing. Just we've got some on just today. Just put one of those on a chain, and that's a real contemporary, high-end piece well, of jewellery. I wouldn't have thought of that, Fleur. Yeah, just just link it on, or even three if you wanted to be. Okay, now can I ask a question, right? Mm -hmm. Now, when we take bring our sterling silver chains to you, that no, I say chain necklace because they're ready done, aren't they? Usually sixteen to eighteen inch. And if we're lucky, we go to seven ninety five, right? Seven ninety five. You're adding in seventy p for one of those, so you're making it for less than nine pounds, right? What would you sell that for then? It's got to be about. Between twenty and thirty pounds, yeah. and you've done nothing to it other than Absolutely. other than just yeah. thread it on. But I personally would wear that myself. Yeah, that I would, would be, actually. That would be the kind of jewelry yeah. that I, I yeah. like to wear all day. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll keep these to one side today. And as soon as we get that, have I got a sterling silver necklace? Ne I've got. I know I've got. Oh yeah, I know I've got one coming up. Here we go. That was very convenient. What? I knew I'd got one. I knew I'd got one coming up. So it's ready made, sixteen to eighteen inch, hallmarked again. So let's just show you what I love. Have we got time for this? Sorry, Scott. Yeah. Now this is. Oh yeah. So as plus, I mean, a sterling silver change on the high street. You're talking twenty nine ninety nine. Because I've been and had a look myself. Oh, I would do that. And then you could just put a pearl drop on there if you wanted to, yeah. or a lepidolite drop, or um, oh, you know whichever yeah. you know whichever gemstone or your you choose. Stone. Yeah, your birthstone. Birthstone on there. Yeah, yeah lovely do... idea, isn't yeah. it? But I like that. How simple? I wouldn't have thought of that, Flo. How simple does that look? Really lovely it is. It's, I mean, as you undo it, you have to just be careful that you don't lose that little ring because it's it's large. The whole yeah. inside's large, so it will just come off. Yeah. But that would be the kind of jewellery that I would wear. And yeah. you could do the same in a bracelet as well. There's exactly, to lovely idea. And that's the thing. Sometimes, if you know, if we've got time to do a project, I mean, we think of, I mean, that beautiful chain chainmail necklace. Obviously, it's going to take time. But sometimes, again, if you are, if you have got a jewellery fair. Uh, and uh, you know, you go to jewellery fairs. I mean, there are 572 wedding fairs in the UK alone in 2016. 572. So sometimes you just want something simple, you know, something absolutely simple like that. And that's a kind of guaranteed sell, isn't it? All right, slurpy knickers over there. Did you hear first slurp then? Didn't, did I? Did yeah. I? Sorry. No, it was a good slur. Was it? I was impressed. It's a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, Victoria, good morning. I love saying good morning. Good morning. Good morning. She said simple two in one with those and the rose spice. Yes. Yeah, link them all together. Yeah. Stunning. They are just lovely, aren't they? So just to confirm, we're bringing you 10 of these. I'm just, we have got the chain coming up in the show this morning. So if you do want to recreate this look, we will be bringing you that chain uh, in the morning show. Um, and the rose spacers, in case you've just joined us, let me just pop that back so I don't forget where I put it. The rose spacers, just in case you've just joined us and you wanted to add one of these, this is what Victoria's talking about. It's these here. Now, the computer's trying to catch up. We have actually only got 50 left. So that computer's just trying to catch up with you all. We started with 165. I've got about 10 of you with it in your baskets. So we're actually officially down to 40. Um, okay, so all I would say, if I can just get my list of names coming up for you, those are the row spaces. We've popped them at the bottom of the screen. 
Um, so, yeah, so Lynn, Kathleen, Jackie, um, uh, Ka uh, Jackie, there's two Jackies actually, Alison, no, uh, Mary, Linda, just to let you know, my lovelies, that computer is catching up and we're down to less than 40 now, my lovelies. So, uh, and as I said, most people, Marjorie's just had four, Jacqueline's just had three. Um, so people are having two, 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 two. Oh, I tell you what, this one thinks like Noah's coming along, they're all going in two <laughs> by two. Um, so we'll keep those uh, lovely hoops to one side, less than 70 pence. I tell you what, Scott, thank you, lovely, because that's a brilliant deal. He's a good lad, isn't he? He's a good lad. Uh, right, should we do the kit? Should we get across to our lovely Fleur? Because that's what we love. That's what, that's what we're all here, isn't it? Let's face it, to see Fleur's demos. That's why I'm here. Shall I do the kit over here and then I'll come across to you? <laughs> right, then. So, I hang on. It's a fair whack in here, isn't it? There's a lot. Oh, good. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, now. Oh, no. Do you know when you're like, where do I start? Where do I start? You know, like that when you see like a food buffet and all your favourites, you're like, what do I pick up first? Now then. She's nodding. Now. Now. Oh. That. That. Just. Just on its own with a simple sterling silver little toggle clasp. Uh, or that. I tell you what. That with those silver rose spacers and a silver toggle clasp. That would look beautiful absolutely beautiful now that is in case you can't see let me just show you because it's got a lovely rainbow effect that there is your mystic blue color coated black spinel they are amazing 10 carats they're two by one mil on oh, they're just fabulous so mystics as soon as you've got that mystic on a, a coated black spinel you've got all the colors of the rainbow and you've got greens and golds and pinks and purples on there they're just lovely and then these, ooh, no, a lot of the work's done for you there, isn't it? It's all done for you. Oh, they are the most, this is your beautiful black coloured knitted wire. So it's almost like a Viking knit's already been done for you, isn't it? Wow, like the most beautiful part of the necklace. And, um, and it's silver beaded chain, three millimetre. So that's effectively a ball chain, isn't it? Yep, yep in between yeah so it's been popped in there for you already yeah it's gorgeous isn't it i've never seen that before on jewelry maker we had them quite a while ago um and then we didn't get any back but it, the i love working with oh, these because there's so many gorgeous. ways you can so you can take the ball chain out of there and have like two different elements then as well so you've got your knitted yeah. wire tube and then your chain as well oh. see now this particular ball chain never been on before Mm -hmm. It's its debut. So we'll show you those. We've shown you those. You've got two of those actually. Oh no, That's one little hang on. <coughs> How long's that? It's a metre. Hey, I'll tell you what. Oh goodness gracious me, I didn't realise that. And doesn't it? Right, I've got to show you these next because these go brilliant. I mean, there's lots of junk rings in here. We've got Fleur, we have to, don't we? But look at look at them. Now, figure of eight, look mm. at that. Oh, is that? Hang on a second. Have I picked up two? two? Oh, I've well, picked up. They've got stuck together, the little monsters. Oh, the little. Got stuck together then in the dish. They're making friends. Mind you, you could make a figure of eight jump yeah, in like that, you couldn't can. you? Yeah, you can. Just me to pick one that's stuck together. Right, there we go. Oh, now they are delicious. Oh, I mean, just those threaded on. Again, simple. Just, just one of those. Or three of those added on, like we've just done with the sterling silver chain and the sterling silver loop uh, hoop. Just add those onto that lovely cord again. That'd look lovely, wouldn't it? Would. Would. Just simple Probably again. They it, are yeah. gorgeous. Now those are your, what are we classing those? A black plated. Ooh. Black plated copper twisted jump ring. Seven mil. Get a hundred of those. Wicked. Oh, I'd love to see. Those, just, just that on that cord. Mm. Ooh. Now, I've got lots to get through. We've still got to get to, to our lovely Fleur's um, kit. So I'll just show you all the jump rings. Um, two different sizes. The silver plated again. You've got 6mm and 9mm. Those are clearly your 9mm. Okay, they are open. Okay. And then you've got... Uh, oh, I'm going to scoopy scoop. I love, it. I love my tweezers with a scoop. What a genius invention. It's great, isn't it? Look at that. It's like a perfect little scoop for getting the ice off your door mirrors. Um, so, 100 pieces of 6 mil there. Oh, 200? Hang on a minute. 200 of the 6 mil. 100 of the 9 mil. 
and a hundred. That's four hundred jump rings. Goodness gracious me, 400 jewelries. And then these, oh, these are lovely. Get a findings pack as well. I'll tell you what, we have spoilt you here. Now these, um, we've done these sort of bar-shaped gemstones in lots of different bar, uh, gemstones. I love the abalone. I think they are, now these are last of stock, I'm afraid. Okay, we haven't got any other, um, I saw, uh, this is the last amount that we've got in a kit. We've just suspended them there from the Mystic Coated Black Spinels. That's a lovely idea as well. Again, look how simple that is. Brilliant, absolutely beautifully, um, beautifully photographed there. It's gorgeous. Okay, so the abalone, where, you know when a drop of oil or, or, or it hits water and then it just ringlets out and you've got the, all those lovely rainbow colours. It's magical. Uh, let me see if I can hold that for you because I don't think I'm giving you the full... There we go. I'll quickly to tell you that you've got a 90-piece um, silver-plated findings kit in there as well. Okay, so you've got your 400 jump rings. You've got that mystic blue-coated black spinel. You've got that wonderful ball chain, the silver-beaded chain, which is the beautiful black-coloured knitted wire with the silver ball chain as well. And then, we're not ending there, you've got your organza gift bag. I'll quickly show you the chains. We always like to see the chain, don't we? You've got, this is your chain in your silver-plated. And then you've got ribbon endings, you've got two variations of toggle clasp, you've got um, these, you've got two sets of uh, head pins as well, the lovely flower head pins and the silver ball head pins. You've got earring wires and two pairs of, um, now that price there over £47, we're going to beat that dramatically, we're going to take over £20 off. I know, it's a shocker. So ear wires, shepherd hook earrings as well, two, two pairs of the shepherd hooks, one pair of the ear wires. Two lovely toggle clasps, I've just got to show you those look as well. One twisted with the rope again, absolutely beautiful, all silver plated. Your one metre of your chain, oval link chain, and two ribbon endings as well. So again, they'd go lovely with that black knitted mm. ball chain as well. Yeah. Tell you what we'll do, I said, I said we'll take £20 up, there you go. Oh my, g right, gosh, right, three strands of gemstones. Okay, if we were going to the baseline price of six ninety five each, you're you're talking twenty pounds and eighty five pence just for three gemstones, and that's if we go to the baseline price. Um, sorry, on the black, on the oh no, I've done that all wrong, haven't I? I haven't got three. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is that everybody's thinking? It's that beaded chain. It looks like two strands of gemstones. <laughs> sorry, I do apologise. So you now, I didn't talk about the length of the black spinel, did I? With the mystic blue coating on it. How long was that? 29 centimetres. Goodness gracious me. And I apologise about saying it was three. Can I show you why though, look, in case you're all sitting there thinking, come on, Zane. I know it's early morning, but look, it's because it looked like that. Look, so I've just got it in my head. It's because of the silver ball within that black knitted, that gorgeous black knitted wire really sparkles through. And it just looks mm -hmm. like a black spinel or something, it doesn't it? Does. So the black knitted wire with the ball chain, the mystic coated spinel, the abalone, 400 jump rings. The, have you got the essential beading thread as well? Oh, well, I haven't talked you through that. Just quickly, silver beading wire, monofilament and clear elastic as well. Okay, so didn't mention that. <laughs> now, the only thing is I've only got 65 of them. Now, that isn't very many for the morning show. In fact, I've got less than 60 already, look. Get a lot for your money, don't you? So we should be over £47. Hello, good morning, gorgeous good face. Morning. Mm, hello, lovely girl. I can't stop cuddling this one. You <laughs> smell lovely as well. Thank you. Um, can we have a look at what she's done? And new weave. So for those of you that love your chain mail, this clever lady here has done a new weave. We're not going to demo that one today, though, but if you like it, then we'll demo it. So this is one that we're going to demo. Oh, this one. don't those black. Gorgeous. Oh, jump rings look amazing. Do you know when it's a contemporary chain mail, I just think that those black um, jump rings are just the epitomised contemporary chain yeah. mail. Yeah. They really do. Just. And on that lovely knitted wire as well, yeah. that just looks brilliant. But again, even if you didn't want to do that whole um, section coming down, yeah. as I said earlier, just, you know what I said about putting a few just on the knitted wire look in the black? I mean, that alone, oh, so now that, I'd love to wear that just, yeah. just with those just on with it. Just with those yeah. on it. And it'd be so simple to make yeah. and really effective. Be, it would look beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. And then the bracelet that we're going to show you down here. This is now, have you got a name for this weave? This one's called the Elf Weave. The Elf Weave? Yes, yeah, so this is an Elf oh, Weave. Oh, did you have some little elves helping you? I wish I had. Oh. <laughs> 
But no, it's, no, but it is, it's, it's a very simple weave. <coughs> um, and if everybody likes that weave, then we can show that one when I've got those uh, those size jump rings in the next kit. Well, right. would you like to text in and let us know if you do like that new weave? I've got to be honest, I'm a fan personally. I've already bagged it to wear out tonight. She doesn't mm. know yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, yeah, please text in on 60777. Start your text with JM Studio and let us know what you think of that lovely new elf weave. I think it's beautiful. It's really nice. It's been around for a long time, um, but... It's personally, I've only been doing it for about three weeks that week. So, that is um, good. Cool. Th so is it true to say oh. there are thousands of weaves? Yes, there is, yeah. In Chainmail. A lot of them are variants yeah. of certain weaves. So, yeah. But yeah, there is there's a lot of weaves out there. So yeah. it was one that I, I've never really come across it before. And then I saw it and I had a go. Beautiful. And it is it's very simple, it is but it's gorgeous. very effective. On the side, it almost looks like a caricature of a heart. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, they do. They cross over on the yeah, sides. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Really Gorgeous. Then we've got the lovely, a long, um, gorgeous with that. Is that the ch that's the chain from the finding that's kit? That's the chain from the finding kit, yeah. I love it. And then you've attached it to those mystic coated black spinels. Yeah. Oh, that is lovely. Because blue and silver always work so great. It you've does. You've got that blue yeah. coating on yeah, the black spinel, haven't you? I mean, that, that pendant in itself is, we did um, the helm weave last week. Yeah. And that's just the helm weave with two Byzantine sections on either side. Wow. So if you did the helm weave last week have a go at that pendant because it is very simple that is lovely and it's beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. it's lovely and that's what we say about black uh, about uh, chain mail it's yeah. so wonderful because if blur teaches you how to do it yeah. you can recreate it exactly the same yeah. so it looks incredibly professional and they've got a really pretty pair of earrings yeah they, we? the um, spacer beads in the kit yeah uh, in the in the finest kit i've got really large holes in them so i just thought oh i could do the um black spinel in yeah. the little circle on monofilament tie in a knot and put one of the spacer beads in there and then there's enough room to get a big jump ring in there as well absolutely and, and the thing is as well though if you move those and change those to the sterling silver uh, sterling silver shepherd hook earrings and those lovely loops that are hallmark that we've just had 10 of them as well for under 10 pounds um, then, uh, well, six ninety five, weren't they? With those black spinel, you've got a full sterling silver mm -hmm. pair of earrings there and they've got yeah. to go for 25, 30 oh, pounds definitely, of black spinel definitely, yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you can see with the kit, my lovelies, just to mention there, we started with 65, I think it was. Yep, I'm down to less than 20 now. So Janet, Mary, Sharon, Deborah, Hazel and Collectors. Um, oh, now Zena in Greater London's just come in. Now Zena, look at me pointing at you. Now Zena, Zena <laughs> uh, in Greater London, is it you, my darling, that sent me that beautiful card? Because I have sent you a thank you card. She sent me a lovely card because I keep saying I've never met another Zena. And I just got your birthday card uh, yesterday. So it, it's a, it came yesterday and it, I showed it to my fellow last night. It's beautiful. She wrote me a lovely oh, note in there. Lovely. So uh, thank you, my darling. Uh, right then, so... We're going to have a go. I say we. It's the royal weeds. This one here going to do it. You could, this one is very easy. It's a very easy weave to learn, this one. Okay. It looks so dramatic with it those abalones. It does look dramatic. And, and do you know my abalone, I know they're all different because they're all genuine uh, genuine gemstones, but mine had some like blonde abalones in there. If you look at a few of them on there, they've, they've got like a beautiful So they've blonde. got some Claire McDonald in them? They have. They've got some Claire <laughs> McDonald beautiful blondes in there. <laughs> okay then, sweet pea. Yep. Uh, oh, and just to mention as well that the black spinel, if you take the ball chain out, the black spinel fits in the knitted wire. Oh, does wire. it? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So that if you didn't go through. To just pop the black spinel inside the knitted wire Fantastic. instead of that ball chain, it does fit. It's Lovely. a bit of a fiddle, but you can, but get, you can, them, get, yeah, you can get them in. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Now, if, now if, so if you are new to Jewelry Maker, good morning, welcome. Uh, what you'll see with uh, our lovely Flo when she does chain mail, she does it in bigger, more colourful sizes so that it's easier to demo. Okay. Yeah. So you so right, it. let's get Okay, so I've, I've already set up the first row just because um, you don't want to watch me add all these jump rings in. So if I just quickly talk through what I've done here. Okay. Um, and if you have got any macrame pins or dressmaking pins. pins or yep. something like that, it's, this weave's really easy to hold it all in place. So what I've done is I've got seven of my large jump rings. Yep. And on the last two, on the first and the last jump ring, I've added three loose, small of the black um, twisted jump rings okay and then on each one there after I've added five so each one's got five sorry they've got four so I do beg your pardon four on each end and five on the uh, five in the middle okay okay so that's what I've set up so these two at the top which I've pinned in place this is where my black um, ball chain will go through eventually so it will that will attach onto oh, the ball okay. chain there okay yep so if you wanted to add just your normal chain and leave your ball chain out then you wouldn't need those two on the top 
Okay. okay, so take that out of the way. Okay, so this is a Japanese weave, um, and it's uh, because it's a sheet weave, you don't use that many jump rings, so okay. it's perfect um, because we get a hundred of these beautiful black twisted jump rings. This, they all went into that one piece. Okay, lovely. Okay, so I'm going to take my first large nine millimeter jump ring, and what I need to do is these jump rings are going to sit in between the gaps on each one there. Okay. So my top row's got seven, this row will have less okay. jump rings, okay? So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, to start with, I'm going to take the last jump ring, so the loose jump ring on the very first one in the chain, mm -hmm. and I'm going to take just one ah. of the double pair that's hanging down there. Okay. So you can see now how it's going to sit into that formation. Yep. But now I need to add some of the twisted black jump rings to then be able to add another row down and to carry on across. Okay. okay. So I'm going to add one to go down to my next row, yeah. and just one to go across to the next the next row along, okay? And close that one up. So the first and the last are always slightly different. Okay, so you can see now how it's starting to yeah. come down. So my next large jump ring, mm -hmm. I need to connect into this space here. So I obviously need to connect it to the row that I've just started, so I go through the loose jump ring that's there, leave one hanging down so I can then go to my next row yeah. Take the second one from the second jump ring above, mm -hmm. and then the first one from the third jump ring. So each of these jump rings is holding two from the previous row, one from the side, and then I've closed that one up, but then I need to add some more jump rings. Yeah, that's the good thing, you just open them just up again. Open them if back you've up again, yeah. yeah. So I need, this time I need two on the bottom, because I need a jump ring to one sit here yeah. and one yeah, here. Yeah. So I need two to be able to add down and one to be able to add across. Okay. So I've added three jump rings into that row. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then what you're gonna do <coughs> is just carry on along. So I'll just carry on along this row now. So I've taken the one from the this side jump ring, the remaining jump ring that's left from the third on the top row, yep. and then the first one in of the pair on the fourth jump ring. And then before I close, add my three, oops, three jump rings. And there they'll be black twisted so ones. My black again, twisted they? Jump yeah. rings. You can do this with the um, the six millimeter that are in the kit as well. So oh you okay, can great. so you if you don't want to use the black jump rings for this you can use them for that as well. Okay, lovely. Okay, so just carry on. Can I just mention to everybody on the screen there, look we've only got ten kits left. I'm ever so sorry, but we have if you bought all those components separately you'd be over forty seven pounds. We've gone under thirty at twenty seven pound ten. So Abby, Fiona, Janet, Sharon, Deborah, Hazel Collector, I'm actually over allocated and that's without the people on the telephone. So it's a race to the finish, so good luck. The, um, I don't know how much the abalone would be just by itself, but it's the most oh, amazing, gorgeous. beautiful strand gorgeous. I've seen. I've, I've not worked with those ones before, so it was a real pleasure. The, I love the graduation, the way they... I mean, all the work's done for you again. Yeah, yeah you just don't have to do anything. And that's why I, I think I chose this weave as well, because they were graduated. I wanted a weave that was graduated yeah, as well, absolutely. so that I could put them on either side. So yeah. now I've got to the end of this row. So now I've got one jump ring left, so I need to be able to add in yeah. all of these three jump rings that are left to complete the row. Okay. Now, because I'm at the end of the row, I don't need one to add on again. No, of course you I don't. just need one to be able to add into my second yeah. row. So my last jump ring, I only add in just the one and close. Did I? Did we ask what? I'm so sorry if it's gone out of my head. Did we ask what weave this is? This is. Um, it's based on a Japanese twelve in two. Okay. okay, but I've just adapted it so it's more like a six in one, if you okay. like, because um, each jump ring then holds six in place. Yeah. But because I've adapted it on the top to be able to add through the ball chain there, it's it's a, it's an adaptation of a Japanese okay, six in one. Okay, thank you. I couldn't remember if I'd asked or not. I was thinking, did I ask? <laughs> so now, as you can see, I've come down now and I've got six jump rings on here. So yep. I'm now going to come down. So now I'm going to have five jump rings. So again, just go through my very first one on the end. Yep. The next one along, and then just thinking how many I need to then be able to go along. So I just need one to go down to the next row, and one to go along yeah. to carry on this row. And you just carry on in this fashion till you've got your triangle. Ah. So it's like I say, it's and because the only jump rings that you're really opening are the large nine millimeter jump rings. This is a perfect weave if you've never tried chainmail before, because you're only opening and closing those large nine millimeter jump rings. And because they're the nine millimeter ones, they're easy to see yeah. your opening and your closing. So it is like a real nice. And to say that that would be your very first um, chainmail project, yeah. and it be such a you know a large statement, statement piece. Statement piece, yeah. You know, it, 
I think it would uh, wow quite a lot of people if you said, Absolutely. oh, I've just learnt this. Yeah. And you can see how fast it's, how fast it, it, it makes itself almost. Absolutely. Um, so I'll just quickly carry on and just... Well, if um, you do a few more of those... No, no problem. Because I'm just thinking, obviously, if you wanted to incorporate a different, um, a different colour into the design, because you've got the beautiful um, black plated copper uh, twisted rings, uh, jump rings. So I'm just thinking, if we gave you some of these, look, the rose gold, how about that? That, with those lovely black jump rings, would look yeah. rather divine, wouldn't it? It really would, because you've got, uh, these are your, uh, there's about two, there's 200 of these. Now, these are your 7 mil. So again, nice to have a, 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 a seven mil jump ring as well. And the finish on them is absolutely. This is the thing to mention that you always yeah. talk about with chainmail. You've got to yeah. have a good quality jump ring. You've got, you? you can't make beautiful quality chainmail without a good quality jump rings to start with. Yeah. Because the cut on them has to be so perfect for, for them to close, to close properly. properly. Yeah. 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 They're just amazing. And he's done it again. He's done rose gold plating, as our lovely producer Scott. He's gone rose gold plated copper open jump rings. They're open, as I said. 200 of them for 6.95. I mean, gosh, the price on those these days. I mean, goodness God, how do we do that? I mean, I, rose gold plated. You 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 get rose gold coloured a lot yeah. of places, but you don't get rose gold plated. Not actual rose it's gold plated. Very difficult to actually find the actual ones that are plated. And I say it all the time, but it, it makes a piece of jewellery. Um, the fact that these match our findings so perfectly yeah, exactly. because they're exactly the same. There's nothing worse than having a piece of jewellery and the, the findings of different colours. Yeah. You know, and if it's a real clashing colour, it doesn't matter. But when it's a very slight just difference, slightly off. It, you can yeah. really tell. Yeah, absolutely. And they're just beautiful. And again, if you just turn it to the side, look, you can very just very slightly see the open, but... When you, that's the only thing with the, with the quality of our jump rings. Uh, you know, sometimes you have got to you find the opening because they're such good quality. They're incredible. So you're going to get 200 of those. A lot of people going for twos at 6 Um, You know, yeah, I mean, with 200, you, you, I mean, how many have you used in here? About 100? Um, of the black? I've used 100 of the black yeah. and about 50, yeah. 60 of the, of the, um, yeah. the large 9mm ones. But so a two hundred would make quite a statement piece. Oh then. yeah, you could make you well. You could make two if you could do your half Persian bracelets. Yeah. Your half Persian three in one and your four in one. You could do two full bracelets. Absolutely. With this. You know, if you were into your box weave, you could do a beautiful box weave bracelet. And you know, even you couldn't you couldn't find anybody selling a box weave bracelet for you know under ten pounds. Like not in yeah. rose gold plated copper. Yeah. Um, you know it's. It's unheard of. And they you know. look so expensive, don't it does. they? And, the thing I love about and it's chain a real mail. wearable piece of jewellery yeah. as well, I think, as well. Yeah. It's a real hard wearing piece of yeah. jewellery. Yeah. Uh, now, just to mention, um, oh, David in Devon. Oh, gosh, nearly everybody's bought two. Nearly exactly. everybody. <laughs> Practically. Uh, they've nearly all gone. Okay, so the collectors out there, Lynn and Tracy, Helen. In fact, I've got five left. Okay, sorry. Uh, five left. Um, okay. Now, do, do I've got some triangular ones. Do you want me to do those now, or do you want me to um, wait for you to finish that off? I'm what would just, you like me to do? I was just carrying on. <laughs> you were she was, wasn't she? Did you I see just, that? She's just, just carrying on. It, it, it does become addictive. If anybody's um, new to chainmail, it is it is quite addictive uh, medium. It's you very do therapeutic, it's very isn't very it? therapeutic, very really therapeutic. therapeutic. Um, and as you can see here, I've just made a mistake here. No, I've not added no, I no. I know, I know. That's it, I best go on. Yeah, off, hang off my head in I'm an step, go on. All I've done is I've not added a jump ring on the bottom there. So sausage. But all I need to do is open just it up. open it up and pop it on. That's so it's, sort of how easily remedied is that's it? That's it. It's not like, I mean, I, I've done crafts and different mediums where I've not realised my mistake right to the very end. Crochet, for instance. Ooh. Yeah, and I had to take out quite a lot. I, found, I, I saw this morning, um, as I got my hair dryer out of the cupboard, I found my mum and my nan's uh, crochet, crocheting hooks. Really? Oh, yeah. See, I that's another addictive... Um, mm -hmm. I get. I like anything with a pattern. That's my thing. I like everything with a pattern. So if it's got a pattern or a formula, I'm a bit of a nerd mm. like that. I do like formulas. And Have you got pattern carpets in your house? No. Oh. But I have got a parquet floor that is in the pattern. Ew, I got a parquet <laughs> floor. No, I say a parquet floor. It came out of a school gym. It was one hey? of those. It came out oh, of a, yeah, it was a, it was a school gym floor that they removed to add a new one. So we bought the floor. Yeah. 
I don't do gymnastics on it. <laughs> now there's an image. <laughs> Can you imagine? In the slippers and my dressing gown. Can you imagine in the morning I'm on the drum with the box? Was it, what was, was it called the box, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, to get to your breakfast. Over. <laughs> Springboard off. Good morning! <laughs> Eggs no. going everywhere and juice. Morning! <laughs> and those ropes with the rings on it. No, it's not. Oh, no. dear. It's not that adventurous, oh. unfortunately. You should probably just all see loads of lads at your junior school climbing up the wood, climbing up the things on the wall, just the squares oh. on the wall. What's the point? Oh, very mm. odd. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> right, so I've, near, I've come right to the very end now. So I'll just add this last jumping in. And now, as you can see, now, if all I've got now, and I've run out of board long. We're just about to squeeze that. We can just in. get it. Uh, quickly, um, Scott, how many kits have we got left, darling boy? Just find out for you. Got ten left. Okay, ten left of the kits. Twenty-seven pound ten. Just to just to reiterate, there, there was a ninety-piece findings kit. There was the ball chain with the with the uh, with the black knitted wire. There was a strand of mystic coated. I remember it all. Blue mystic coated uh, spinel. There was the abalone. There was the beading thread with the clear filament, a clear ele oh, clear elastic and monofilament. There, did I, have I got it all? Beading thread. And uh, silver beading thread. Yeah. That, that's a big kit. And it's, and the findings kit's brilliant because you've got so many clasps in there as well. And oh, earring finders. Clasps, yeah, yeah, there's beautiful toggle, which will be beautiful just as um, pendants. Yeah. And then you've got your T-bars for you if you want to make um, cufflinks. Perfect. I love this woman. It is, I do. You know, it's a real. This is, this kit's brilliant for whatever medium you want to work yeah. in. If you just want, you know, if you want to do a beading kit and add some more strands of gemstones yeah. to it, because she's got everything in it. It's a fabulous kit, and there's abalone shells. Now this is the design that we're making. I know it looks very different on the macrame board that we're doing it with, <laughs> but that's because Fleur's done it in different colours for you. But there you go. That. So that is the whole piece. Am I allowed to say? And I really don't mean to sound rude. I found that quite easy to oh, follow. Oh, it's very easy. It's very, very easy to follow this one. I could do all that. The, all the Japanese weaves are very easy. Yeah, and all you're doing is opening the large jump rings because these the black twisted jump rings are closed. Yeah. So all you're doing is just adding them on. Exactly. So you just as long as you as long as you remember, and what you can do is just if you think about if you can't remember how many jump rings say go into this jump ring here, just work it out. There, I need two to go onto the bottom row to the next row underneath, yeah. and one to attach it across. Just got to have a little bit of thought yeah, of how the triangle is going to work, and basically. And once isn't you it? get into that, you yeah. know, once you get into that mindset, and it follows that same pattern. So yeah. if you were say did two rows and then went and had a cup of tea, come back later, you can see where the pattern is because you can see yeah. what you've got to do on yeah. the next row. It's it is yeah. it's a, the Japanese weaves are very easy Great. and they're very nice to Good. and they make beautiful because you don't need that many jump rings to exactly. actually create it so it's quite an economic yes, statement it is, piece it effectively is, yeah, it is. now how do you attach the abalone to it okay so with the abalone what you need to do is i've taken one of my um is this going to be in the way shall i just quickly move that out of the way because it might no, it's okay. detract it's all right okay yeah. do that so what i've done is i've just popped on one of the head pins out of the um, findings kit out of the findings bits. yeah and um, the large head pins fit through absolutely brilliantly. Right. So all I'm going to do is I need three quarters one side and the ball uh, section just a quarter. Okay. okay. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it up mm -hmm. so that I've now got it like a little horseshoe, if you like. Okay. okay? Yep. Now what I'm going to do is I need to make like a little triangle above here. So just with my nail or with your pliers, just go in. And they're so malleable, these. Mm. I've just pushed push those two together. Can you see now that they're actually touching now? Yeah. So the section with the ball um, end on, I'm now going to just take that around and just wrap, just like a, a wrapped loop. So just with my fingers, you can use your pliers if you want, just wrap it around and then if it comes out of shape, just manipulate it back into shape. So I've now got that attached there and you take a lot more time than I've done here. I did, you know, you use your pliers and everything. Okay. Um, so if I just give that little squidge together and then what you can do as well is just oops it's alive look you it's can go, alive you can go back in with your pliers and just get that triangle shape back back out so all i've got need to do now now you can either leave this little wrap that round again and leave the ball head pin on as as a feature mm -hmm. or what you can do is just trim it off so i'm just going to just for um quickness trim it off with your flush cutters and then I used my end of my um, head pin as a open loop, so not a wrapped loop, so just yeah. like an eye pin loop, and then it's easy to uh, to fit in. So bend it over 90 degrees, 
Okay. Now I wanted all the loops to come round onto the front, so the loop section was onto the front. Okay. So I need to cut this down, so I've got just over a centimetre. So just cut that down. And then using your round nose pliers, just form that around until yeah. it touches those little wrap loop sections there. And then okay. all you need to do is just open that up. So if I just add it onto this large piece here, then you can see. Yeah. And you're opening it up just like you would a jump just ring. Just like really, a jump ring. You? So open yeah. it up. And then all you're going to do is just feed hook it, it through. Hook it through. Now these are a lot thicker. So yeah. it may not go on. Oh, yeah. It's gone on there. Look. My jump rings are two millimetre thick, so they're quite large. Okay, and there you go. So that's how I attached oh each wow. one. And the reason why I started with seven is because if you count out how many abalone bars, you know, I wanted one on each one okay. with the largest one in the centre. If you wanted to take two off for earrings, just do your first row at six. Yeah. So you can you can adapt it however you yeah. want. If you say you wanted like four only four bars on the side and then one in the centre. Just do four rows on the top. And then you've graduated it from the small yep. down to the down large Down to the largest well, one at you? the bottom, so it, it's more, yeah. Yeah, more pleasing so to the eye. So the whole eye. piece is graduated. Yeah. And then you've attached it to the with the jump rings to yeah. the to the black knitted. And then, yeah, and then all yeah. I did with the black knitted wire is just added it through, but in between each section, so I've added it through. If I just show you that here. So if I take my first T-pin out, I've added that through. And then to pack it out a little bit more, yeah. I've added two more black ah, I wondered what jump done. rings. Right, okay. okay. So I've added two more jump rings. Just to fill it up a bit. Just to fill up the space yeah. and then go along to the next double pair. Mm -hmm. And so you can see now how it's how it's a little bit more filled in between. Now when you get to the ends, have I just got quick enough time quickly just to show, just to talk through how I attach the clasp? Go on then, as a you. I know. <laughs> so with the ends... I'll turn, the I'll turn it around so you can see the back actually as well. I've just hooked it in so I wanted it a little bit shorter on that the neckline buster but I've just hooked it in there. Okay. So all I did with the ends, because if you're trying to get the ball chain within your ribbon finding end, it wouldn't go completely flat. Oh, okay. okay. So what I did is I just, just exposed the ball chain a little bit. Okay. And just pull that down just a little bit, just to expose a few there. And it's I nice just to see it actually inside so yeah. we can understand why we're calling it the ball chain. Yeah. Because it's got silver balls in it. Yeah. Quite simply. It. And they're all attached, so it is, a, it is a proper chain as well. Okay, so there are, you can use this as a chain. And all I'm going to do is just snip that little section off there and then pull that back up. So now I've got a flat piece of wire. Good thinking. That, that I can now go into my finding yep. and it will sit flat. Okay. So you probably need to take about, about six or seven links the, out yeah. of there. Okay. But that ball chain now won't, won't slip down inside because right it's, it's already yeah, there. It's a good tip that is. Yeah. So yeah, just take a little bit out. You can always use those little bits as earrings or in your resin or your polymer yeah, of clay. Yeah, you can. Don't throw them away. No, so just take out, just like couple of centimetres yep. just so you can pop that in and yep. it will sit flat because it, like I say if you try and crimp it down with a ball chain already in this ribbon ending won't go Got completely you. flat. Okay good idea. Okay. Yep. And that's how I attach the, the end piece on. And do you pop any glue in there or do you not? You can do. You can do. Do you? Yeah. Um, I always do. Yeah. You do? I just always for do, added yeah. security? Yeah. Over the V6000? Yeah that's or? the one yep. I use. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So oh, whichever glue you've got really yeah, because yeah. you know you could you could even use one of your fabric glues. Yeah, so um, the, the fabric GS yeah, hypo yeah, or yeah. yeah. Okay. So great. Um, but yeah, it, that's it's very easy and it didn't take that long to make because no, this not very has, time consuming. You know, that's you, already done that's for already you. That's already done for you. Yeah, you've only got to open the nine mil jump rings because the black ones are closed yeah. and they go straight on. And then just the only time is making the little loops to attach yeah, the abalone yeah. and you don't have to attach the abalone no, if you don't you, want to. No, you don't. So yeah, okay, so there you go. Um, right now, just quickly, we've got through, what we thought we'd do is because you obviously, if you haven't always got all the jump rings that you need, you can actually make your own. Now these are, and I'm sure our lovely Flo will talk us how to use this. There are three variations of size. I pop the one in, and it just screws into uh, this little. I know it looks like a bottle opener almost, doesn't it? But you just screw these sections in. Uh, they make oval jump rings in three different sizes. I've got the middle one uh, in the actual tool itself. And basically, do you literally wrap the wire around it? So, so basically, twist this in, it just twists into that little hole there, whichever one you want to make. And then you just wrap the whichever wire you want around the jump rings. Yep. Five mils about the minimum, isn't it, on your five mil jump ring? Is that about the smallest? Um, it, 
the, that's the smallest that we sell here that we can do chainmail with. Depends yeah. on the gauge of the wire that you're using and the diameter then of the inner diameter. Yeah. It all goes into aspect ratio, which is very mathematical. Okay. If you want to know about that, then I can talk you through that on the, on my Facebook okay. page rather than because it frightens a lot of people because yeah. it is very mathematical. But yeah, it's, it's to all to do with the, the gap in the middle of your jump ring, basically. Okay. Thank you, darling. Yeah, inside and outside yeah. diameter, isn't it? Now, oval, as you can see, so instead of round jump rings or triangular jump rings that we've got coming up, these will make a lovely, ooh, lovely, oh, shape. And they're usually 9 95 Look what we've done for you. The post and packaging is 2 95 We've just knocked two pounds off. So your post and packaging is 95p. So there you go. Um, so that's a brilliant price point for that for you. Thank you so much for that's that demonstration. Okay. No it was problem. absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Uh, we have got another wonderful kit with Kurt. Flo coming up in about an hour's time. So please stay with us. Got great deals after the break. We'll see you in a moment. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Not sure what materials you'll need? Then tune into Jewellery Maker between 7pm and 9pm throughout January for our Get Started show. We'll guide you through how to get started with step-by-step -step tutorials. Our talented designers will give you advice, inspiration and introduce you to new mediums. Start off the new year with a new hobby. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase with Jewelry Maker in the same day, you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? Get creative with Mark Smith with his Craft Fair DVD. Mark guides you through six sections of fascinating techniques that sell the best on his very own successful craft fairs. He concludes his DVD by sharing his own tips and hints that make his own stalls very popular. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewellery Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewellery Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. Did you know that if you go to jewelrymaker.com and sign up to our mailing list, then you'll receive 10% off your first order with us. We'll also keep you updated with special offers, theme shows, program guides, and jewelry maker tutorials. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration, and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655.
welcome back my lovelies happy friday it's the weekend starts here i've decided that's it comes to friday morning used to be saturday no i've decided friday now yeah yeah friday now now if you've just joined us and you've had a cup of tea and you've had your croissant or a coffee whatever floats your boat or a banana or you know yogurt bar fresh fruit whatever you've had i've had malt loaf the breakfast just thought i'd share that with you now don't forget um I've, I've, we've, we've asked for some text texting because we had a lovely brand new elf weave in a bracelet from our lovely fleur so if we get any text messages in six zero triple seven she said she'll she's going to start teaching us how to do it if anybody would like to see it so we're waiting to find out aren't we fleur yeah it's got fleur in today look the mistress of chain mail <laughs> do you like that title I you do, do don't I you do yeah, like yeah. she one. likes that one look <laughs> she likes being the mistress of chain mail um so yeah so texting if you did see that lovely bracelet we had earlier um in fact could you pass it over to me lovely emma face emma's on camera she's so pretty um you can pay me later um thank you my darling this is just in case you've just joined us this is the beautiful uh lovely elf weave that i love oh, i think it's gorgeous that our lovely uh fleur has made and do you see what I mean, though? Look as well. What I can see, I don't know if you can see on the side, because it's at an angle. Look, the way it sits, looks like little hearts. Look, can you see? Can you see? Look, I think that's beautiful. This is the new. This is the elf weave that um, Fleur started working with, and she basically said, if you text in, tell her if, she, if you like it, and uh, she'll start showing us how to demo it on uh, on some of her future shows. Aren't you, lovely girl? So we'll leave that there. If you have a little gander at. Uh, so text in 60777, start your text with JM Studio and uh, let us know or just let us know what you're up to. Um, right then, so let's start. Oh, now, these are brilliant. Now, you might think, why is she bringing us these? I'm going to tell you. Now, I've got these lovely ring mounts. Let me show. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Now, really pretty, isn't it? We, did, we brought you um, some adjustable ring mounts in the last couple of days, either the twisted ones or the plain ones, but they're, um, they're quite thick. These are much more dainty, much more dainty. So 925 sterling silver. The good news is, is that they are adjustable, okay? So um, they are adjustable. So if I just show you that there, look. Um, so fully adjustable in the size, look. Can you see? Look in the top there, so you can just separate them and adjust the size. Can you see as well, we've got the half-drilled uh, prong there, ready for half-drilled stones. So you've got that prong look, they're fully adjustable, they're beautifully twisted, they're solid 925 sterling silver. Now the good news is, do you know what I've got coming up today? I've got white pearls, I've got black pearls, they're half-drilled. Now I haven't got all the tools to put them on properly, but just to give you an idea look, if I just put that very gently, look at that, a perfect, beautiful, dainty, sterling silver, genuine pearl ring. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that absolutely beautiful? So we are bringing you five, we are bringing you the white pearls, and I'm pretty sure we've got black pearls as well. Peacock, got peacock as well. Um, so we've got, yeah. So look, that just goes straight. Out. How simple is that? Now, can I ask you, Fleur? I don't want to be crass, and I know it depends on where you're selling, whether it's at a craft fair, to a business, on your website, what you know, your brand. I understand it does de d does vary, but just roughly. So, if you're going to mm -hmm. sell sterling silver ring, yeah. beautifully, and um, the work's done for you, pop a little bit of glue and get your, your gorgeous pearl on. What would you sell a pearl sterling silver ring like that for? I've never sold anything like that, but I would think that I I could. I'd definitely put that on my craft stall for about forty-five pounds because really? I've got one of these from a um, a charm shop on the high street, yep. and I know that when I, when it was gifted to me, it was over seventy pounds. Wow! See, I'd pay forty forty-five pounds for that. Absolutely, selling silver pearl ring. Absolutely, I would. But aren't they? That's the first time I've seen these. They're so dainty. They're so pretty. Look how flat they sit on the hand as well, and they're fully adjustable. So if you actually looked at that and thought, do you know what, I really like it, but I'd actually like it on my middle finger. Just to prove the point, look. See, look. Straight away, on the, on the, uh, on the um, middle finger. So fully adjustable as well. So pretty, that is. Okay, I'm not tilting it up too much because obviously I haven't secured the pearl on there and I didn't, want you to, I didn't want it coming off, but it's that simple. And I will be bringing you the pearls in the white and the peacock as well. But they're so, so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Now, now the thing is, I'm not going to bring you one. Mm -mm. I'm going to bring you three. Okay, now imagine Mother's Day. 
Mother's Day on the 6th of March and you presented with a beautiful, look, fully adjustable so any, anybody could wear it, uh, you, you know, and uh, you could make a lovely pearl ring for your mum or your best friend or for weddings. How wonderful, for bridesmaids, I mean, how beautiful, a pearl ring, just gorgeous. Now, are you ready for this prize? Because we've now got Dion de Bomb and she's all fired up because she's had a new haircut. She, she looks amazing. Okay, so she's desperate to be naughty this morning and we love her for it. So Dion de Bomb is in the producer's chair. Fully adjustable, 925 sterling silver with the prong for the half-drilled stones. We're going to take each one of these rings and they are absolutely beautifully made to less than £4 each. Can you believe that? Less than £4 each. Now we've not seen these since July. So I'm going to count that, July, August, September, October, November, six months. That has been six months. Okay? Now, they don't have to be rings if you don't want them to. You know, you could actually sort of straighten that out, have it hanging down as sort of a long pendant, have your pearl on there or whatever gemstone you'd like to fit onto there. But certainly the white pearl I've just proved fits with the peacock pearl as well. So you can actually flatten that out. So it's a straight with all that lovely twisted sterling silver and have that as a lovely long either pair of earrings with one pearl on or as a lovely bracelet or a pendant if you wanted to, couldn't you, Fleur? You could. There's, there's, um, there's so many different ways you can use these ring mounts, not yeah. just as, as, like I said, exactly. as ring mounts. Exactly. And it's a classic thing for a jewellery maker, isn't it? We do, we do look at things and go, and now hang on, what can I do different? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and why not? Why not indeed? Now, um, I'm just going to... Oh, now, that's all those people that have just checked out. I've got a lot of people... Oh, less than four pounds. Now, if we did just talk about that with the pearls... In fact, should we do the white ones next, Dion? Is that all right, sweet pea? She went, yeah. She went, yeah, why not? So we've still got the... We've got three ring mounts, just to prove. I'll put the other two on there. And then I've got five of these beautiful pearls. Okay, so five of the pearls. If I just turn that round for you, look. Now, the drill hole, as I said, just to prove the point, perfect, perfect. Now, they are, the first thing you've got to think about when you buy the pearl is the first thing you've got to check is, is it genuine? You then, which the answer from Jewelry Maker is absolutely, genuine white freshwater cultured pearls, okay? They are absolutely beautiful. I'm just checking here because it says five pairs. So I should, have, I should have ten in the studio, and I've got five. Hmm. Yeah, um, so just to clarify, there are ten. I do apologise, we seem to only have five in the studio. I'm not, uh, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why that is, sorry about that. But yeah, it says, but um, have we got the right ones? Ah, oh, hang on, I'll tell you why that, that, tell you why that is. It's because I've not picked up the right ones. We will do those later. Sorry, um... I do apologise. I do apologise. Let's see if these ones fit. They do. So they fit as well, look. I like that, though. I like the tall one. Oh, actually, I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like the tall one. Because they're the droplets, but I actually... I like that because it sits nice and proud, mm. doesn't it? I like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, sick. Six now, hang on. We've got we've got ten pearls there, lovely girl. You've got less than seventy pence a pearl, Dion. You little madam. Don't they look look now that again they'd be perfect for um I've just made actually um, some earrings with a champagne pearl, with a sterling silver earring finding in a shepherd hook, with a, a about a, I would say, let me just have a think. Probably about a probably about a six no, about a five centimetre drop of sterling silver chain and I've just attached a champagne pearl and I tell you what, they look, every time I wear them out, my, my fella says, oh, they look lovely and they look really professional and beautiful and I did them myself and I'm really proud of them. It should be. But they're so simple, Fleur. But sometimes nobody else knows that. Exactly. Nobody knows that, it's, that they've been, that they're simple to make. So you should, um, you should be proud, I'd be telling yeah. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell everybody I've made them. I literally go, I made these. <laughs> Uh, we've done a lovely text. Um, oh, no, Angelique. I met Angelique at the ball. She's brilliant. And she said, hello, everyone. The elf weave is beautiful, Fleur. Love your designs. It's lovely to see you today, Zay. Oh, thanks, Angelique. 
So there you go, you've got your first official, your elf weave is beautiful, Fleur. Oh, well, it's not my elf weave, it's whoever Tis this invented morning. it. Tis this morning. But I can show you how to make it. <laughs> That's it, there. That's your elf weave. And we've had another one from Michelle. Hello, good morning, gorgeous girl. Fleur, should you have to show mm -hmm. us the elf weave? I've just looked for it on the internet and there's not one tutorial that makes any sense. That's Help. the thing with, with Chainmail. There's lots of tutorials out there and I don't, none of these weaves are mine. They're all patterns that are already out there. I just, what I tend to do is sit there and look at all the tutorials and yeah. then try and work it out and bring it to you that's an easier way to follow than some of those because yeah. some of them there But I are. think that's the point there. Yeah. We went from the Michelle's just said and I think this is the thing that we've all we would all agree here as a team as well, collectively. We think you're such a brilliant teacher. You you do it so you teach so simply and step by step that it's so I mean, I could yeah. have made that this morning. That was easy to follow, and oh, I, I class you. myself as a major novice when it comes to jewellery maker. I bow down to these talented young ladies. Oh, it's a gorgeous friend yeah. over here. But young honestly, lady. I think I think. Well, yeah. <laughs> I was being a bit bit nice to you, wasn't yeah, I? Yeah. Not yeah. Not, not not that nice to you off camera, am I? No. Nah. <laughs> she is. I won't even tell you what she said to me this morning. She kicked your chair as well. <laughs> On my slidey chair, off I scooted across the office. <laughs> Oh, no, I made her a cup of tea when she walked in. She did. Yeah, she did. I was spoiled this morning. Oh, you were spoiled. Uh, now, Beverly in Cardiff just said, um, what she say? Good morning, Zena and Fleur. Good morning, Beverly. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just tuned in. Well, welcome to you, lovely Beverly. She said, and I would love to learn how to make the beautiful bracelet, please. So, uh, well, we're not going to do it today, Beverly. But she, what she's saying is, text in, which you've done, brilliant, thanks. We've had three, I think three people is enough. Yeah, that's enough, yeah. Is three that, people enough to get you to show us yeah. When are you going to do it, when are you going to do it? Um, I've got my kits coming for the first week in February, so hopefully I'll be able to do it then. So I think it's the 3rd of February. Okay. So Could yeah. we request the Elf Weave bracelet here yes. and now then? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Sarah just said, um, lovely to see you, Zine. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Lovely to have you with this gorgeous face. Oh, and three kisses. Shall I coughed my voice oh. away? Have you? Coughs are horrible, aren't they? Oh, she said, so I'm, in, I'm having a day in bed. Oh, you're having a duvet day. That's what we call it, a duvet day. Uh, watching the amazing talent, mm -hmm. that one over there, on JM it is. She said, love Fleur's demo, so lots, please. Oh, oh thank hope you. you get your voice back. Yeah, get well soon. My oh. boys have got terrible coughs. Have they? Yeah, all night, coughing, coughing. I've even tried putting the stuff on their feet and then putting the socks on. Oh, no. Do you know, so far, so far, I don't know how, because everybody I've worked with over Christmas, everybody had the flu or had a cough or had a cold. How today, touch wood, touch wood, I've managed to avoid it, I don't know. But get better soon, Sarah. I hope you feel... Hot toddy. Always works for me. Hot toddy. Uh, Marisa, good morning, girls. Good morning. Good morning. I love saying good morning. I've got to get over it. I do. Anyway, come on. Is the Pope Catholic? <laughs> he is, isn't he? I think is so. He? I think oh, he is. I think he is. Um, I'm only joking. <laughs> Before everybody goes, see, I'm joking. All right, I'm joking. Everybody goes, does she mean it? I'm joking. Should, of course, Fleur has to demo the new weave. A S A P H. Is, is that supposed to have an H? Oh, I'm guessing it's a bit of a pre, you know, the predictive texty thing. Although there might be an ASAP, mm. ASAP, hurry, yeah. as soon as possible, hurry. Could, could be, be, could be, or huzzah. Any of those. <laughs> um, right then, so um, ten pearls. She's gone there. Less than seventy p. Did you go seven ninety five? Six ninety five. What'd you go? Six ninety five. Less than seventy pence each for a pearl. Genuine pearl. Good size as well. Seven by five mil. Incredible. Now, I do also have, I will bring you the other pearls later, won't we, um, dear on gorgeous face? Now, let me do the peacock pearl. Oh, oh, imagine incorporating these into a design as well with the lovely abalone we had in the first kit. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Peacock pearls, there's something so, ex I mean, you know how much Tahitian pearls tend to fetch. They fit as well, look. Oh, they all fit this lovely ring mount, look. That's like my ring that came from the that shop. Oh, that. And you paid about £70 for that? Well, yeah. Mark would have paid about that for it, yeah. <gasps> oh, my word. Don't show him these, then, for goodness sake. Five pairs again. Just to prove, look in there. In fact, you're not going to... Oh, hang on. You're not going to see them that well, then. Let me get them all into my hand, look. Beautiful. Now, they've got the flat bottom. If only. <laughs> if only I had a flat bottom. But a beautiful flat bottom pearl. Makes you think of a Queen song, doesn't it? 
Um, are the bands are available. Uh, but it's Peacock Freshwater Culture Pearls again. They're buttons, so as you can see, look, they sit perfectly flat. Can you see? Because they've got a little, can I, I don't know if I can show you that on camera. They've got a little flat bottom, look. There you go. See? So a lovely flat bottom. You've got all that beautiful iridescence and luster that you would ever wish for from a pearl. They're half drilled. They're the same. They're seven by five mil again. And shall I show you around the ring again? Would that be? Would that be? Would that what you'd like? Sherry said yes, please. Okay, we're going to give you five pairs again. So that means ten. So again, five pairs. They are paired up. So if you would like to make them into earrings, you can make five pairs of earrings. She's done it again. Our lovely Dion has gone under ten pounds. So less than seventy pence again. Goodness gracious me. Now, Shaz has just said in capitals, good morning, Z and Fleur and wonderful crew. Can I say thank you for that? The crew, Shazza, this morning is Dion, De Bomb, producing. Ollie, the gorgeous Ollie, there you go, waving it. Oh, we had a double hand wave there, he's a bit keen, isn't he? <laughs> we had a double wave. Goodness me, them two, I tell you. So that's lovely Ollie, uh, he's uh, the director. Oh, yeah. Then we've got the beautiful Emma on cameras. And we end. There she is, waiting. Oh. We've got lovely Cass. Now, Cassie's in a little cubby hole. We shove her behind the cubby hole. Look, there she is. Look, beautiful Cass. She brings us cups of tea. She runs around. She keeps us all in order. She's brilliant. She doesn't have to look after her. She's great. And we've got the talented Fleur. So that's the crew today. Plus, obviously, all the back office staff and the management and all everybody. But just sort of live crew in the studio. And me. Oh, hi. And then she just said, well, I fed the cats. I'll brush my teeth. Oh, should I hope so? Shazza. I've made a cuppa and, I'm, and some ready brecker muesli. Oh, the cereals are available. Uh, now I'm ready to watch um, two of my lovely ladies on telly and see what my beautiful Dion, oh, Dion, is going to get up to today. What a great start to Mad Friday. Yoo-hoo! You go, girls. Lots of kisses, Shazza. We're going to have a great morning, Shazza. We love you, Shazza. You're, you're always... Do you know what I love about Shazza? You always seem so upbeat. So happy! I met Shazza on when she came on the um, Sunday Experience. Did you? Yes. Is she yeah. as lovely in person as yeah. we think she is? Because yeah. she's just so is she bubbly. Bubbly, isn't she? Yeah. You can just tell from yeah. a text message, can't you? Yeah, no, she's really lovely. bubbly. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, did you see? Can I show you that again? Isn't that beautiful? Now, just think about that, right? We took the sterling silver rings to eleven ninety-five, so that was less than four pounds each. We've taken these to less than 70 pence. So for four pound, less than £4.70, you can make that pearl ring and it's fully adjustable. <laughs> Do you know, I'm going to grass Dion up. I can't help myself, right? We've got a beautiful new gemstone today and it's called Lepidolite. Now, in my ear, I just heard, let's have a look at the. Lepidolite, love. Lepidolite. Just make you want to now this for me. Um, this we're going to do this in 15 minutes. It's uh, first time on. I believe it's first time it's on Jewelry Maker today, isn't it? This one, this particular strand. I think yeah, absolutely brand new. Now, Fleur, would you just do me a quick favour, sweet yeah. Pete? Now, on your bracelet, have you got jadeite? Yep. Yeah. Can we just show Fleur's jadeite bracelet? Because jade, uh, jade. Fleur was saying, <laughs> good goodness me. Fleur was saying. If you get a gemstone like the jadeite in the green there on her lovely wrist and you add a jump ring in between, look how expensive that looks. I know it's jadeite, so it does look expensive anyway, but you add in a jump ring, what a difference that makes. And that's a stretchy, isn't it? Yeah, just a stretchy yeah. bracelet, yeah. Never yeah. take it off. So if you pop in, I mean, we gave you those 10 sterling silver jump rings with a 925 hallmark earlier, didn't we? So if you did manage to pop those in between, they'd look amazing. And now this is lepidolite. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I'll talk you. I'll talk you about this in, in a little while. But that colour, and again, imagine. I mean, you don't have to do a stretchy bracelet. You don't have to add the jump rings. It's just an idea. But that for me is the most. And imagine that coupled with some amethyst as well. Dark, rich, beautiful amethyst, and alternate them with, and then with like a sterling silver or any of the, those lovely um, seven mil rose gold plated jump rings we had earlier as well. That would look gorgeous as well, wouldn't it? It would. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to come up in about. 10 15 minutes yeah 10 15 minutes i do have the 10 a.m with me she's asking do you have the 10 o'clock treats with you and i'm saying yes i have one number darling sweet pea oh 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 oh, oh. 
Okay, right, coming up. Uh, 11 o'clock, so anybody anybody not on Greenwich Mean Time, we're going to talk about an hour and a half, just over an hour and a half, and, oh my goodness me, I've just been told, I'm not telling you, I'm not, I'm not telling you the price yet, but we've got this absolutely fabulous strand of tanzanite, as you can quite clearly see, absolutely gorgeous. I'll tell you what we will do, we'll go under... Oh, I don't know, what do you reckon on that? Would you expect me to say we're going to go under £25, Fleur? For Tanzanite, for a gemstone that is a thousand times rarer than a diamond, and we're going to take it, that's so brilliant, under £20. You can see why we've been bringing you sterling silver, can't you, today? And again, those with the rose gold jump rings yeah. as well, wouldn't it? Tanzanite and rose gold looks yeah, beautiful Yeah, they do, together. don't they? Yeah, it really does. I mean, Tanzanite. Uh, uh, how often have you worked with Tanzanite, Fleur? Um, before I started working here, never. Mm. Um, and only a handful of times yeah. when I've been here as well. Um, it's a joy, isn't it? It is. I have got a few strands of Tanzanite at home, and I don't make them into anything. It's really silly. I want to just keep them as they are. That's the thing. It's one of those things. It's a bit like we were talking about Glen Lehrer. For those of you that have ever watched Gemporia US or um, uh, UK, um, it's all, Glen Lehrer is a master gem carver um, and, and gem cutter. Um, and he's patented his own gem cuts, the quasar cuts and the Taurus ring cut. But he, he sort of gets gemstones like this and that, like he says, he can, he can keep hold of them once he's bought them for five years, ten years, fifteen years, twenty years in his safe. And he said they almost sort of tell him when he wants them to use them. It's, it's the strangest mm -hmm. thing, but I know exactly what he means and Fleur's exactly the same. Okay, so going under £25 for you in about an hour and a half, roughly. Okay, about 11 o'clock. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I've got a minute. Really, where else can you go from pearls to tanzanite to sapphire? Jewelry maker. Every time. Jewelry maker. Okay, we. Oh, gosh, it's making my face ache. This is. Look at this. Shaded blue sapphires. Goodness gracious me. Now, of all the sapphire, the blue will always be. The, the most, the most, the, the, the most, the, the favourite, it's the, it is, you know, if you sort of line up a thousand people or a hundred people and said, right, name me the colour of sapphire, I think the immediate response would be blue. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of, like, paints and things like that that are called yeah, sapphire, sapphire blue. blue. Absolutely. And it's, um, I yeah. think even children know that, yeah. you know, my yeah. boys don't know that sapphires are blue. Absolutely. And I've got to be honest, until I came to work for Gemporia and Jewelry Maker, I didn't know it came in all the different no, colours of no. oranges and pinks and yellows and greens and... What are you giggling at in there? Oh! No, we... Dion's a little mad. Dion, for those of you that don't know, Dion is blue mad. I mean, basically, blue. Blue. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I do think her boyfriend is, is, a, is a smurf. He must be. <laughs> he must be a smurf of some... She loves Avatar. Anything blue. The favourite band is blue. You know, she likes, she likes singing the blues. She's ob literally obsessed. She puts food dye, blue food dye in her colour. She does. In her food, she puts the blue food dye. Honestly, you go to her house, and she makes cakes in blue. She likes blueberries. We could go on. My little boy was going to be called Blue. She's got diaries with her that are blue. But do you... My what? little boy was going to be called Blue. Max, was he? Max was going to be Blue, yeah. We're going to be called Blue? Yeah. Can you call a child Blue? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Blue? Yeah. That's what he's going to be, yeah. Wouldn't you have to call the other one Green or no. something? No, or but he's Bow in it. But Mark wanted Blue, uh, so we, 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 we had Bow instead, so he's Maximus Bow. Oh, OK. So, but yeah, yeah, he was going to be Blue. <laughs> it's quite popular. That's an idea for you, Dion. Uh, right then, I like that though, actually, blue. Why do like people call their kid January and stuff, don't they? And April and, you know. It's nice having an unusual name, because when somebody shouts you, you know it's you. Yeah, but I didn't like that at school. 
400 people and I knew if the teacher was talking about Zero in the corridor, it was me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was me. Uh, right then, so, yeah, no, shady blue sapphire. I love that. You're going to call your little boy blue. What a lovely idea. Okay, now she's just said price blue, well, blue slash. That means she's going to slash the price. She can't, surely, on blue sapphire. It's one of the five precious gemstones of all time. Now, look at those. Every single one of those is sparkling and scintillating and trying to grab your attention isn't it every single one and look at that ver oh goodness gracious mate look at that ver hang on that's not the price 11.95 what's she doing oh come on woman 9.95 susan's just said my girl is you've called your little girl tuesday oh what a lovely Oh, now I've got to ask. I've got to ask Susan. Was she born on a Tuesday? I've got to ask. Do you mind? I want to know if, that, if that's what sort of inspired you, or was there something magical that happened on a, on a Tuesday other than your beautiful little girl? What a lovely idea, Tuesday. Your little girl called Morticia. Oh, that's a great name. Wasn't she at the Adams family? Yeah, Morticia? And, her, and her and her brother was Paige Wednesday. Yeah, they had the two of them. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. See, my grandma, my great grandma was called Zilla. Was she? I bet Godzilla wasn't out on cartoon <laughs> then. Can you imagine? My great grandma was Effie. Effie? Effie, oh, yeah, that nice. wasn't short for anything. Yeah. Oh, well, Effie. So we've got some odd ones. I mean, Xena's a bit odd, isn't it? A bit Martian. Um, so, shady blues. Oh, no. Sarah's just said that would be such a stunning necklace bracelet. Just restranded with a silver ball in between each. What a talking yeah. point. Hang on a minute, everybody. Oh, have, have we still got those? Now, imagine for like Mother's Day coming up or, or Valentine's Day, whatever. Imagine, because we had these earlier. If I can pop those on there. Can you see that? Look, if I turn it round, look. Imagine making that, because we had these on earlier, these sterling silver little spacers. Imagine incorporating those, obviously that way round, I would have thought, but you could do that way if you wanted to. And then have your blue... In fact, no, I'd do it that way. Going at row. either side, actually. Yeah, yeah that's what I'd do. do a double rose. Yeah, so double rows in sterling silver on those spaces with that lovely shaded blue. Beautiful. Um, now, I've always only got 25 chances. I'm not surprised. We've got 10 pounds. Can I... 10... Um, we've gone under 10 pounds. All that... What I love about that, I don't know about you, Flo, is not just the sparkle, but all the variation the of blue here yeah. and there. I'm just looking at the... I can't say the name of it. The Sharawite. The Sharawite. <laughs> that's the one... Do you know I'm surrounded today? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah, actually. You know, in between. Yeah. I, I quite like that. Yeah, I like that. Oh, um, Jackie, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, good morning, ladies. Good morning, Jackie. Gorgeous friend. Should, my granddaughter's name is... Is that Sashone? Is that Sashone? Is that how you pronounce it? I that's the thing. Name. I'm going to embarrass myself trying to pronounce these names. Sashone? That's a nice name. Yeah, that's a beautiful it's a show. name. I like that name. Wow. Molly in Belfast, good morning. She just said, um, hi girls, my sister Euphemia, wow, fee me to us. Can we see Fleur's necklace, please? Looks great. I take it, do you mean the one that she's wearing in the pearls or do you mean the one that she made? Let me know, because you might, I think you mean the one she, I think, well, I don't know, she's got a lovely pearl necklace on. Is that white show pearl? No, no, they're... Real pearls? They're real From pearls. Jewelry Maker? Yeah. I should think maker. so, too. Yeah. Yeah, we'll grab the other necklace back, actually, because I think it's the statement necklace that we made. I think that's what she means. We'll grab that back for you, but Euphemia. Yeah. Wow. Um, Dion, the Tanzanite and safe, safe, oh, Sapphire's a very, very blue. Wink, wink. You've got a great name as well. Evade Knee, is that right? Evade Knee? Ivadni, Ivadni. That's a good note. I tell you what, you're texting. You've got the most amazing note. Av Ivadni, Ivadni. Ooh. That's the necklace that our lovely Fleur made with the kit this morning. Have we got any of the kits left, Dion, lovely girl? Because we were less than 10. I mean, definitely single figures, yeah. Because we took it down from over £47 to £27.10. We'll pop it on the bottom of the screen because there was the beautiful black knitted ball chain wire that you've got in the necklace. We got the, bl the, the black plated jump rings that were twisted, they were closed, there were um, silver, hang on, yeah, we, we took it down £20, we were really naughty. We had, um, 
we had uh, there's nine mil nine mil and, and six, six mil. mil in there weren't there jump rings there was abalone uh, beautiful abalone uh, bars dropped down there was a silver beading thread there was clear elastic monofilament and a blue mystic coated black spinel as well and a, findings and a pack. 90 piece silver plated findings kit. Oh, I tell you what, remember, it's a bit like, do you remember the generation game when you had to remember everything? Yeah, with the cuddly toys that went past. Yeah, cuddly toys. showing our age. Yeah. <laughs> I, actually went, I actually went to be um, interviewed. Me and my dad did like it. You had to do like a pretend to go on the generation game, but we didn't get through. Oh. I think it was my dad's fault. <laughs> He's very big, gorgeous name. Okay, um, so that's your blue shaded. Um, where did I get that from? Where did I get that from? can't remember. Yeah. Uh, under £10 anyway. Uh, right, is it the Lapidolite time? Okay, start my time for you now. Get ready, it's gorgeous. Now, just as we were listening to that little star by moment, uh, what we call a sting there, really, on the VT, uh, Flo and I both just said we would buy this in a heartbeat. If I was at home, I'd buy this. And if there's any left today, I can tell you right now, Flo and I will be racing off to get one, won't we, Sweet uh, Pea? Definitely will, yeah. It is gorgeous. It really is. Now, let me put this on my hand to show you, because the colour is, is just divine. I mean, that's an all-year-round colour, isn't it? Lepida light, it's called, and it's it's almost it, it's 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 a combination of plum, sort of like a, a a violet lavender, a lilac lavender. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Now it was Lepida light was first discovered in the 1700s, and it was given the name um, originally um, Lila light. Because it was lilac, lila light, uh, and that was the original name it was given. And it was eventually renamed uh, lepidolite from the Greek word uh, lepidos, um, meaning scale. And that's because it's got like a scalium um, appearance, and that's due to the lithium flakes in the material, in the mineral. So can you see what we're talking about there, look? So these here, as I said, named, renamed the Greek word lepidos for lepidolite, uh, meaning scale. And that's because, can you see here, look, these are your um, lithium flakes actually in the gemstone itself. Aren't they beautiful? Now, if you believe in the crystal healing side, it's said to help with um, anxiety, depression, that kind of thing. And if you, if you couple it with rubellite, that's supposed to be really sort of uh, strengthen that sort of uh, help with those kind of things. If you believe in the, um, in the crystal healing and it just is absolutely gorgeous. You often see it in cabochons. So I tell you, to get it in these rounds is an absolute treat. It really, really is. It's ideal for making beautiful beaded necklace, bracelets, pendants, rings, any type of jewellery, but that colour. And I'll tell you what, if you did get um, the sterling silver, I'm going to show you these as well. I don't know if we've got any left, but we had these very early this morning. And these are hallmarked. You can see the 925 in them. They've got a lovely thickness to them. They're not solid 925 sterling silver. And I'm just thinking, if I pop those across, if you pop those in between that, even just three of them in the centre, wouldn't that look amazing on a stretchy bracelet, Fleur? Really beautiful. Well, you wouldn't have to do anything else no, to that. nothing at all. I'd take two off the ends for earrings, and I'd have a, a beautiful pair of, uh, of earrings, and then just... One bracelet and yeah. the whole, like the whole strand. Yeah, I'd make a stretchy bracelet and I'd add those in and have it add a sterling silver clasp as well. Um, again, adding those lovely. Again, we keep showing them. Um, there's only a few chances left, but again, add those in. Now, wouldn't they look gorgeous again? But again, rose gold. Put your rose gold jump rings as well. Or the black twisted jump rings <gasps> from the kits as well. Oh, that look really yeah. nice because you've got that different colour then as well. You've got a darker. I tell you what, if I just get Fleur's necklace. Bring this across for you and hold it up. Okay. Now, let me just, if I just show you that there, look. Can you imagine? Those are the black jump rings that we're in. So, yeah, actually, that's very sultry, isn't it? With those black. Yeah. Really changes the look, doesn't yeah, it? Sort of it takes it more. Yeah. 
evening evening and way yeah if you do stretch your bracelets if you do want to like say for a couple of months wear it with a stone and silver you just take change that, the look just change, or change the job rings yeah. absolutely my darling yeah but yeah i think sort of silver or rose gold would make it sort of more daytime and then you pop those black twisted jump rings mm -hmm. the closed ones that we had in the uh in the kit earlier yeah. today and we've only got a, a couple of kits left on my friday so you've got to grab those quickly my lovelies 27 pound 10 for all that but isn't that good? you wouldn't have to do a bracelet but that's what fleur and i would do they are just beautiful lepidolite um and as i said it's one of those things where actually i don't think the name does the gemstone any justice at all does it look at that isn't that lovely and these are genuine gemstones why would you fake when you can get genuine gemstones it's got a beautiful sort of Schiller effect, hasn't it? They are absolutely divine. Okay, so if I can show you this, uh, the reason that it's sort of um, called lepidolite, if I can just show you as you go through, I mean, I mean, if I just twist some of these round. Do you see, look? Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Really, really gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Okay, we're going to get the graphics in for you. Okay, we're going to pop that code in ZWNV40. It's Lepidolite. It's 87 carats. Uh, once we get the price in, I'll give you, um, I'll give you a count so you know how many you've got as well. And uh, I'd be getting a couple of these. Okay, so 87 carats of stunning Lepidolite. And if you like me and you love your purples, I mean, imagine adding that with Kunzite or Morganite. Or amethyst. Yeah. Or um, I'm just thinking as well, I've got some rose quartz coming up in Cabochon. Imagine that with a rose quartz look, if I can just hold that up. Look at that with rose quartz, wouldn't that be divine? Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Okay, now, you know on Jewelry Maker we're going to look after you on the price, don't you? That's a given, isn't it? You've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, I'd get the um, authenticity gift card. That's what I would do. I would give uh, definitely get my authenticity gift cards. The great thing with that, it's going to go with silver, it's going to go with rose gold, it's going to go with uh, silver, it's going to go with yellow gold. Every single precious metal will go with that. And the copper, I mean, I know our, um, you know, we love our copper wire. Again, if you wanted to um, uh, incorporate some wire work there as well. Um, oh, gosh, you just thought the same as me, Louise. Louise, you said, morning, the lapidolite with Kunzite or Morganite would be wow. Oh, gosh, you just read my mind, Louise. Yeah, um, imagine rose quartz with it, as we've just said. Um, Angelique just said, I've just been reading about Lepidolite in the Lore of Gems, my Bible. Very interesting gemstone. It is gorgeous. It is, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. And um, Gail just, oh, Damson. Yeah, we were all trying to come up with the, the colour there, the lilac, the lavender. Damsons are very good. I said a bit plummy as well. Uh, Gemma said, good morning, ladies. Oh, morning, Gemma. A stunning lapidolite. I love that colour. My bedroom is a very similar colour. I would call it mulberry purple. Yeah, yeah. another good one. Yeah. Oh, I bet your bedroom is very lovely in that colour. Mm. Oh, I like. Do you know? I might. Do you know? I'm looking for a colour to paint my bedroom. I quite. Yeah, I like nice. that. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. And you could take it along, couldn't you, and try and match it up because there's those yeah, ones could, that could do not. match it. Yeah, could have just a strand of those just hanging over the bedstead. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, Leanne said, good morning, Leanne. Gorgeous face, down a beautiful Devonshire, beautiful strand, beautiful price. Absolutely. I'm just going to show you again. I love the fact you go with all the precious metals. Now, order, already 50 have gone. Now, Christine, oh, good morning, Christine. She said, good morning, ladies and gents. Oh, thanks for including our lovely Ollie. Um, mind you, he quite fits in well with the ladies. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he said, oh, he's, he's a lo lovely man, our Ollie, he isn't is, he? He is. He's a gentle soul. He's a gentle soul. And I meant that he fits in with the ladies as a real compliment. He's a very nice man. Uh, you pay me later, Ollie. Good morning, ladies and gents. I've got mine. Thank you. It's my pleasure. That's love. Gets nice with my top, actually, doesn't it? Purple and pink. Um, now, now, morning, lovely ladies. Uh, oh, thanks, Jamie. Jamie said, looking gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, Z, you look like a pretty disco ball in your top. What, round? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've proper tickled myself now. Oh, Jamie, I know you meant that lovely. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in a silly mood today. So I've got to, when you wake up some days, you just know you're just going to giggle at yourself all day. <laughs> 
It was when I looked. It was when I looked in the mirror. That was it. I was set myself off this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. You are lovely. I want to meet you, Jamie. So lovely. Oh, sissy, you're up early again, aren't you, darling? Sissy's up. What must? Is it about four o'clock in the morning? I'm guessing four o'clock in the morning. I'm guessing. What time is it? Is it twenty to five in the morning? Have I got that right? She gets up at three o'clock in the morning to watch JM. She Bless does. Her. She's amazing. And she said, M mounted wine. Is that, would that, mounted wine? Does that mean mulled wine? Is what I would, or there might be mounted wine in, yeah, in, yeah. in Oklahoma. We call it mulled wine. I like mulled wine. You don't like mulled wine? What's wrong with mulled wine? No, I just like it cold, well, room temperature. Yeah, we've seen your posts on Facebook. <laughs> oh, where to see Offlet? I've run out of wine. Help. <laughs> It's true. Um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Sissy just said, uh, Miss Zena, you will be seeing that my address has changed. Are you leaving cold Oklahoma? She said, I'm heading to South Texas for two months to warm weather. Oh. 3.40. Oh, I was wrong. 3.40 a.m. Sorry, I was an hour out. Gosh. She's up at 20 to 4 in the morning. I have a little bit of a link with Texas. I played the Dolly Parton role in the best little whorehouse of Texas in my 20s. Did you? Yeah, I, I like had to do it. Film. Yeah, it's a good film. I had to do that. It's great. Um, so, good luck with the movie. Is it just for two months and then you're coming back? You're just going like, when, what, like we go from the UK to like Florida or Australia for two months and then we come back. Is that what you're doing? Or are you moving completely? Let us know, sissy. Um, now, morning. Hello, Margot. She said, morning, JM. As Mark Smith would say, oh, Mark Smith's on Sunday morning, by the way, with Carol. That'll be a bla blast, wouldn't it? Mark Smith and Carol. Mm -hmm. um, as Mark Smith would say, if Amethyst and Moonstone had a love child, it would be Lepidolite. Smashing show. Oh, Margot, thanks. Do you know, my director's just said that in my ear. If it, yeah, Amethyst and Moonstone, because of that beautiful Schiller inside, yeah, that's their love child. I totally agree. Okay, right then, don't forget to check out. I've got two columns gone already. Most people buying twos. Uh, so good luck, and we've no, hang on a second. The, the, I'm sure the previous lipidolite we bought you was over sixty pounds on jewelry maker. I'm sure it was. Oh my word! That's a third of the price that we've been at before. This this strand is brand new. It's not the same strand, but the previous strand that we bought on jewelry maker. My understanding is we were over sixty pounds. This is an expensive gemstone, and yet we've just gone under less than a twenty pound note. That is incredible. Now. Carol in um, in 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 East Sussex, collector in the tiny. Well, I've got a lot of people here. Carol in County Meath, Susan. These are all people trying to check out Majida, Maeve, Pamela, Margaret. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Now Amanda, <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> Amanda just said in Kent, I have an Ollie, not unusual, I know, but I can call him Lollipop. Is your Ollie a lolly? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Amanda. <laughs> right, you're yeah, Ollie the lolly. Lolly Ollie. <laughs> That's a new one. Amanda, you have tickled us there, cheap, sweet pig. Okay, then Margot's just got hers, haven't you, Margot? Margot, I've just seen you check out. I just saw you. Um, now, Julie's had two. Mary and Dorset's had two. Now, listen to this collection. Lincolnshire's had two. Ruby's had two. Collection Suffolk's had two. Angela's had two. Joyce's had two. Belinda's had two. Oh, well done, Belinda. Jane's had two. Oh, so I'll tell you, how many did we start with? Oh, we only, see, 163 sounds like, like a lot on the morning show. It isn't. I can tell you that right now. I've never seen... Lepidolite go under twenty pounds. Nowhere. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen the rounds before. It'd go beautifully with my next kit. It, you a know, copper kit. It would go perfectly. Hence yeah. why I mentioned the lovely copper because you've yeah. got a fabulous kit coming yeah. off, haven't you? Yeah, it's amazing. An hour. Yeah, amazing kit with brand new things. But yeah, yeah, it would go amazing with that kit. That for me is just. I mean, you, you, as I said, you know, if you did get, I'm just saying, I've got any amethyst next to me. Um, Oh, I'll tell you what it would go well with. I'll tell you. Now, I've shown it you with the rose quartz. Now, I talked to you about having some, some odd names for gems, like Lipidolite and stick type. They're not the best names. Let's have chrome dots. I don't think that's a great name. But look at these. Stick type cabochons. Bear with me. With either sh the shara white that we've got or the um, Lipidolite. Now, look at those. 
wouldn't those be absolutely perfect these are our stick tight cabochons coming up these are in our eight o'clock deal if you if we can pop these in yeah if we could pop these in she said oh i'm gonna get those in because don't they go great i've never seen that before mm, this is it's called stone. stick tight i'll tell you all about it i'll tell you all about it um got a, can we do those next oh she's so lovely she said we can do those again yeah it's not the best name is it stick tight it's not is it but you know what they are gonna look wicked um now sissy just said i've got a motor coach have you oh we could get on the we could make it into the jewelry maker shower bang can we come and come i'll deliver all your your parcels yeah we'll, i'll come yeah. over yeah. i was just gonna offer that no i got there first shotgun no oh yeah Ollie said he'll provide the lollipops ollie's the <laughs> lolly um oh hang on i didn't give me it back oh she's a she's a snatcher this one she snatches them myself. She said, she did, she said, I have a motor coach and I travel to Texas in the winter and Colorado in the summer. Oh, you're not daft, are you, sissy? Hey, I bet you take all your jewellery making with you and I bet you've got a telly in the, in the motor coach, haven't you, to watch us. She went, uh, Wendy, good morning, lovely girl. Oh, I love, do you know I love this job? I get to just chat to everyone and make jewellery's brilliant. My youngest granddaughter, oh, he's called Lumi. Oh, now that is... Makes you think of illumination, doesn't it? And lighting up. Is that what it means? That's what I think of. Finish word for... S oh, sorry. <laughs> I just... I decided what it was called and then she just told me. I'm sorry. But it's the finished word for snow. Oh, no, we all got... Thanks for all your great shows, Wendy. Oh, bless you, lovely oh. girl. The oh. finish word, Lumi. It's a beautiful name. Lumi. Well, that's the, if you strength, if you lengthen that, do you remember the, the, the French name as well on the, as the candlestick in, uh, Beauty, in Beauty and the Beast? He's called Lumiere. Yeah. Isn't he? Lumiere. Uh, Valerie said, my grandchildren's names are Re Raya, I think that is Raya, beautiful, Tallulah, and Harley, oh, you've got a few, haven't you? And Nevea. My wow. friend's got Nevea, and Nevea is heaven backwards. My oh, friend's yeah. got a Nevea, yeah. Oh, what a lovely idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be lived. I'd you could be. call me lived. That'd be right for me. Everybody, everybody caught up with me, yeah? If I was called lived backwards, what would that be? be? What be. would that be? Come on. Devil. Devil. Yeah. Lived. Lived. Devil. I'd be are you elf. Are you elf? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I've changed my name to. Oh, you've changed you know. it, yeah. Annez, I'd be. Annez, what a great idea. God, we're all on names. Annez. Do you remember Bugsy Malone? Annez is a nice name, actually. Yeah, that's like a, that. yeah, do you remember the song that was sang by jo What's her name? Jodie Foster. Jodie Foster, thank you, when she was little. And Tallu my name is Tallulah. Mm. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm going to go over and watch Bugsy <laughs> Malone now. Do you remember the song, The Name is. You yeah. did, Ollie. He was singing away then. Um, yeah, Tallulah, there's a song in Bugs Him Alone. Watch the film where the films are available. It's brilliant. But Pie Guns and Wads. Oh, brilliant. Right then, shall I show you these? That everybody's desperate to see now because I've been showing them. Right, let's have a look. My name is Tallulah. Is that where they put the feet through the bottom of the car and run? Yeah, that's one. Yeah. I love Bugs Him Alone. It's brilliant. And Scott Bio, that he was in Happy Days with the Fonz. Yeah. He. Anyway, right then, stick tight. I know you wouldn't know that. I didn't think a lot of people would know about stick tight. It's going to go with the charolite. It's going to go with the um, lipidolite. I'm going to show you them both together. Now, now, let me show you these. So they are fascinating. Every single one, as we love, is completely um, different, totally unique. Now look at that. Now discovered in 1910, so about the same sort of time as your morganite, uh, on the west coast of Tasmania in uh, Australia. And it was named after the guy that was called Robert Sticht, hence the name, bless him. S-T-I-C-H-T, okay, so that's the time when you think, oh, if you've got a bit of a pants surname and you want to add it onto the end for your gemstone, it's a bit rubbish. I mean, you know, conzite, yeah, that's okay. It's still a bit, mm, you know, but it'd be like me, broad bentite. How should rubbish have, would that be? It'd have been better off with a glue with that name, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, you should have Robert. left that gemstone alone. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Robert. Sorry, Robert, if you're watching. He might be. You never know. Well, mm, probably not. Um, but um, it was named after Robert Sticht, who was the manager of the mine. So to be fair, he was going to call it after himself, wasn't he? And its colour can range from pink through to lilac to a very rich purple colour. I'll show you another one as well so you can see the difference. I'll show you the, the smaller ones. I think that's so cute. Look. And 
you can uh, green serpentine is usually associated with stick tight and it's this green and this purpley pink combination that makes this really attractive um, cabochon and it's perfect as well you may have seen this sometimes in ornamental stone carving very big in ornamental stone carving is a lovely stick tight um, but it's named after the gentleman himself who owned the mine. But aren't they fascinating? Do you like those, Fleur? I do like those. I like anything that's got a lot of um, interest in that, you know, yeah. the, so you can look at it and see patterns. And but you can see the serpentine sort of within the gem there, can't you as well? Now, shall I show you with the lepidolite again and the sharawite? In fact, I've shown you with the lepidolite. I am going to show it you, if you don't mind, with the um, sharawite because I think that would look wicked. Look at that. That'd be a bit nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, all those textures and, oh, yeah, lovely. That's good. I don't know. I, do you know, I'm going to go back with the... I'm, I'm going for the lepidolite, though. The lepidolite's winning for me. I'm going to show you again. Have we got any lepidolites left, um, Dion Gorgeous Face? Yeah, we'll pop them on the bottom of the... Oh, no, just pop the one on the bottom of the screen. Not can, Come on. Just having a graphic moment, bless her. So, let me show you this again. I think that's perfect. Do you? Oh, that is just... What do you think, Fleur? I think if Alison Terry's got her TV on in the workshop... She'll be having them, she'll won't she? She'll be having these ones. She'll be... Every yeah. time she comes yeah. in, she has about 70 or staff orders to pick up. It's like, all right, love, leave a bit for the rest <laughs> of us. Um, right then, let's do 125 carats. Uh, now, 24.95, but we've got Dion. She's not stopping there. She's just said, I'm so fascinated with these cabochons. I want everyone to get them. So she's going to really, well, there you go, 20% saving there, my darlings, at, at £5 saving. That's 20%. It's done on carrot weight. Now, we've got four in the studio, totaling 125 carats. You might get four. We've got four in the picture there. You might get five. You might get three. You might get four. Um, so, 125 carats. And they, if you, as you turn it around, you get the greens of the serpentite coming through. But that added on and I'm thinking definitely uh, for me there I would go rose gold because I think mm. it would complement beautifully yeah, would. wouldn't you yeah it would beautifully, yeah absolutely yeah. lovely to keep it quite funky as well I tell you what we've got coming up the, um, this morning as well we've got some triangular um some triangle I think they're in the gold aren't they gold plated yeah. I think yeah we've got some gold plated um I think they're gold plated but uh tr trillion um jump rings as well they're lovely so absolutely gorgeous but again just to show you the variation they, they do differ every single one is slightly different uh, I can just keep adding them if I can try and balance. Oh, I'm doing quite well with the balance there. You know, as I've said that, they're all going to fall off, don't you? Um, so, John and Janet, good morning. Betty, good morning. Susan, Sarah, Rupanti. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Uh, Gillian, Helen, Jody, Pamela, Catherine, Sharon, Collectors, Carol, Mary, Sandra. Good morning. Oh, I told you you want to drop off. Sharon in Essex. Good morning, my darling. Wow. Those cabochons are gorgeous. Remind me. Oh, yeah, Scottish Heathers. Oh, that's a great description. Yeah. Oh, I'll have that, Sharon, if you don't mind. Would look amazing with antique bronze. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got there's some wire there. Do you want me to pass it? Do you, would you mind? Not oh, lovely chin. Lovely. I can't get up because I dropped them. Oh, thank you. It's so lovely. That's all right. It would go really nice. Do you know, I've got a heather in my, gar in my front garden that comes pink every year. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, yes. Louise just said they're fascinating. Um... Jackie just said, I have these beautiful, I have these beautiful, and Sashoni said, Sashoni, but add an, add an E on the end, Sashoni. Oh, okay, Sashoni. Oh, wow, wow, lovely. Yeah, thank you. Um, that is perfect. If you, if you have got Lepidolite, well done. Um, okay, I'm about to give you the klaxon, okay? Woo, woo, woo. Is it me, or does that sound like a submarine emerging? Is it? Or is it like, like you know... Nemo. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like when you get, do you know, about four, five o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, our recycling truck comes up, our cul de sac, and you get that whoop, 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 warning. And then you hear the lads, don't you? Four, five o'clock in the morning, they're there. Did you see such and such on the telly last night, mate? Shut up. <laughs> in bed. Anyway, do an under five pound deal. Under five pound deal, good luck on those stick tights and the lepidolites, they're an amazing combination. Go nice with the uh, rose quartz cabochons and um, the shower whites. Oh, tell you what we've got coming up today. You wanna sit, we've got some labradorite cabochons. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, which, which, okay, thank you, darling. Ooh, ooh, now, these are 
Three mil jump rings. They're cute, aren't they're they? They're really sweet, aren't they? Oh, they're cute, delicious. Oh, I'm going to put those on my little scoop and let you have a little look. Oh, they're so cute. Now, what would you use three mil jump rings for, Fleur? So you can't do chainmail with these ones because they're slightly too small. The inner diameter is slightly too small to get two jump rings in to link okay. together. But what I use these for, which looks beautiful, is in my resin. So ah. I put them into my resin and then I just drop a different colour within them to make like a beautiful like polka oh, dot wow. effect almost. Lovely. But you can do the same with your polymer clay and your jewel yeah. enamel and your friendly plastics. Or even just linking them all together, pop them all onto some stretch elastic and make that famous bracelet. It yes. takes 200 to make that bracelet. It would take 200, would it? Yeah, it takes 200 to so make that bracelet. So you need two lots of these then to make that bracelet. Yeah. Or a spacers with your lipidolite. Yeah. If you wanted to go with a gold look for the lipidolite. Yeah, you know, would go lovely. Spacers for that. Yeah, absolutely just beautiful. Little spaces in between, yeah. yeah, really pretty. But you can also just add them on to a large jump ring, just thread them all on and make like a, a flower type yeah. design yeah. for the middle of a, say, macrame bracelet. But really good as wow. macrame as well. There's lots you can do with these, lots and lots. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what we've only got three hours to the end of the show, Fleur. Sorry, <laughs> I, best, I best stop no, now with all the ideas. Do you know, this is what I love, I'm joking, everybody, for everybody messages in. I love, this is what I love about you, because you're just full of ideas. I it's lovely. It, it's just, I think when you see things like this, it's just like, sparks your imagination what you yeah, can do Yeah, but it's like them. you're you're a bit like me, you're just naturally, genuinely excitable, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> Isn't she lovely? That's a lovely... Thank you. I love the idea of the resin as well. Really yeah, they're really good yeah. for the resin, yeah. Oh, Charlene's just said... Um, now, is it Lots of Love or Laugh Out Loud? I can't remember. Which is it the one with the capitals? Is that Laugh Out Loud? And then the lowercase is Lots of Love. I never know which one it is. She said, Laugh Out Loud. Good morning. And it sounds like a whooping crane. <laughs> lovely bird, <laughs> not the crane, you two. <laughs> Do you know I put some fruity fat balls out for my birds? They, they normally wolf them down. I normally put three or four out. They've gone in a day. They don't, I don't know if they've gone frozen or something, but they're not, they're not eating them. So I'm a bit, well, I'm a bit worried because I bought about 90 of them. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope they start eating them. Oh, come on, I've got a massive job. <laughs> anyway. Um, Margaret's got five of these. Oh, well done, Margaret. Uh, Nicola's got two. Pamela, do you know, every single person's bought two. Corinne, Nicola, Pamela. <laughs> Not surprised. Uh, are we? Are we genuinely allowed to do that? I oh, love. Do you know what? She's my producer. She's in charge of the price, and I just said we're allowed to do that. She went, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't, we don't. I cannot get my breath. Does now, do you, I bet you want to run off and get these, yeah. don't you, Fleur? I'm just checking. It did say one. One pound ninety-five. So, one pound ninety-five. That was my breakfast this morning. That's, that's how much my breakfast cost. I mean, we've just said, you could, we've just said, couldn't you? You could pop those in between... This is your lipidolite. I'll show you with the charoite as well. But they could go beautifully in between there. They'd look really cute, actually, it wouldn't would they? Really nice. And great yeah. for your, um, do you know, for your rondelles, your two by one up to your five yes, by two rondelles. Absolutely. Where the, but our, our yeah. smaller, like five mil jump rings are too big. These are absolutely perfect for that yeah. kind of strand as well. And these are your charoite as well. So we've got this coming up after the break for you, my lovelies. Okay, so again, you could pop these in. I can't believe we've gone to £1.95. I am in absolute shock. Now, they've nearly gone, so really quickly, I mean, I'm talking Margaret, Isabel, Sonia, Mandy, Molly, Lynn, Jacqueline, Nicole, Miss Janet, Sue, Barbara, Shawnee, Dorothy, Shirley, Glynis. How many have we got left of those jump rings, darling? They've nearly gone. Oh, I'm going to disappoint. I'm really sorry. Um, don't forget, we have still got, in the next three hours, we've still got our lovely flow. We've got another kit coming up, an amazing kit. Wonderful demonstration from an amazing jewellery from our lovely flow again. Stunning. Uh, we've also got your wall of fame, where it's all about you as well. So we've got lots more coming up. Don't forget, we've got more tans up. We've got Labrador. We've got the sterling silver necklace. Loads more deals for you to come. Thank you for joining us. Please stay with us after the break, if you possibly can. And we'll see you in a moment. 
The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. There are four easy ways to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 54,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Do you want to tell everyone about the great purchase you've made from Jewelry Maker? Do you want to shout about the great service you've received? Then why not download the Jewelry Maker's Viewer's Voice app available for iPhone or Android and record a video that could be played on Jewelry Maker. Simply search Jewelry Maker Viewer's Voice in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download our Viewer's Voice app straight to your phone or tablet. You can record as many videos as you like and send them straight to us here at Jewelry Maker. All you have to do is then carry on watching us as usual and wait for your video to be played. Download the JM Viewers Voice app and you could be the next face we see here on Jewelry Maker. We are live every day from 8am to 9pm. So come and join in and get creating with Jewelry Maker. guest designer Rachel Norris on her Artisan Earrings DVD. Get creating stunning designs in no time at all through the fantastic tuition from Rachel. The easy to follow steps shown on this DVD will make you feel like you have your own personal tutor and experience many different techniques specifically designed for creating earrings. This DVD covers how to make your own findings, Aztec, Art Deco and Aphrodite earrings. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Oh, can I just say, up to 44 times magnification, they look a bit special, don't they? Oh, and they go lovely with those um, stick tights that we've just done on the cabochons. But let me show you that. Now I've got less than 100. I don't have many. Okay, we're lovely and busy this morning. So thank you ever so much for tuning in this Friday. Um, now, look at, look at, look. If I just hold them still for a moment, look. Look, look at all the colours you can see there. Can you see purples, pinks, greens, pinky reddy colours, creams, some sort of caramels? Wow. Aren't they fascinating? And do you know what? They're absolutely natural. Completely natural. You've got beautiful lavender colours in there. They're discovered... that Now, this is a one... Uh, one um, gem, uh, one location gemstone. So we're talking like uh, ametrine, larimar, tanzanite, sarite. All one location gemstones. You can only get them in one area in the world. Now these actually are 
uh, found by the uh, Shara uh, River in Russia. And they've got this, what's known as a very swirling, sort of fibrous appearance. Um, and that's, it, it, it's just glorious. Now, it's the impurities in Shara White that appear these whites and these lovely greys. There's some blacks, there's a bit of brown, there's some beige veins in there as well, lavenders, lilacs. And they sort of interlock with this swirling of colour. Aren't they incredible? Absolutely. Now, you may have heard of a gemstone called, uh, gemstone called Tokoite. Tokoite. T-O-K-K-O-I-T-E. Tokoite. It's, it's actually the same as Sharawite. Some people call it Tokoite, some people call it Sharawite. It's exactly the same material. So if ever you think, what's a Tokoite? It's a Sharawite. Same thing. Okay. Um, and it's like when you hear of a Bolivianite. It's amatory. It's the same thing. Um, and... It's just glorious, isn't it? Really unusual in its appearance. And I tell you what, considering the only reason it's not well heard of and not well known is the reason the price is, is, is very, very affordable on Shara White. It's the only reason. Um, oh, yeah. Now, Louise just said they would be brilliant to complement uh, or set off the Pantone colours, uh, Lou. Well, the Pantone colour, one of them for 2016, is indeed rose quartz, of which I only happen to have some rose quartz very conveniently so you're quite right it would indeed it would indeed Lou set off the rose quartz cabochon pantone color of 2016 you are quite right my lovely girl and I've got some beautiful carrot weight of rose quartz coming up this morning for you but yeah they would work lovely now we also said in the kit that we've got coming up today um, we've got some just to give you a really quick idea I will bring you the kit in a moment but we've got some lovely leather cords so, because you've got those greys and the blacks in that shara white look, just show you sort of like the black colours. If you added that onto some leather cord look, again, great for gents, great for ladies, very subtle, very, very beautiful, very unusual. So, I've got the greys, uh, I've got some black, I've got some, that's the grey, again, that would look lovely. And I've got some beautiful um, copper, really cool findings coming up in the kit and, and jump rings and, and uh, little discs and spacer beads and tubes. So, uh, imagine those hanging off there. That looked lovely. Beautiful. Uh, Pamela just said, I think they would look good with some black diamond nuggets. Oh, yeah, we've had some black diamond nuggets over the last few days. Yeah, we have as well. Yeah, black diamond. The rough nuggets, I totally agree with you. Yeah, absolutely. Now, look at those. 100 carats of those Shara White. I'm just showing, and again, beautifully faceted look. Now, actually, there's a bracelet there with all those lovely colours. Again, that looks amazing. Now, I'm just thinking... If you popped the lepidolite with those as well, I'll just show you those in there as well, look. Intersperse some lepidolite with that shara white, and that'd go great, wouldn't it? Yeah, look at... Oh, in fact, we'll have them as stacker bracelets. They'd look wicked, wouldn't they? Oh, yeah, I do like that. OK, right then, so let's do it. 100 carats of shara white. OK, 100 carats of the shara white. Oh, she's done it again? Hang on a second, you've taken the lepidolite to under 20 for the first time. And, and our lovely Dion's just taking it to under 20 on the Shara White. Wow. 100 carats as well there. Look, I just want to show you on the neckline because it's magical, look. They are amazing. Now, Sheila in Washington. Oh, I've been to Washington. It's amazing. Well done. Um, well, that's assuming it's Washington in, the, in, the, in America because we've got a Washington in the UK, haven't we? A uh, Washington. Um, yeah, I'm sh pretty sure we have. We have, yeah. It's all right. Ben's just gone, have we? In my ear. Yeah, we've got a Washington in, in England. Oh, I'm intrigued now. So, yeah, we're going to have to ask Sheila. Sheila, is it Washington in the US or the UK you're in? Uh, now, Deb Briggs, good morning, my lovely friend. She said, well, I love Shara White. We don't see enough of it. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with it. We don't... Mother Nature didn't make very much. That's the reason why. Uh, Louise said, wow, rose quartz pendant on the leather with a couple of Shara White knotted on each side. Yeah, absolutely. Because you could use the grey leather, the black leather that we've got coming up in the kit. That would look lovely. I'm just thinking as well, with the with the pearls, the pearls would look good as well. Pearl with Shara White to bring out all the colours. What do you think? Mmm, yeah, baby. Okay, right, got it. Good idea, Louise. Yeah, good idea. Okay, keep checking those out. We've gone to less than £20. Brilliant price. Again, 30-day money-back guarantee. 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, at 11 o'clock, don't forget, let me just give you a quick gander again, just very quickly. At 11 o'clock, I've got this Bobby Dazzler, and I did say I'd be going under £25 for you this morning, okay? 
limited it always is limited on tanzanite always will be because of the rarity and the scarcity mm. under 25 pounds there for that tanzanite coming up in what time is it where's the clock gone oh it's been hidden oh i can't see the time now about 50 minutes time thank you dion thank you darling we've hidden it with um fleur's necklace um right then should we give you some jump rings as we've got the mistress of chainmail in the studio lovely fleur <laughs> she loves that name Oh, I've just dropped some. Oh, it's okay. Piece of paper. Um, right there. So we thought we'd bring you some che some cheeky gold plated. Um, now, because of the gemstones we've had today, we've got tanzanite coming up. We've had we've got pearls coming up. We've got labradorite coming up. Uh, we've had blue shaded tanzanite. We've had lepidolite. We've had charo. We've had some very high end gemstones this morning. Um, so what we thought we'd do is we'd bring you some solid nine two five sterling silver jump rings, and then we've plated them in eighteen carat gold. Would you believe? 18 karat gold you get a, um, we're not we've been very generous here as well now that's 50 50 7 mil so again a good size 7 mil on these gold plated jump rings 925 solid sterling silver underneath and they are very luxurious indeed aren't they they oh gosh those are with the lepidolites all the shara whites those with the le, um the uh, again can i just show you this look the, we, Hang on. Now let me just show you this look because I've got those coming up in the next kit. I'm just thinking those with those labradorites in a bracelet look. That would be rather lovely, wouldn't it? With all that look. Oh, it does warm it up, doesn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous labradorites. They're coming up in the kit this morning for you in a moment. Okay. But 50 solid 925 sterling silver gold plated jump rings and we've got less than 10 pounds that is amazing absolutely amazing oh my what do you think fleur well this new weave that we're doing um you need seven millimeter jump rings to make it do with. you so if you wanted to do this weave that we're going to about to do in a precious metal then you can do with seven need, mil. Yeah, with you'd need for to do a full bracelet. You'd probably need about three packs, but it's because it's quite you need quite a lot of jump rings to make yeah. it. But it's well worth it because oh, gosh, it's a yeah. really substantial weave. Yeah, absolutely. That is incredible. Gold plated, solid nine two five. Amazing, amazing. Gosh, 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 gosh. Okay, so just pop those away, my lovelies. Seven mil. So, and but you, you know, again, if you're using this level of gemstone, you need you need high grade jump rings as well, don't you? Um, so that was. Um, gosh, my little brain's not working this morning at all. Okay, number seven this time. Do you, do you, do you, do you. Oh, hang <laughs> on, we are looking. Two hundred seven mil this time. Now these. I'm going to put some of these on my, uh, again. Now, these are open for you. We're going to give you 200. Now, these are gold-plated copper this time. So, if you don't want to strip, and again, it's nice to have an all, uh, the selection on if you're selling your jewellery. Uh, jewelry. So, if you have the gold-plated copper, you've still got 18 karat gold plating on there, but obviously, they're more affordable. Um, so, if you want to go high-end, you can give people, because everybody's got a different budget, haven't they, but Fleur? They have, and, you know, I, I always, if, when I used to do the craft, um, sales and things like that. I always used to do do an offer of both. Do a, yeah, the same weave or the same bracelet in in both. In both, one in the gold plated yeah. copper and one in the and one yeah. in the in the in the gold plated yeah. sterling silver. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Mm. Um, yeah, so they because somebody again you can have the same design but two very different price points, can't you? So let's give you. I don't want to hide them behind there. If I just show you, look, you've got a whole stash of the gold plated copper seven mil drum rings there. Two hundred in total. Wow. 200 in total. Okay, get ready then. £6.95. So, brilliant price. Absolutely. 18 karat gold plating. Now, Fleur, can I just ask, we used about... Uh, you could you could make that statement necklace that we made earlier yeah. with the abalone with these, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, if you had some... So you'd need a 5mm jump ring to, go, well, yeah. to go with them. Um, or, again, you could um, like recreate some of the designs that we're going to do in the kit with these yeah. ones. But the best thing about chainmail is... For each jump ring size, there is an abundance of weaves that you can do yeah. with them. So even if you can just do, if you do the Byzantine and the box weave, these are perfect for your box yeah. weave bracelets. Wow, fantastic. Okay, well done. I mean, goodness gracious. <laughs> yeah, everybody's seen the price. Knowing that it's 18 karat gold plating as well. Nicholas had two, Jacqueline's had three, Sylvia's had two, uh, Margaret's had two, Collection Hampshire's had three, Catherine's had two, and so the list goes on. Anna with two, Corinne with two. 
So many of you coming in on these. Uh, I've got a massive, I've got half as many. Nearly half as many that have already checked out with it in their baskets. Uh, a lot of people on the telephones. Um, so, Maxie, my lovely mum in uh, Tennessee. Good luck, my darling. Jacqueline, there's Tracy, collector in Lincolnshire. There's Joe, there's Elaine, Debbie, collector in Berkshire. There's Alibi, Cassandra. Um, I've got Anne Marie, I've got Maureen and Angela. Just give you an idea of how many people trying to get this. I mean, what's that? Can I, what's that per, per jump ring? Three pence. Thank you, Dion. I'd like to say I worked that out for myself, but I didn't. Dion told me. Three pence a junk ring when they've been 18 karat gold plated as well. They're all open, so all the work's done for you. Amazing value for money. Superb. Now, I, um, when I read that name of uh, that list of names, I, it doesn't include everybody with it in, uh, on the telephone. So uh, I just had, um, gosh, the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people have just come in on the telephone. So. Don't ever, ever sort of get lulled into a false sense of security where you think, well, she's only read out sort of 20 names. Um, you know, the, as I said, all those people have just come in on the telephone. Margaret, Joan, Linda, Kathy, Susan, Kathleen, Linda, Maureen, all just come in on the telephone in the last minute. So uh, that's an incredible deal. Well done. We've got Charity Claire out there in Florida. Sheila in Washington. We're still trying to find out whether... Uh, you don't have to text if you don't want to, sh uh, Sheila, but we'd love to know if you're in the UK or Washington across the pond. That would be very interesting. Okay, right then, so well done if you managed to get all of those. 200 jump rings, no less. Goodness gracious me, amazing. Okay, right then, so should we get to the kit? Shall we? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Okay, let's do these for you. So, we'll show you the findings first because it comes with um, three strands of gemstones as well. Now, ooh, I tell you what. I bet you thought all your Christmases had come at once, didn't you, Fleur? Pip told me about this kit, and Oof. then I waited after my workshop for it to be Did delivered. You? Yeah, because I wanted to see it because I oh, couldn't wow. believe what he was telling me. They they're just amazing. Now, for these are just. I mean, are you going to be able to create your statement pieces with this? My goodness me! And we um, and we're going to show you how to do uh, how to use these. And actually, Fleur has been uh, made these uh, very economical because she's actually cut them as well and sort of split one of those into two pieces as well. I need to make them go a little bit yeah. further. Yeah, she has as well. Clever, mon clever monkey. Now, as you can see there, I mean, how many rings have we got? Look, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. 14 uh, jump rings sort of already attached there for you on those that dare to be bare. That's asking for trouble with Fleur, <laughs> isn't it? Dare to be bare with Fleur Hastings. Oh, dear. <laughs> dare to be bare. I could have ended up with not my dress on. Well, I, oh. <laughs> All oh, right, I know it's after nine o'clock, but that's the morning, love. <laughs> Got to be the evening. Uh, so we've got five of these. Now, those, as I said, can create the most fantastic feature pieces. My goodness me, you'll wait till you see what she's done. So you get five of those. Now, these are the... Uh, now, there are two different lengths. There's the bare round copper tubes. Um, just uh, yeah, in... Just trying to work out which ones these are. 24 by 12 mil, OK? Um, no, that can't be right. That's not those ones. Oh, it's, are these all different sizes? No, no. they're all the same. The tubes the that same are in the size. other one are all different sizes. So the, the, the tubes that are by themselves. So these are the... Oh, gosh, it's a bit hard, isn't it? Yep, can't, can't work out the length of those, I'm afraid. <laughs> I've got a list like that. And it, um, oh, I've got it. Sorry, I do apologise. I've got it. I've got it. I've found it. Five of these bare copper curve tube, as you can see, with 14 loops that we've just counted, and it's 90, I knew 24 wasn't right, 90 millimetres in length and 8 millimetres across. So that's, yeah, that's your tube there for you. So again, that's going to get your leather cords, your satin cords, your paracords, going to get Zari ropes, everything through there. In fact, it would get the cord through the black knitted wire with the, ball, the, the ball, silver ball chain we had in the first kit. That would look cool as well. So you get five of those. And the reason I was getting perplexed there is because these, these gorgeous tubes, and they're all different sizes, these tubes. Again... In your, bare, in your bare copper there. All different sizes. Now, they're, they're 24 by 12 mil, by 6 mil, 8 mil, 9 mil, all different sizes. So you've got different sort of depths, if you know what I mean. So if I show you there, look. Does that make sense? So you look, so you've got different sort of um, gauges within, look, on those tubes. And you get one, two, three, four. I'm trying to work out how many of those you get. Yeah. So you get eight pieces of those, actually. Yeah, eight of those. Now, I haven't finished there. I'm also going to give you some beautiful spacer beads. Absolutely gorgeous. 
So the kit just goes on and on and on. So these are your big, big, big spacer beads. They're four mil, get a hundred of those. I've then got some lovely um, uh, copper that you can actually stamp on if you wanted to, couldn't you? And sort of pop names on and things. Uh, now, there we go. Fleur's made me a bracelet with my name on it before, haven't you, lovely uh -huh. Fleur? Yeah, gorgeous girl. Now, these are your bare cop copper. They're brushed, as you can see. They're round. They're stamping blanks, and they're 25 mil. You get five of them. OK, then we've got a whole host of jump rings. I mean, goodness gracious me, more jump rings than you could wish for. Yeah, so what we've got there is we've got, uh, on your jump rings, we've got 5 mil, 6 mil, and 7 mil. And we've got 100 in each. So 300 jump rings, 5, 6, and 7 mil. Uh, so spacer beads, the copper tubes, the big, beautiful with the 14 loop, the brushed uh, stamps, five of those, 100 of the spacers, eight of your tubes, five of the big ones, 300 jump rings in, well, 100 in 5 mil, 6 mil, and 7 mil. And then, I've got to show you these. Look at these leathers. These leather cords, they are great for gents and ladies, aren't they? They are gorgeous. Now, you've got one in the grey leather, okay, which is this one here, and you've got two mil and one mil. These are your two mil, and you've got one in the gunmetal leather, and then you've got the one mil. So just to show you, they're making friends. So gunmetal and grey, great for gents, great for ladies, and it makes it really gives you a contemporary look. Okay, now Barbara and Dorsha just said, wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I know, I know. Uh, Pauline's just said, oh, 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 oh. She just said, oh. Um, and, um, and Louise just said, would a w sari robe or Viking knit would fit? Wow, yeah, uh, yeah. There's four pieces of the thick leather that have gone through. Four pieces of the two mil leather have gone through it? Yeah. Hubba, 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 hubba. And still in the room. I could probably get another one in there, but I've just run out of leather. Wow. Kathy just said, ladies, I'm not, waiting to f I'm not waiting to find the final prize. I'm buying it now. This is a fab kit. Uh, uh, yeah. So, um, the, the jump rings, the spacers, the stamps, the, the tubes, the five big statement pieces with the 14 loops, two lots of two mil, in the, one in the black gunmetal, one in the grey, um, and the one mil as well. Oh, my word. Now, we should be, understandably, for that amount of kit over £50, and £54, exactly, uh, over £54, um, I don't know whether I dare look at this. Wow, twenty pounds off! Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness! We've got five of these. Five of those are stunning. Absolutely, with fourteen loops on. Um, I'm just thinking. So the beautiful necklace that we made earlier. You, you could, could incorporate that onto those, couldn't yeah, you, instead of the so, chain? Yeah, so that was another reason. I didn't want to say because oh, you see. could make that, that first design. With a so triangular chain mail. Yeah, yeah, with a triangular chain. You can make it and put it straight onto one of these curved wow. designs. I didn't want to give the game away too much. Yeah, no, that is... So that you've got five of those. And again, you've got these beautiful sort of uh, brushed copper... Uh, stamping uh, discs as well. You get five of those. We've got these gorgeous, eight different sizes of your beautiful copper tubes there as well. We've got these amazing uh, jump rings. So I'll just show you the uh, spacers. Okay, so I'll show you the spacers. And Sharon just said, per previous kit necklace attached onto a copper bar with a loop. We, yeah, we just said that, Sharon, we agree with you. I, you must have, I must have read your mind or vice versa. 300 jump rings, 105 mil, 106 mil, 107 mil and the gunmetal leather and the silver as well. Now, Maxine just said, um, Zena, are you going to have 7mm silver today? I need them desperately. I haven't got them in the morning show, I'm afraid. But if you're in, so you want 7mm, is that in um, silver or silver, full silver or silver plated? Let me know and I'll mention it to the, to the buying team and see what we can do for you, Maxine. All right, when I come off at one. Can't believe it, 34.95. Wow, Diane just said, just had to have it yeah i mean it is i mean just just for the amount of copper in there that's incredible and what do you know what i love about this it's not just the value for money it's the variation oh i've only got 78 oh sorry okay uh well i'll tell you what i've got less than half that it's already gone half's gone um that is one of the most i tell you what can we give a little round of applause to our lovely pippa uh lovely pip and helena they put the kids together Pips upstairs now going, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's probably not like that because he dances better than me. Um, but yeah, lovely. So um, we've got a second element to the kit. 
Okay, so if uh, second element to the kit, which is your gemstones. So if you want to recreate uh, flirts, I've oh got not many left there. Oh, hang on. I'm way over allocated on that. First come, first served. I'm really sorry. I'm definitely going to disappoint. I hate disappointed. Um, so this goes with the kit perfectly. We're going to see Fleur's designs in a moment. Okay. So what we've got here is we've got uh, Louise just said, I've got it. It's very different. That's why it's so good. I totally agree with you, Louise. And you do, don't you, Fleur? I do. I was over the moon when I saw it. I bet it. you were. Um, um, devastated I can't get one. <laughs> sorry. That's all right. I'd, I'd love to see what everybody makes with theirs because the, they're just amazing. Well, when I come off, I'll, I'll say to, to Pip that, that they were really popular. So we'll see if we can do, we'll see if we can do, you know, get something similar again for you. Okay, so <laughs> we've got these shimmering, beautifully faceted Labradorites, amazing sizes as well on the Labradorites. In fact, you go from five to eight mil on there. We've then got these lovely, beautiful white freshwater culture pearls. And because we've got those black uh, gunmetal and silver leather, cord, uh, leather cords, rather, we thought we'd go for um, on here, look, your, your black pearls as well. Wow, goodness me. Black pearls, as made famous by Queen Victoria. That's all she would wear is the black pearl. And the ship, of course, by Captain Jack Sparrow on the black pearl. I think I make a very good pirate. You've just scared me. Did I scare you? Yeah. Har. <laughs> Why are pirates called pirates? I know this one, but I won't spoil it for you. Because they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's, weird. it's the only clean joke I know. I can remember. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, I've just got to show you this. Would you mind? Just let me show you the, the graduation for a start. Because that one in the middle is massive. The Labrador Essence is brilliant. You've got all the lovely copper tones in there. You've got these... Look at that. It's like a, it's like a lighthouse inside, isn't it? And then the light going around to guide the ships back into port. They're just amazing. Look at the blue there. Woo! Amazing. Okay, so we've got a genuine natural Labradorite. We've got those glorious white freshwater. They're a big size. How size are they? Nine by seven mil. The second you go over seven mil, uh, you can start to ask more for your pearl jewellery because it's uh, that is incredible. You're talking nine mil, about seven to nine years, about a millimetre a year for your pearls to grow. So, wow. And then the black pearl. I mean, even if you don't use the Labradorite in your designs, that there is your monochromatic look, isn't it? Dare to bear gemstones with Fleur Hastings. Um, they're just going to go gorgeous, every one of those. And you've... Um, for 70, 21 pounds for all... The do you know, there would have been a time when we would have expected to pay £21 for the Labradorite, wouldn't we? Or £21 just for the pearls. Each strand. The world's gone... Just... Bizarre, hasn't it? Bizarre. Now, you'll see in these designs in a moment, when we go over to see our gorgeous Fleur, um, you've, you, she's alternate, she, in some she's just got the black pearls, in some she's alternated and given the the white with the with the black and it just looks absolutely beautiful and some she's just put sort of the, the labradorite and but every one of them work beautifully with those copper those copper findings and oh amazing uh, now Regitha hello lovely guest designer Regitha she just said hi gorgeous ladies hello darling <laughs> she said, just tuned in I just had to have the kit for the loop tubes so Asian she yeah. said <laughs> I, yeah. I thought you might like them lovely girl and just quickly before I move on Laura Binding how are you? I texted the other night. I said, how are you, Ben? Ding. Um, hi, lovely ladies, Fleur. I'm watching. Give me a shout if you want anything. Oh, sure. Is it? Has it gone, Laura? Do you generally want one of the kits? Yeah. Laura. Is there any kits left or have they gone? There's... Hmm. Laura, if there is one of the kits left, we're talking with the leather and the... the... Could you get her one? And the lepidolite, please. Thank you. Oh, yeah. And the lepidolite which looks like that. So if we could have the Lepidolite, sorry about this, we're just doing a personal shot for, for, for our lovely Fleur. And uh, she said, lovely, lovely show. Oh, bless you, Laura. Laura Binding, to anybody else, that's binding. But we've renamed her Laura Binding. So yeah, Lepidolite, please, she wants. And the kitty, if there's one left. Thanks. Um, please stop with all these lovelies, you're going to back rub me. Sorry, Teresa. Sorry, Teresa, love. I'm coming over, I'm bringing me a cup of tea. Because Cass has made me a cup of tea. She made you a cup of tea. She has. Oh, yeah, that's it's all right. lovely. I mean, can't, drunk can't walk over with a cup of tea and not have a cup of tea for our lovely Fleur. Now, I'm just going to. First thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to stand here and going to say, wow. Oh, thank you. Wow. 
this kit is this kit can be contemporary it can be boho it can oh, be chic. bollywood it could be chic it, this, oh. it, what you can do with this kit it's amazing i did and do the a, diversity yeah. of designs is just oh and i've done i've done those necklaces and i've still got two and a half tubes of left yeah because you, you cut cut I've some cut of those some, down yeah, didn't you I've good idea as well yeah, yeah. good idea so. Um, and the bracelets, that one there, now that, I love that, because you've knotted on the end yep. with the with the silvery cord, you've done a little bit of chain mail, you've got that beautiful bar, and then you've added in the Labradorites, that looks brilliant. It's oh, one of my favourites. Wow. Yeah, I'd wear that in a heartbeat. Yeah, that, that and is... the pearl one, the pearl yeah, one's oh, yeah, the, yeah. ultimate. Now, have you, have you sort of, um, have you used some um, liver of sulphur or patina on that, have you? Or? I've used um, a marker pen. Oh, didn't expect that. Yeah, a marker pen and then just a little bit of um, sandpaper. Just to take oh. it. That's all I did was I, I textured it, but I've got a, a show next week with uh, copper sheets. So I'm going to show how I did these textures oh, on that wow. show. And then, yeah, just with a one of those pens that you can't stand your kids having because it's not coming out of anything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I know those. Um, I and know those. Just, yeah, and then all I did was I put it in with my dapping block and made it into a nice, oh, uh, like um, yeah, give it, a concave. Give it, yeah, give it, yeah. So that, that is the beautiful. Sits in there. Beautiful. And all that, the hanging bale is one loop from one of your... Just one, so, yeah. Just one have you just sawn it off, off, have you? With yeah, the, just yeah. with a saw, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, so, so there's, yeah, you could have lots of bales then, really, couldn't you? Because they've got yes. 14 loops on yep. each one. Yeah. Now, that's using its entirety with, again, uh, beautiful with the jump rings. Now, what size are those jump rings? Those ones are the six millimetre jump rings, and all that is six is mil. just two, just one in one. So if you just put two... Link two jump rings yeah. together, add it in, and then just bring each pair to a point. And that's it. And that's all. And then you attach do. the black pearl. Yeah, and that's all you do. Wow, now that is to, gorgeous. But it looks it looks more than it, you know, it looks more complicated. But that's yeah. all it is. That's that is all gorgeous. I do. So we have got that, and then um, I think I think we can safely say flares are my favourite. Uh, again, but again, doesn't I, I wouldn't necessarily have ever thought to put white and black pearl with with the copper, and it looks just looks gorgeous. Beautiful. And you know you can use your Renaissance wax. You can use your um, Swellagant sealant. So if there's any of that on the website, yeah. you can coat these as well so that they don't patina or they don't darken. They can keep them this nice shine. And you cut a little bit of the section off that. That's not yeah, the full that's, bar, no, is that's it? That's a half yeah. a bar. Okay. So I just cut that one in half. Yeah. And then we've got three bracelets yeah. as well. So you've made four necklaces, three bracelets, and I've still got. And you've still got the leather cord left, left, some of the tubes left, some of the stamping discs left, left. the black pearls, the Labrador. Right, the bar, goodness gracious me! Now that is, it. I love that one. That's just a three-strand plait. Not simple. They just plait them, and on the sides it's just a normal plait, and then just in the centre I use the. Um, and that's just the spacer beads. The isn't spacer it? beads go onto the small leather, yeah, wow. no problem. And then the uh, the last bracelet is just one of the one copper of the tubes, tubes, yeah. With one of, I just cut one of the hanging bales off. And I just oh, and added threaded it, it through. Just oh, threaded that's it clever. On. Yeah, so we oh, can talk brilliant. about. We can talk about brilliant. how to make that as well. Yeah. Just go through that. But no, it's just... Now, it's just a lot of people have got those gemstones for £21. Brilliant deal. For, I mean, just to get black pearl for £21 is fantastic, let alone the white pearl and the Labradorite. How many have we got those? Of those have we got left, Dion, lovely girl? She has gone, no she has gone, she has gone naughty with that because there's blue in Labrador, isn't there? Okay, now sweet gorgeous yep. face. Which, which one are you going to teach us how to do? We're going to do the trizantine, which is these little sections on that. These very ones first here, necklace. isn't it? So we've never done trizantine before. It's Ooh. a lovely weave. I'm guessing that includes threes. Yeah, so it's byzantine but with three. Yeah. Aye. So you've got your byzantine and your trizantine. Uh, Lorraine, just a lovely designs blur. Hello to one and all oh. this morning. Oh, what a lovely message, Lorraine. Thank you very Same much. Thank you. And Laura Binding said, ah, too late for the kit, but I did get you the lip of light. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Laura. She said, just give a shout if you want anything else. I've got to go out at 20 past 11, but I will watch until then. Oh, so you got nearly, you got, oh, what were you doing? Tans yeah. night at 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. uh -huh, yeah. So, yeah, she's watching. Where are you going at 20 past 11? We want to know where she's going. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Binding. <laughs> right then, let's get cracking. Over okay. to you, gorgeous face. So we'll talk about how to cut these down in a minute. Yeah. Because you, you do have to use a saw to cut these down because they're quite substantial um, okay. tubes. But we're going to go the, do the actual weave itself first so that I know that I've done that because I yeah. promised that I'd do that on the Facebook page. Okay. So we've never done tries on time before. Laura Bynion's done tries on time. She's Ooh. got a tries on time bracelet. She'll be sat at home now going, I can do this. <laughs> so. Basically, it is like a Byzantine weave, but instead of um, twos, it, it's in threes. But there's, there's a few more stages to it. So it's 
it is a beginner weave because I don't believe that any chain mail is hard or difficult. I think it's the size of jump rings that you make it in that makes it hard and difficult. Yeah. So if you've never tried chain mail before, don't be put off okay. um, with this one at all. So what I've done is I've linked three jump rings into three jump rings. So I've got six jump rings linked together. Okay. okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, this, the first three here, the blue with, with the red, yeah. and I'm going to put a little piece of wire through just the blue, so the first and third jump ring. Give so it. I've just, you can just see there, so I've just yeah. put the, the, the uh, piece of wire through the first and just third. Just any piece of scrap wire. Just any piece yeah. of scrap wire or a head pin. Because you're using it as like a handle clip, really, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, just something to hold, yeah. hold on to. Yeah. Okay, so I've now got this formation, so I've still got my three that I've, that I've not touched yet. This was my original three, so I've just pushed the second one forward number one and number three. So okay. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add two more closed, uh, two more jump rings. And the way that I'm going to add them is one on either side of the gap with the red. So one this side and one this side, okay? So I'm just going to go through and add that jump ring there. Okay. Now these are a lot bigger, so obviously this one's going to yeah, slip Yeah, for demonstration forward. purposes, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to get the, don't want a red one because it'll confuse the colours. So now I've got this formation. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is my still my middle one. Now you can do this in the seven millimeter jump rings. You can't really do it in the six millimeter jump rings that we sell because it's there's not enough room okay. to get to all get the all jump, the jump rings in. Through. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I've done now is so I've there my two. And now these two are going to be like my Byzantine wings, if got you like. You. So okay. this is going to now look like Byzantine again. So I'm going to fold those two back and give them a little squeeze. So now I've got this formation. Exposing that one. Yeah. Though, so it? I've got the three now in the middle, yep. but I've also got three on the top. So what I'm going to do now is this is where I'm going to pull my Byzantine knot together. So I'm going to spread out that second lot of three. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with my open jump ring and collect up those three in the middle. So the three that I'm collecting are the initial red one that was yep. put forward, number yep. two, yep. and then the green top and bottom that I've just added as my third. Okay. But I have to do it in between yep. number one and number two on the on the triple okay. on the top. So there's one. Don't worry if it all falls down like that. You just give it a little pull and it'll all come back together. Okay, so that's number one. Then we'll put that to the side. Now my next one goes in the gap between number two and number three. three. Okay. So it's, it's quite self-explanatory. You can see where it's going yeah. to go. Just a little bit okay. of concentration. Yeah. Can I just say what Paula's just said, morning ladies, morning Paula. She said, I am thinking of booking myself onto Fleur's workshop for March as I'm loving these. And oh. she's coming to Mark's macrame uh, and more workshop next month. I cannot recommend her chain oh. mail. When I've gone into the second, I've said to Fleur, and I yeah. mean this hand on heart, and she knows this, the second, every time she does a workshop, I'm working, aren't I? Yeah. I'm coming yeah. to see you. Yeah. And I come into the workshop, and I, the, 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 the designs that everybody's on the introductory workshop to yeah. chain mail is brilliant. And I've already said the next time I've got a day off, and uh, at this this lovely lady has got a workshop for chain mail. I'm in. I'm done because oh, honestly, gosh. you will not regret it. It's brilliant. I've got I, um, an experience, chain mail experience in March. Have you? It's two days, 16th and 17th, and it's on my birthday, so it's going to be a oh, real experience. Wow, that is going to be fantastic. Yeah. Just yeah. after, and um, so that is. It's a Patrick's Day, 17th. 40, so that's a Tuesday and Wednesday, isn't it? Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, is it? Yeah. 16th. Well, 14th and was on a Sunday. Wednesday, no, it's 16th and 17th. Of Feb. No, March. Oh, that's, that's what threw me. Sorry. And just quickly, Sebby said, I'm yep. sorry to interrupt you, lovely yep. ladies, but Fleur, you just mentioned coating something with something. <laughs> what was it you were coating and with what? <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> I love that. What was it you were coating and with what? I like that, Stephanie. She said, Thank you, amazing, beautiful jewellery. Yeah, Thank you. Um, it was the little pendant in the disc, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so any bare copper, um, bare copper will naturally carry on aging so it'll get darker with age and with the it oxidizes in the air basically yeah. so you can keep it shiny um new if you yeah. like with um the renaissance wax and the yep. um swellegant sealant that we which have we do the, have on the on website, website. jewelrymaker.com so yeah if you want it to age and you want the benefits of bare copper don't coat it if you want to keep it nice and shiny then you have to coat it or just Failing that, if as long as it's not got the pearls on it, a little bit of lemon juice and water, because don't put your pearls in your lemon juice and yeah. water. Yeah. Um, lemon juice and water, and that'll bring it up nice and shiny again. And with that disc, you just added a little bit of marker pen, didn't you? Yeah, all I did was yeah. get a marker pen and then a little bit of um, sandpaper, and then just 
rubbed it back off and, yep. then, and then where I've textured it that's where the marker pen sits yeah. in the grooves wonderful so is that okay lovely <laughs> we're covering what we want <laughs> Love that. That's like me. That's what I do. That'd be me as well. Yeah, yeah. I was listening sort <laughs> yeah. of, but what was it? <laughs> so I've now got my first wing, if you, my first section of trizantine. So okay. now I need to add my second section, and this is where there's always one jump ring in chainmail that's always a little bit troublesome to mm. get in. And now yeah. this is where that jump ring comes in. So I need to now be able to extend this on. So I now need, first of all need to add three jump rings to this section. Okay. One, two, three. Now, if I just hold it out there, now can you see, if I hold it there, can you see that I've got the same formation, but I'm missing that where that red jump ring was. Yeah. I'm missing, sorry, where the um, yellow jump ring is there. Yeah. I'm missing that middle jump ring. Yeah. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the three. And I'll do this a couple of times. Yes, please. I'm going to come up through the middle. Yeah. And then it's got to go between that pair of jump rings there. Okay. So all it's doing is it's going through those two jump rings. Okay, okay yeah. So I'll just take it out and I'll do it again for okay. you. Because like I said, this is the only one where, and even when I was uh, looking at some of the tutorials, I was like, oh, I still don't get it. Yeah, still okay. don't get it. Okay. So it goes up through the three that you've just added, and then it turns and comes down through the pair. Yeah. Yep. So you're creating, and when I close it, you'll see what it, what, you're creating that look again. Yeah. So the red jump ring, sorry, the red jump ring and the yellow jump ring are opposite each other. Got you. Okay? Yep. So now I've got that formation again. I'm now going to go and add on my two jump rings here and here that are going to fold back into my Byzantine knot, if you like. Got you. Now you've just got to make sure that you just get those double rings don't attach that that red jump ring in there at all okay. it's a quicker uh, just now I'm desperate to know why she's called chicken lady uh, that could oh, be all chickens. sorts I, uh, I actually because she's got chickens I think she's got one called Fleur as well has she? I think so that's the same chicken lady. Oh, Tracy, let us know. But yeah. she just said Fleur, which yeah. I think is a cracking idea. She just yeah. said, I use extra large paper clips yeah. as the handle. Yeah. That's They're a great good. idea. Do you know why I don't use extra large paper clips? Because I can't help but unfold them. Whenever I get a paper clip, I just have to unfold it. I can't help it. So that's why I have well, to try. use bits of wire. I can't. <laughs> I, think I, I think I need help with it. <laughs> I can't help. Now, uh, just quickly as well, Susan's just said, I've just joined you. She said, hello, Susan, lovely girl, welcome. She said, it's unrelated to JM, I know she, but I do love Fleur's dress. Oh, I know. I mean, bad look. <laughs> covered in lips. Got She's lips. basically put a blue dress on and kissed herself. I have. All over. All over. <laughs> and um, Andrew's just, oh, a lovely gent. Oh, lovely. At morning, uh, lovely oh, lady. Oh, thanks. I quite agree with Zena. Fleur's workshops are well worth attending and brilliant value Aww. for money. She's a brilliant teacher. Andrew's done a couple of workshops, bless him. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Aww. Andrew's Andrew's chainmail's gorgeous as well. It's amazing. Really? Yeah, he's very good at his chainmail. Oh, and all the mediums as well. Yeah, it's very good. Right. Bless him. Uh, bear in mind, this lady did win Best DVD of the Year mm -hmm. for 2015, as voted for by you. Yes, thank you for that. Thank you for voting. Which DVD was it? Um, it was the European Weaves. Yeah. The European Weaves. So hopefully we're going to get some more DVDs soon. Yeah. We need to film one, don't we? Yes. Oh, we'd have a field day, yeah. wouldn't we? We'd need a bit longer than an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah give us a week. Might yeah. be right. <laughs> film it in sections. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Andrew. Okay, right, so sorry, now, darling. Now I'm back to this stage again. So I've got my two jump rings here, which I'm now going to fold back. Now I'm just going to let go of that bit and hold support that middle bit. So now, again, exactly the same as when I started. I mm -hmm. fold the first two back. You give them a little squeeze together, it starts to form. So they're the three that I need to collect, and these are the three that I need to open up. Okay? And then taking my two jump rings again, making sure you do get that red jump ring. Yeah. Collect them up, one on one side, leave the middle one. So there's, there's two definite areas where you're going to go, and this is going to be like the separating bar between them. Okay? And down through that side. And then when you hold it together, yeah. that is your trizantine wow, section. Wow, that is gorgeous. So oh, that is lovely. If you 
did want to carry on, I've just done them in sections. If you wanted to carry on, you would just carry on exactly the same. So you add three to this section, put that pesky little one that has to go in between. Yeah, he's a pesky the, yeah, one, isn't he? Yeah, he's a naughty one, that one. Um, they make sure it goes through that pair. And then with, with these um, little trizantine sections, I have put the Labradorite on. The Labradorite works in two ways. Mm. It, it weighs it down as well. So as you can see, these little wings sometimes can start to become a bit loose. Yeah. But with the tension of the Labradorite, mm. it pulls it straight. Right, okay. Okay, so when it's in a bracelet, it doesn't matter. But oh, great, it's, okay. it's exactly the same with Byzantine. Yeah. If it, need, it needs something on something the end. Something to weight it down. Just something yeah. on, so if you're doing these as earrings, just pop something on the end. So jump on the end. Pull it into just position pull it into almost. Position. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Looks lovely, doesn't it? It is a beautiful one, isn't it? Do you know what? You've just made my day. She said, I've got a chicken called Fleur and Zena. She said, I've sent you a pic here on your Facebook page. Zena, aww. <laughs> I think they're rescue chickens as well. I oh, think they're rescue always, chickens. My, I thought my mum always wanted, she wanted chickens and a goat. I had two chickens called Sybil and Constance. Did you? Yeah, Do you know, good. can I tell you something now? I've had, I've had a dog called after me, a cow. <laughs> I know. It's quite and a now a chicken. There's quite a few horses called Fleur as well. I've had lots of people that said, oh my, I've got friend with a horse called Fleur or yeah, a dog called yeah. Fleur. Yeah. Yeah, Fleur Aww. and Zena must be popular Made animal names. Made my day there, Tracy. Have you got two chickens <laughs> running around? <laughs> <laughs> that was my impression of a chicken. <laughs> uh, but thanks. Ollie just said that's amazing. Thanks. Yeah. Ollie the lolly. Uh, Patricia said, hi girls, I'm booked for Fleur's workshop in March and I can't wait. Aww. Hobby's a little bit jealous. Uh, I want to spend my birthday with Fleur. Fleur. Oh, Aww. sorry, that carried on. Hobie's a little jealous that I want to spend my birthday with Fleur. Love the show. Will it be your well, birthday? It's my birthday on the 17th, so we can be... Cake! We can get two cakes now. Two cakes. And Pops. just quickly as well, I've got another text coming from Mirabelle. Ah, my lovely Mirabelle. She said, Team, morning Z, Fleur and Team looking gorgeous and sparkly as always. <laughs> Thanks, weekly checks in the post, Mirabelle. <laughs> Fleur is a great tutor. She is. She makes everything look so easy. She does, don't she? It's because I can't do anything that's difficult. It has to be, for me to be able to understand it, it mm. has to be simple. So, yeah, these, this, this is the, uh, the calm Fleur that shows you the end result. Ask my husband what oh, the, oh, the manic what the, Yeah, like, while you're I'm learning, learning which <laughs> <laughs> Because that's not a pretty sight. It really is not. And just, hang on a second. Tracy in Dorset just said, I've just got in. Um, can you tell me which we Fleur is doing? Now, this is the Trizantine. Trizantine, yeah. So Byzantine, or, um, um, but with a three. Yeah, this is Trizantine, yeah. But she said, have we had Sveen on Jewelry Maker recently? It's amazing. I've only had Sveen on once and it literally sold out in about five seconds. She said, I got my Sveen yesterday. Absolutely beautiful. Love it. Sveen. I tell you now, a, a, a lot of the presenters over at Gemporia, nearly every one of them, and me included, have all got Sveen jewellery. It's amazing. I bought my mum some Sveen earrings for oh. Christmas. It does have to be Sveen oh. to believe it, doesn't it? It does. I've never seen a... I've never, yeah, it's really good, that. <laughs> yeah, it's right over my head. I was still trying to... I was thinking, how do I say lemon and lime colour without... Lemon and lime? No, but it's not. It's like it's more of a different lemon and lime, isn't it? It's more of a... I don't know. It's just beautiful. Well, colour. it can be sort of browns and caramels and greens. It's incredible. Yeah, Absolutely it's fantastic. Stunning it is. So, thank you. Well, no problem. You gorgeous face. Um, well, we're talking about you lot. Can I just say as well, thank you for all your lovely messages for our lovely Fleur. She's brilliant, isn't she? She is brilliant. Oh. Get yourself... You can book um, Fleur's workshop. There are, are there some spaces available? Yeah, and yep. me and Claire have got a resin and wire work workshop. I've got to come February. on that. I've That's got to come on that. Where you'll learn to do a locket. It's over two days. You've got me in the morning, both mornings, and Claire, both afternoons. Got to do that. These two. They're such good friends as well off camera. It's lovely. So, uh, right, well, it's over to you now because we're going to do the Wall of Fame. Hello, my lovelies. Right, we're going to bring you the Wall of Fame now. Now, the idea is that you make your own jewellery, you send in a picture. Ideally, it gets onto the Wall of Fame, and then you go into the draw that is drawn on a weekly basis on a Wednesday. First prize gets £100 credit badges for jewellery making. Now, that goes a long way. And um, uh, second, uh, well, runner-up or second place, whatever you want to call it, uh, gets £50 uh, jewellery making vouchers. So, absolutely amazing. So, we're going to start off. Shall I start? I don't mind. Whatever. No, do you know what? You can start. Okay. I've got a piece of jewellery that I'm very jealous that I don't own. Oh. 
it's just stunning. And it's number 383, and it's from Annette. And it says, hi, Gem, here is my Malachite mm. cabochon, which I've wrapped in stone and silver. The stone is beautiful, that I wanted to leave the face of it as exposed as possible. So I adapted a technique demonstrated by Gemma Crow on a DI show just before Christmas. I hope you like it. Best wishes, Annette. And that it's just stunning. It's Gorgeous. Just beautiful. Malachite, though. Yeah, it's, oh. Oh, it's a beautiful stuff. Beautifully photographed as well. It very is. artistic. Yeah, very, very nice. nice. Right, number 378 in the drawer is from our lovely Lynn. Um, and she said, Hi, all at JM. Hello, lovely. My entry for this week's Wall of Fame is a necklace made from Zari ribbon. Oh, mm. lovely luster. Uh, three hematite hearts in the front there, look. All from JM and one of my own fancy buttons to fasten it. That's lovely. I would like to say in agreement with the JM viewers recent remark that I missed the actual wall of fame itself. Bring back our wall, please. It's because we're so restricted in the studio, we can't fit them on. But we are working on it, apparently. Because, yeah, I know what you mean. Because it is, we used to have them in the yeah. other studio, all lined up, and we had the official wall of fame. But uh, I'll tell you what, uh, lovely Lynn, we are working on it. But you're in the draw. Congratulations. OK, I've got number 384 and a beautiful piece with some gorgeous stars. And it, this is from Lynn, and it says, Hi, jewelry maker. This is my first entry to the Wall of Fame. I made this necklace for my daughter out of clear quartz and hematite stars with silver findings, all purchased from JM, of course. I'm hooked on JM, and the quality and service are top class. Aww. And that's from Lynn in, is it? Wal Walsley. Walsley. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. For your first piece, and well first done, piece well done sending it, it in. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Keeps any more because we love yeah, seeing Yeah, we them. love seeing them. And this, oh my goodness gracious me, this is from Susie Kenner Campbell and she said, Dear Jewelry Maker, here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. I'm calling it my vine necklace. Well, we can see why. Made with uh, 1 mil, 0.8 mil and 0.4 mil wire. All you also used with amethyst carved flowers. Oh my goodness me, they're gorgeous. Chips and freshwater pearl, pearls. Everything from Jewelry Maker, including the inspiration. I was inspired by the lovely Claire McDonald. I do hope that a DVD featuring Claire's flowers is in the pipeline. Well, yeah, because she got design of the year, didn't she? She's not she? nice, you know. She's, not She's a nice. gorgeous. She's not a nice person. <laughs> She is. I love her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Okay, I've got number 385. Oh, that's unusual, isn't Beautiful. it? Beautiful. Bless you. Oh, wow. Looking at it oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we were busy looking at it then. And this is from Tanya in Essex. It says, uh, Hi, Jem. I've recently visited Ireland and was inspired by the Emerald Isle to use oh. my recent natural emerald purchase from JM. In this Celtic design, uh, the gemstones I purchased from you continue to inspire me. Thank you for your continued inspiration. Good luck to everybody. And that's Tanya Ninnis in Essex. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't and you're doing it? it inspired from everything. Yeah. Holidays yeah, and, yeah, everything, and people. Everything inspires and, you. And yeah. like you say, the gemstones themselves. Yeah, lovely. Stunning. Now, this is number 380 in the, in the drawer, and it's from our lovely Laura. And uh, Laura Haining, she said, hello all at JM. She said, this is my entry for this week. I bought the beautiful bezel strand of smoky quartz, and I was asked to make them into a set for a gift. It is a very simple set, but I hope it will be well received. It is indeed. Simplicity is beautiful. Uh, the strand is lovely, and I hope to purchase more of them in the future. Thanks for all the great products. Best wishes to all, Laura. And they are lovely. Simple set there, beautiful. really. But again, it, the, when you've got a bezel set yeah. uh, smoky quartz like that, they just they do all the work for you, and they just look amazing, don't they? But beautiful. Well done. Oh, hello. I've oh. seen this on Facebook. This is the most oh. amazing piece of art. That's a little ever. chameleon, isn't yeah. it? Wow. And it's from Debbie. It's just amazing, isn't it? I absolutely love it. it Boy, says, George would be proud of that, wouldn't he? He would. Hey? I think you'd have to sing that song the whole time. You would, wouldn't you? It, yeah. <laughs> chameleon. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, it says, Hi, all at JM. Having a little play this week, as I have quite a lot of wire. A little chameleon. Oh. I use the bracelet mandrel for the body part of him, the lazy daisy small for the legs, and the wags why kind of original for the eyes. All JM products as usual. Have a great day that is and good amazing. luck to the, in the draw. And that's from David. That's made my day. That I think that's that brilliant. That is amazing. That we're gonna have, we're gonna we're gonna sit and look at that in the break, aren't we? I that just is think brilliant. That's brilliant. She's got it out in the garden as well. Look, look I just that's think fantastic. I have to name him. Oh, these are like the chevron gemstones. Mm. You'll see what I mean. These are brilliant. This is Isabel. 
Uh, Isabel Shaw, she said, hi everyone, presenters, designers and crew. Oh, that's nice of you, Isabel, thank you. Love the show, gems and inspiration. This is my entry into this week's Wall of Fame. I used snowflake, obsidian and quartz, loving the effect I made. A full set, necklace, bracelet and earrings with silver plated findings. Hope you like it too. Well, we didn't half. Uh, everything came from JM, of course. Isabel Shaw, brilliant. I love it. Love the colours. Love it with those snowflake mm. obsidians. They're lovely, yeah. aren't they? Wicked. So you're in the drawer number 381. And this is using, I think this is my favourite strand of the mm. year so far, mm. um, number 387. We all love that strand. Um, morning JMers, uh, aren't these beautiful? I had to buy them when the amethysts were on screen and they were snapped up immediately by a friend who wanted them combined with stone and silver. She's finished, um, she's delighted with the finished set. I bet she All is. All items from JM, and that's from Joe. Joe, that is just, wow. just beautiful. And I think if I had that strand, oh. that is what I would do with it as well. Just, just again. I think it's just stunning. It's, oh. The works in the in the gemstones, yes. you don't have to do mm, Beautifully cut, aren't they? That step cut, the classic step cut. Amazing. Uh, this is the last one for this morning, so good luck to everybody. Number 382, and it's Wendy Jane. And she said, hi, JM. I've been inspired by this year's Pantone colours, the pastel blue and the, and the rose quartz pink, to make this delicate necklace and earrings for my mum. I've used her birthstone, which is the lovely aquamarine, the pale blue, in faceted rondelles and plain rounds, and then small pink pearls and faceted pink amethyst drops with sterling silver findings. That's really pretty, Wendy Jane, all from JM. Good luck to my fellow whoppers, she says. And for those of you thinking, what's a whopper? <laughs> it's a wall of fame. Uh, so good luck to you all. The draw will be next Wednesday. Good luck, good luck, good luck. And thank you for taking them in. Thank you. Uh, sending them in. Uh, now, a little bit earlier on, I bought the sterling silver um, rings with the little, with the little prong on. And um, they had some um, pearls, which I did the drops in the end, but I, I did bring these accidentally. And then I said I would do these um, again for you. So I had the lovely sterling silver ring mounts with a little prong. We've, got, we've done the um, sterling silver earring mounts and pendant mounts as well that these would work on. Uh, they are in white freshwater cultured pearls. They're approximately seven mil, and they're just. Now, if I just hold, turn one over for you, you'll actually see that they are in fact half drilled for you. So we actually popped this onto the ring mount earlier this morning. Uh, it fitted along with the white drop and the peacock pearl as well, and they look lovely. Now you get a five-piece set on these, so there are five in total. Okay. So five in total, and they are genuine white freshwater cultured pills, half drilled, and they're seven mil. It's a perfect round. I mean, if you've ever seen um, a coya cultured pearls, uh, a coya pearls, not cultures, sorry, a coya pearls are tend to be a little bit smaller, but these are seven mil, but they're nigh on perfect. This has got smoothness, pearlescence, luster, amazing. Six ninety five. Now, what's that per pearl? One pound, I'm trying to do one pound 95 divided by five. It's roughly one pound, hang on, let me get my brain in gear. About one pound 40, one pound 39, well done Ollie, it was nearly closer than me, one pound 40. One pound 39 each, genuine, round, seven mil, amazing, well done. Okay, so I've got, I'm sorry to move on so quick, but I've got to, got to hurry up. I've got things to do, I've got, you know. Um, oh, no. now. Now. We've got this beautiful chain. Now, we're talking about how you can do a rosary link, yeah. but it's very time consuming. It takes a lot of wire, yeah. doesn't it, to do yeah. a rosary link? And to get that consistency all the way through, it uh, does take a while. Now, these, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That is a, a metre. <laughs> oh, yeah. A metre of solid 925 sterling silver chain in these delightful rosary links. And then we've set into the chain all the way through some divine silver grey moonstones it's beautiful i love these chains isn't that lovely i mean is it is it about a meter of a meter and a half of of, of sterling silver of, of silver wire that you would use to make this is it about a meter and a half you probably end up wasting about half a meter yeah really yeah, for the, the lens that you cut yeah. off yeah and they wouldn't even be long enough to make uh, ball head pins out of you know just to heat it up and make a ball head pin because they're, they're tiny snippets exactly yeah so that's, uh, and obviously we all know how expensive sterling silver wire is. I mean, my goodness gracious me. This is an entire metre. Now, a metre is going to give you, if you wanted to make, a, that's, stop, that stopped me there, but she's put at the bottom slash. It always worries me. That means she's been really, she thinks she's Zorro sometimes with a cape, this woman. 
She does. Other K Crusaders with a with a sword are available. <laughs> <laughs> Three Musketeers, I'm thinking. That one off Shrek. Puss in Boots. Was that Lord Farquhar? Oh, Puss no, in Boots. Boots. Lord Farquhar. I love him, Lord Farquhar. I love the way it's John, John Lithgow one, doing his yeah, voice, yeah. isn't he? Yeah, Lord Farquhar. He only jumps off the horse and he disappears because yeah. he's about two foot. <laughs> Uh, oh, I want Lord Farquhar now. Um, yeah, so if you had a metre, we'll get the pricing for it. Boom, she's done it. And again, 33% yeah. savings. So that is two thirds of what it should be. Third off in, in, in effect. Um, and that, if you had a metre, you can make two 16 inch necklaces in a bracelet, mm -hmm. can't yeah. you? Or an anklet. All my chainmail pendants I use with these um, chains when yeah. I'm selling them as well. Oh, I, do you? Yeah, I, so if I do um, a chainmail pendant in sterling silver I always use these beautiful gemstone chains God. A because I think they're beautiful and B because I could never make that myself I was say, look how many bracelets I could have made there and I could have done another one actually if I just popped that through look so I've got one two three four five six bracelets on there look and if you just put a gem uh, um, a jump ring on the end that would be lovely as a holiday piece because you yeah. have it as a long necklace or as a stamped yeah. bracelet yeah, so you absolutely. Could, you could, um, yeah, I am thinking it. as well, even if you... Look how many times I've got to unravel that. Again, because you've got that length, you could have a lovely a really long. long for your holiday, couldn't you? Mm. Just making sure I don't whack my... my, my um, but yeah, that could be just a lovely... Oh, you could knot yeah. it. Yeah. That'd look nice yeah. knotted again on the neckline as well. Earrings, tassels. I am, yeah. You know when you do... Yeah, I'm thinking... I mean, when you've got the Labradorite as well, if you pop Labradorite with those, yeah. because Moonstone in the white Moonstone, Rainbow Moons, is effectively a transparent Labradorite. So it goes really well with Labradorite. So those were the Labradorites that we had in the kit, and we've got some fabulous Labradorites coming up today as well. I'm um, just thinking if you cut that into sort of that length of sort of strand there as well, you, and I've sort of put, I don't know, half a dozen to ten together, you'd have a lovely tassel effect yeah, as well, wouldn't good. you? Yeah. Either that have that as a, like a lariat style mm -hmm. necklace, or again, two or three, give you a lovely tassel movement yeah. as well. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, lots of people have got twos. Um, now, we would hang around, but we did promise the Tanzanite for you under £25 at 11 o'clock, so we've got to mosey on over to a break. Keep checking that out as, you, as quickly as you can. XGUD21. We've got it, should be £14.95. We've given you £5 saving, 33%, third off. Nearly everybody's gone for two, okay? Availability, roughly? We okay? Availability? Yeah, we're okay at the moment if you all check out. So good luck on that, my darling. 9.95. Uh, join myself and Fleur after the break. We've got an amazing deal. We've got Tanzanite guaranteed to go into £25. So please stay with us and we'll see you the other side of the break. Sarah Elvin brings you her DVD, Friendship Bracelets. This fantastic DVD is filled with excellent techniques to create the perfect friendship bracelet. This includes the chevron style bracelet, the knitted style bracelet, and the crisscross bracelet. Friendships are forever, and so are bracelets. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives 50 If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker, Ivy House, Henley Road, Outhill, Studley, B807DU. Get making and good luck. Did you know when you book on a Jewelry Maker workshop, you are given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655.
Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker by liking our Facebook page and join over 55,000 like minded people. Do you want to tell everyone about the great purchase you've made from Jewelry Maker? Do you want to shout about the great service you've received? Then why not download the Jewelry Maker's Viewer's Voice app available for iPhone or Android and record a video that could be played on Jewelry Maker? Simply search Jewelry Maker Viewer's Voice in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download our Viewer's Voice app straight to your phone or tablet. You can record as many videos as you like and send them straight to us here at Jewelry Maker. All you have to do is then carry on watching us as usual and wait for your video to be played. Download the JM Viewers Voice app and you could be the next face we see here on Jewelry Maker. Hello, my lovelies. I've got a real treat for you now. If you've just joined us, you have got perfect timing. Let, don't let anybody tell you any different. You're here with myself, Zena, the fantastic jewellery maker, Cream. All, uh, cream? Team? I was going to say, that was crew and team. <laughs> that was cream and team. <laughs> crew and team. Oh, dear, help me. Right, sorry, the jewellery maker team, or crew, not cream, and our lovely guest designer today, our lovely Fleur, our gorgeous Fleur, the mistress of Chain Man, as we've <laughs> named her this morning. Um, but uh, you've joined us at the, the perfect time because we're all very excited. We've all just been gawping at this in the break. We have got, um, I've not seen much tanzanite lately, I haven't personally. And I've got a real, real pretty strand. Now, it is very deceptive, this, because you know what? There are 32 carrots on here. 32, now look at the size of that one in the centre. We go up to six by four millimetre in the, in the centre there. We start at two by one and it is just delightful. Now I've actually been out to Jaipur. I've been out uh, last, last May um, in their summer, which was flipping hot. Uh, I'll tell you that right now, 46 degrees. I was like, whoo, that's a bit hot. But I've actually seen the, oh, I saw my lovely cousin Steve Bennett in, um, in, 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 uh, negotiating on tanzanite and we're very lucky because we've seen because we get to see about 80 percent of the world's tanzanite that that's not just us boasting the reason we tell you that is because we have that very unusual privilege we have that luxury of because we are one of the biggest three buyers of tanzanite in the world um we we can refuse and reject now a lot of jewelers can't do that they can't afford to do that they don't go direct so all those levels of additional costs, you know, uh, so somebody flying over with the gemstones, their hotel costs, their hire car costs, their, you know, food and drink costs, all gets layered onto the cost of your tanzanite. So that, that's a big add-on. Big add-on. You know, you can talk, yeah, you, that can be up to anything. We've, it's actually between 10 and 15 middlemen. And we class a middleman as a person that is between you and the price of your jewellery. Or your gemstones, depending on whether you make your own with jewellery makers. That's a big... Every one of those is going to put what they class as their profit margin or their markup, it's called. Like you, if you sell your jewellery, you add on a little bit of profit, don't you? That's a lot of difference. That's the only reason we get to do the prices we do. Uh, and also, we insist on quality tanzanite. Absolutely, without exception. So, I've got the text come in from our lovely Sandra. She said, loving the tanzanite. Got mine. Also got the sapphire. Oh, you got the shape... Oh, yeah, the shaded blue sapphire. Good for you. She said, loving the blue gems today. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it's Dion. We're going to have blue gemstones, aren't we? She's a madam. Uh, now, look at that. I mean, that there, very strong saturation of colour. The perfect violet blue. Now, something to mention, I did, I've talked about this for years being a presenter, but it's not till you own one yourself that you fully appreciate what you're talking about. The reason being, I bought, a, or had bought for me a tanzanite ring. Took the tanzanite ring home, um, showed my lovely boyfriend on the evening, and he went, oh, yeah, in the lounge. We had the sort of lounge lights on. He said, oh, yeah, really lovely. Took it out the next day into sunlight, and my fella said, is that the same ring that you showed me last night? I went, yeah. He said, totally different colour. 
I said, yeah, because when you see an indoor light, it goes really violet. You get it into an outdoor light and you've got them all blue. And it is a fascinating gemstone for that reason. But because I only get to show you the one colour, because I've only got indoor light here, I've only got the fluorescent lighting, I can't give you the natural daylight look. It's impossible. I don't have it. I don't have any natural daylight. Okay, so take, if, you've never bought, if you've never bought Tanzanite from Jewelry Maker, you've got your 30-day money-back guarantee. This is going to be the perfect strand to start with because I'm guaranteed to be going under £25, 100%. Okay, and not just, and I think we're going to, it's not just going to be 24 95 Okay, now Dion loves the blue. Dion's our producer and she's the young lady um, that takes the price below where she should do, especially on the blue gemstone. Now she's feeling a bit feisty today. She's had her hair straightened. So she's a bit full of herself today. So she said, you know what? I'm, f I'm looking pretty darn hot today. It's blue. I, I don't care that it's a thousand times rarer than, than diamond. I'm just going to do what I think is right. So if you would like to own great grade, brilliant saturation of colour, fantastic tanzanite, the perfect violet blue, for less than £25, they are fully grad. Can I just stress another thing that our team do here? Imagine, A, taking the time to colour match that amount of gemstones per strand. Imagine they're going to do this on every strand. Every one of those tanzanites has, has got to be graduated. It's got a mirror image, so they're the same on each side. It graduates and graduates, two by one up to six by four mil. We've got to colour graduate, we've got to size graduate, we've got to hand drill the gemstone, we've got to mine the gemstone. And we're talking about up to a thousand metres. You imagine the cost of, of mining a thousand metres below the Earth's surface. It's so far down below the surface of the Earth that a lot of the miners, if they go down for a two day mine, they sleep down in the mine. It's such a big climb up and it's so exhausting, they think, forget that. And I've watched Steve Bennett climb out the mine. I kid you not, like an Indiana Jones, really rickety, very steep ladder. It's that steep. And bear in mind, this guy's walked to the North Pole, and this guy has done marathons. He's very, very fit, he's my lovely cousin. I, I'd still be in the mine. I, I'd never get out. <laughs> if I saw that ladder, I went, no, I'll stop here, thanks. <laughs> uh, now, so the text came in from Paula. Hello, lovely girl. Good morning. She said, Tanzanite is my favourite gemstone. It's a lot of people's favourite gemstone, isn't it? I've never met a soul that doesn't like... Tanzanite. Never, never, ever, ever. Can't believe the price of this. I've had 20, I've had two. She said, oh, good. I thought you said 21 then. It's an exclamation. She said, I think it's good for you. Uh, you may be emptying my bank account quickly, but thank you, JM. Oh, I hope we're not. I hope we're not emptying it. Keep a bit for yourself, Paula. Got to have your baked beans on toast, my love. Now then, okay. Liz just said, blooming it, Dion. What a fabulous price for such a lovely gemstone. Thanks very much. Have we put the price in on the website then? Oh, hang on. So those of you on the website, those of you on the telephone, you don't know what we're doing yet. We are going under 25, I promise you that. Now, ideal creator... So what does that say? Idea. Sorry. Sorry, I can't see. Yeah, put it on my screen because I'm getting old, dear. Idea, she said. So I thought you said ideal because I got my contact lens in. She went, create a setup like they're doing paint stores with different light boxes that will show the difference in different light sources. Do you know, that it, we can do that actually, we have a lighting box and you can put different, they're called incandescent light bulbs, candescent light bulbs, you can put different light bulbs in, but do you know what? We're always very wary of that because we don't ever want to um, try and sort of depict something the way, it, you can't even in these bulbs, yeah, we don't want to ever be seen to manipulate a gemstone. We're very honest, we're very honest about any treatment, we're very honest about whether it's genuine, whether it's heat treated, whether it's been coated, whether it's been bleached, we're very genuine. A lot of, gem not, a lot of companies don't do that, we're very proud of the fact that we're very honest, we're very transparent. We don't like to ever be seen to manipulate a gemstone, but I get what you mean, and also, there is no bulb, bulb in the world, no matter how good it is, no matter what it says on the bulb, that can ever deliver natural daylight. It just can't. And it's the natural daylight. And do you know what? Gemstones, it's all about how they interact with light. That's so important. It's about the saturation of colour, because that's 70% of the saturation of your value of your, value of your, of your gemstone. But it, it, it's that natural daylight. We can't conjure that up. We can't. Okay, so Sonia said, D-baby... D-baby burning prices into oblivion. She said, love you, girl. She's... Do you know what Dion's doing in the gallery here, Sonia, on this price point? She's literally sat there, proper full of a little self. She's got a beaming smile on her face. I can't wait to show you the price we've gone to. Shazza said, uh, now, you say that you can't have us on beans and toast, she said. <laughs> What's it say? 
You say that you can't have us on beans and toast. No, you say that you can't have us on beans and toast. No, you, no, you... Am I reading that right? No. You say that you can't have us on beans on... Us on beans and toast. Is it... Yeah, is it... Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry, I'm being a bit slow here today, Shazza. Is it the... Well, this is what my mum used to always say. She'd wait... She'd, she'd say we're on beans on toast all month, and then if she got paid, because she used to be a singer, and she'd get the gig money at the end of the day, she'd, she'd always say to the person that paid, oh, I can have meat on Sunday now. <laughs> Right then, okay. Um, right then, thank you, team. Now, I've got approximately six strands of tanzanite. They are lovely. Just need some more diamonds, then I can retire. Let me show you on the neckline. Do you know what I'd do with this? I'd buy two, because basically, uh, I'd buy two, I'd keep one, and then I'd, I'd make one into several pieces of different of tanzanite jewellery with, obviously, a minimum of sterling silver or rose gold-plated sterling silver or yellow gold-plated sterling silver findings. Um, and I would, I would make the make the money on this separate strand and keep the one for myself, and I've it the whole lot in a piece of jewellery. I would, yeah. Philip, hello. Um, oh, oh, I panic then. He said, I love and hate JM. Oh, I panic then. Uh, such bargains, I can't resist. Oh, that's all right then. Oh, I had a little moment then. Oh, I'm having a little fan myself. Oh, I panicked. I panic when I see that. Um, but yeah, right then, 32 carats, are you ready? 32 carats of tanzanite. We are mining up to 1,000 metres below the ground. We do not, we've always talked about this being a one generation gemstone. This has made itself into the top five precious gemstones of all time, along to the original four, ruby, sapphire, emerald and diamond. And it was only um, discovered just over 40 years ago. We're talking, in fact, 47 years ago. It was discovered 49 years ago in 1967. It was launched by Timfany and Company in New York in 1969. It is deemed to be the only location on the planet that will ever find Tanzanite, according to gemologists, because of the conditions of the area. It was um, found by chance because the original person that went to find it wanted the taxi driver to go a good few miles over the, over the way and uh, we would, may never have ever, if that taxi driver had, had not refused to go where he was asked to go, we may never have had Tanzanite. How awful would that have been? Oh, I tell you. So, get ready for the price. 32... Oh, no. You, Dion, you need to come in here and explain. She... Do you know what she said to me in my ear earlier? She said, Zine, these Tanzanites, I, I'm going to try and get to 21.95. She said to me, didn't you? You. She said, I'm going to go to 20. We got to 11.95. <laughs> oh, my word. Dion, you need to come in here. Dion, how many we got? Okay, so how many we got left? Okay. Okay, you're going to have to be quick on this one, my darlings. I don't even want to tell you how many we've got because I don't want to panic you. But Nicole, Heather, collectors in Cheshire, in Dumfries and Galloway, collector in Cornwall, in Gaynor, in Joan, collector in Surrey, Lynette, I can't keep up with you, Sue, in Berkshire. I've got that, and that's without the people in the telephones. Fleur, what do you think? What, what If you had this at 11... Because the thing is, when you're selling your jewellery, nobody needs to know what you paid for it. Just because you bought it at that doesn't mean... Nobody's going to know. No, no. Are you with me? I mean, I, I'm, 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 Gemma, I'm, a, I'm an AJP, so I'm, a, I'm an accredited jewellery professional. I've done my, uh, for, with the Gemological Institute of America. Now, I know my tans and I, I genuinely was amazed we were going to 21 95 genuinely. I cannot believe we've taken another £10 off and gone to 11 95 But you've worked with tans and I, I'm, I'm guessing you've sold tans and I as well? Yeah, a few pieces of tans and I, but only with sterling silver. Yeah. But... When we first, when I started here, is when we started to get a, a bit more tanzanite coming, yeah. and we were paying that for chips. A uh, exactly, chips. that's my point. Yeah, a, 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 perhaps a, a, a strand of a tanzanite yeah. chip. Yeah, and I thought yeah. I was, I thought I was, I, I thought I was over the moon that I could get tanzanite yeah. for in twelve pounds. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. In a, like I say, in any yeah. form. But now to be able to get these beautiful rondelles. Unbelievable. Yeah, rondelles. I mean, let me just show you. But hold it out for you. So you can see that violet blue. And when we think. You'd have to you'd have to buy a thousand tans a thousand diamonds to and then just put one tanzanite by the side of it and that's the rarity that we're talking about. I know we love diamonds. I'm a fan of diamonds. I've got a diamond engagement ring passed me by my late mother and I adore it. But you know you can get diamonds all over the world. You can only get this in one location and we do talk about this being a one generation gemstone. We do not know how long this would last. It might last another week. It might. Bear in mind. The tanzanite I'm bringing you, 
you might now this is what this is something i want to clear up right because if i was somebody at home and i wasn't in the trade and i didn't understand i would think right you keep telling me it's really rare i get it but then you keep bringing it me so i'm confused I'll, that's how i would feel let me explain to you the tanzanite we, that we bring to you currently will have been mined around about six years ago so this is about six years ago that this will have come out of the ground okay now that means that we're sort of six years behind what's coming when when my cousin steve bennett used to go to, Tan to, to, to tanzania he used to go down the mine and after a day they'd come out and there'd be a mass there'd be like a big table like your dining table full of tanzanite full big dining table come up now you can fit it in the palm of your hand that's what we're talking about the scarcity last time we went to the tanzanite mine he didn't get anything didn't buy anything so normally, when, when Steve used to go and buy tanzanite, there'd be people lined up with their bags of tanzanite all the way around the block, and they'd wait, and he'd value them, and he'd either reject them if they weren't good enough quality, or he'd get hold of them, whatever. But these days, there's no queue. There's no queue, because there isn't enough. There just isn't enough. So we don't know how long this is going to last. So please don't ever think, oh, there's loads of tanzanite. No, we've just, because we are one of the biggest three buyers, because we've got 80% of tanzanite, and we see 80% of tanzanite, rather, um, we get to reject anything less than brilliant. So you're all, if you want to guarantee the best tanzanite for your pennies, I guarantee you, you come to Jewelry Maker and Gempora and you've done it, I tell you. Now, just quickly, Sandra just said, just add a second strand to my order at that price. I know. Perfect way to rest after uh, a minor up on Monday. Oh, I hope you're okay, lovely Sandra. JM's on the TV and I've got a couple by my side. Oh, well, that's the perfect recuperation for you. And Tanzanite, 11 95 That's going to put a big smile on your face. Just quickly as well, I did say we had the wedding fair show last weekend. 572 wedding fairs in the UK this year alone. Let me just tell you now, perfect, because this is the gemstone of new beginnings. It's blue for weddings. It's great because it's the gemstone of childbirth. So if you know anybody that's just had a little baby, due to have a little baby, this is the perfect christening gift. Uh, it's just the most wonderful gemstone, the December birthday. Anybody, yeah, you know, anybody that ever sees Tanzanite will ask you what it is. Now look at that, it's just a perfect bracelet. Wouldn't that look lovely? Just beautiful. Okay, we are fast on the way to a sellout, okay? So I'll keep it to one side. If I've got any left, I'll show you, but you've got to get them quick at that price. Thank you, Dion, you little madam, little minx. Uh, oh, is that a, mix, a, a, a mixed, <laughs> a message? What's wrong with me today? I'm combining words. I just said that's a, a, a mixed, as in a text and a message. Very odd. I'm writing my own dictionary today. Alicia said, um, if it were at all possible, I love you all even more. Thanks. I've got two, she said. Oh, bless you, Alicia. I love Dion a bit more today for 11 95 yeah. a tonight. I tell you. Um, oh, T-bar. T-bar. T-bar, that's called. Uh, now then, she found him some more Labradorites. I've only bought you one strand of Labradorite today in the kit, haven't we, so far? We've been on it, gosh, three hours. Now then, you're looking at this thinking, oh, I've seen that. You haven't seen that before. It's brand new. Absolutely brand spanking new. Again, I mean, do you know what? This is one of the gemstones that is known as a phenomenal gemstone. Okay, and I don't just mean it's just phenomenal. Don't, that's not a throwaway comment. It's, it's a technical word for a gemstone that has an optical phenomena, which Labradorite does. And it has so much what you class as, um, let me get my little brainy, adularescence, thank you, I was just thinking of the word, adularescence, like moonstone, that it is, was renamed Labradorescence because it's so strong, it's so abundant in a Labradorite. Now, the, the, the um, gemstone of 2015, as voted for by you, was Tanzanite. This was the previous year, so 2014, and 2013. And I think it went for about three or four years, as, as the, three years as the gemstone of the year. It's just been picked off the post by Tanzanite. And I'll tell you what, if you did, Tanzanite and Labradorite, because of the metallic blue shimmers that come through on some of the stones, works really well. Now, look at that. Wouldn't that be perfect? Now, can I just ask my lovely producer, Dion, when are we doing these Labradorites, lovely sweet pea? 15 minutes, are we not making people... Oh, good, we're not making you wait. 15 minutes, 15. Um, right then, what should we do then? Um, okay, I've got some sterling silver for you now, you're looking... Well, we've got to bring you sterling silver after we've just bought Labra uh, Tanzanite, haven't we? Now then, this, can I just mention perfect, because we've got Valentine's Day three weeks on Sunday, okay? Because I've got some lovely hearts in here. It's a matrix collection, okay, and it is, I've got everything from kidney wire hooks to shepherd hooks to heart charms to toggle clasps. 
I've got beads. I've got, I've got to get some of these. I and mean, that's the picture there for you. Now, let me just show you some of these hearts. Because hearts are always represented. It's Valentine's Day, you think, with a heart, don't you? Look, aren't they lovely? Yeah, very substantial. These are solid 925 sterling silver, by the way. Look at that. They're low. I mean, love. I mean, just we've got a sterling silver um, chain coming up, uh, a necklace coming up. Just add that on, and you've got a ready-made yeah. necklace, haven't you? Yeah, that's all you need to do. Yeah. Do you know you got thirteen grams of silver in this collection? Thirteen grams. Now look, imagine making um, a love. Hang on, let me get these here as well. Hang on, you've just gone in the wrong box. Do you know there are thirteen grams of silver in this collection, Fleur? That's a lot of silver. That's a lot of silver, isn't it, my love? Now, look at these as well. Now, I've got a feeling Fleur's going to love these. Oh, look at that. I like those. I've got, again, charms, earrings, pendants, yep. bracelets. Just that as a pendant would look so pretty, wouldn't it? On one of those stretchy bracelets with all the jump rings on. Yeah. And then that just attached yeah. in. Oh, oh, yeah, I was just thinking that gunmetal cord or the great yeah. leather cord in the yeah. kit we've just had, sweet pea. Yeah. That looked nice oh, as well, wouldn't it? that'd be beautiful, really nice. Yeah. Like, you have to do a slide knot on it. Yeah. So it's just on there all the time. Yeah, yeah. really Brilliant. nice. Um, so we've got those as well. So just to, to uh, you've got a chain. We've always got chain for you, okay? So you've got here, um, uh, this is your extender chain. It's 20 centimetres. Now, for those of you thinking, what on earth is 20 centimetres? 20 centimetres is 8 inches. I'm just checking for you. 8 inches, okay? We've got some jump rings in there as well for you. Okay, so you've got some open jump rings, 10 of them in 5 mil, all sterling silver, so that's wonderful. We've got a toggle clasp for you, two toggle clasps in it, actually. So two toggle clasps, uh, two pairs of the shepherd hooks, two pairs of the ear and kidney wires, which are, which are those long ones that have got the secure, which I'll show you now, actually. These are brilliant because these are really secure, aren't they, Fleur? They are, and you can make interchangeable earrings with these. So Absolutely. if you want to make an interchangeable set, yep. so you could have Tanzanite just on a head pin and then sell, yep. say, I don't know, um, a Labradorite a brilliant set idea. as well. Because all they have to do is just hook it over. Yeah. And There's we no, yeah, no mechanics involved. Whenever we've had those sets on Gemporia, um, they've, done, they've gone really well. Sort of eight or nine different gemstones. Yeah, In fact, yeah. you could sell this as the birthstone kit. You could. Oh, hello. Have the te have the twelve birthstones and wear one each, and wear and have them yeah. as a whole whole year's worth yeah. of interchangeable birthstones. What a great idea! Okay, so just to just to confirm there, um, I've got the the little heart charms. I've got the, um, the the solid ones and the open ones. I've got the shepherd hooks, the the long ear wires, the toggle clasp, silver spacers, silver jump rings, and the eight inch chain as well. Wow. Solid 925 sterling silver. Okay, we're not stopping at 24.95. We could do. It's a fantastic value for money already. You've got all those hearts in for Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. Now, 17.95. My lovely Dion has just given you a huge saving there. In fact, we've just given you a seven pound saving. That. I mean, just that as a, as a pendant is beautiful, isn't it? And again, Mother's Mothering Sunday as well. Yeah. And I think you'd be able to get the really small punches. We used to do some really small letter punches, about three millimetre letter yeah, punches. Yeah, we had some on the other day in the, the stance with the penguin font. Yeah. Yeah, we had them the other some day. Some that are five mil, some that are three mil. And you'd get the three mil ones if you wanted to stamp them. You would just, that. wouldn't you? So you could have initials or yeah. a date for a wedding yeah. or an yeah. anniversary or... Yeah. I love these ones as well. Now, can I hold the other ones up? Just get my little finger in into these. Look, look at these. I love them. I love them. I'd have those as earrings. I would. I think that's beautiful. It's that gorgeous, one. isn't it? But just remember, sterling silver. Sterling silver. Now, you've got the capacity there to make four pairs of earrings. Now, even in sterling silver, if you add one gemstone onto a pair of sterling silver, you've got to be minimum, no matter what the gemstone is, minimum £15, yep, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. In sterling silver. Yep. So let's say, got to add in the cost of your gemstone, obviously, but whatever the gemstone, four pairs of earrings, £15, that's £60 plus the cost of your gemstone. That's the potential there, just from the earrings. That's without the toggle clasp, you could make two bracelets or a pair of cufflinks. Uh, we've got the charms, you've got, again, look, you've got uh, eight charms there, you've got the eight-inch necklace, uh, bracelet, you know, just the ster sterling silver heart charm there, they've got to be 10, 15 pounds on their own, haven't they? If I put the open heart charm, you know, the, the Yeah, I'll show one, you that one again, yeah. If I put that onto the sterling silver chain, yep. and with one of the toggle clasps, 
that would be about £35. Pounds. Wow. So just in one piece? Yeah. And then if you wanted to add a tanzanite, yeah. little, just one rondelle of tanzanite on the back yep. of the extender chain, then, yeah. There you go. So money-making potential. But also I think when you're a, 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 a designer of jewellery, you know, y yes, it's nice to have the, the, copper, the copper alternatives and then have them need the silver-plated, rose gold-plated, yellow gold-plated. But then if you add in that silver, this is what we do, this is what we, uh, I know Steve Bennett does with Gemporia, basically has very high-end with the Arthur Ivy collection and the Larique collection, and then has things like we do, you know, at your, your £10, your £20, to show the full breadth of what you're capable of, as a, get, as a designer, but also then if you've got sterling silver, you've got gold, and we are coming up next month, hopefully, if they come into stock for you, brand new nine carat gold findings. Oh, yeah, not just plated, solid nine carat gold findings. It does alleviate you does. As, and, and your, your, your perception, yeah. doesn't it? And also, as well, if, even if you don't sell your jewellery, say, I mean, I've, with my nieces, like we usually set aside £20 yeah. for a present or yeah. I could buy that and make her a bracelet for twenty pounds for yeah. what that's cost me. I've got the rest of the you know, the matrix box and she's got a present that is worth yeah. a lot more than twenty pounds. Exactly. That she can then, you know, keep and it's still in silver, yeah. you know, it's you're making heirloom pieces, aren't you? It's yeah, not it's not fashion you jewellery, you're making this heirloom This is gonna be pound legacy pieces. Yeah. Totally yeah. great. You get the little storage boxes which is reusable for all your findings and your gems of distinction as well. So, um, oh, just to mention, when you get this home, because a lot of you have, now Louise just said, I've got this last week, she said, and the charms alone are worth this price. We totally agree with you, Louise. Totally agree with you. Now, I went to see a friend the other day, and I took her some jewellery, and she went to throw this away out of the packaging. I said, no, 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 don't do that. She went, well, what is it? That's your anti-tarnishing square. So leave that in when we, you know, in this matrix, leave it, don't throw it away because it, it helps to, to anti-tarnish, it does what it says on the box, it helps to not l let your silver tarnish. Um, obviously you can polish your silver up with a silver and polishing cloth, but keep those, those little squares in there, don't throw it, because she went, she put it in the box, what are you doing? She went, well, I don't know what it is, I said, it's anti-tarnishing square, you muppet. She went, all right, okay. Um, so there you go. Silly sausage. Fancy throwing it away. Silly girl. Uh, but she didn't know, to be fair, so we'll let her off. If she's watching, sorry, Anne. <laughs> Anne's going to be going to us for dinner on Tuesday. <laughs> she's not cooking for you now. No. <laughs> she's saying you cheeky thing. Uh, right then, it's about time that we stop the show, I think. And I've got just the thing with my cheeky show stopper to do it. Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. It is showstopper time. So what does it mean? It means we, we find something that we think is going to stop the show. It's that good. Whether that's what it is, the quality, the, 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 the rarity, the unusualness of it, um, and um, the deal that we can do. Well, it's blue. So we've got Dion in the producer's chair, so we know it's going to be ridiculous, OK? She's just put showstopper at the bottom. Now, if I can get it open, that's, that's the... Oh, it's because it's sellotaped. Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> Other sticky things are available. Um, yeah, it's, um, mm, that's helpful. This could be interesting, couldn't it? Do you want to just have a chat amongst yourselves for a minute? <laughs> yeah, I can't open it. Oh, that's really, yeah. Sorry about this, I can't open it. <laughs> I can't open it. Yeah, can we show the slide while I try and... Oh, gosh, I'm making a right noise as well. I literally cannot open it. Um, it's because we've stuck it down for some reason. Okay, let me talk you through it. Um, we've got this time silver plated. So again, we're giving you a, we're giving you silver just uh, in solid nine to five sterling silver. This time we're going to silver plated copper to give you both options. We've included some tanzanite in there. Okay, we've included some tanzanite in there. Okay, now then. Right, are you ready? So, I've got it open now. Thank you to the lovely Kaz. Yeah, Kaz, I've just got it. Okay, right then. Um, don't even, you, the price is going to absolutely amaze you. We've got some chain, which I've got to show you as always. Not just a little bit of chain, 40 centimetres, silver plated. Okay, nice big link. So again, imagine that with the, with the, again, we've just had those lovely charms, haven't we? They'd be, oh gosh, gorgeous. Um, so we'll do 40 centimetres of this, 20 carats, let me just show you this again. 20 carats 
of your tanzanite, okay? 20 carats of tanzanite in that box there for you, look, and really beautifully saturated. Little gemstone nuggets there for you. Uh, just to talk through, we've got your shepherd hooks, so just to show there, got your shepherd hooks, two pairs of those. We've got the gore, I love those chandeliers. Now you can make that on a wire jig if you want to, out of your sort of last, you know, your, your little scrap pieces of wire, but great to have them ready made as well, but especially with the three sort of loops into yeah. position. Yeah, it's more substantial yeah. like this because it's been soldered in Exactly, place. so it's nice and secure, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely. So you've got two pairs of those. You've got as well, uh, now the good news is in this one, which is brilliant, you get two, are they the same size? Two lobster clasps. Get two of these. I'm just going to check the sizes because sometimes we do different sizes. No, they're both the same, 10 by 7 mil. They did look the same, I just wanted to check. So two lobster clasps as well. Okay, um, and we've got jump rings, so we've got, um, how many of those we've got? Do, 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 do. Six mil, 20 of them, silver plated, so you've got 20 of those in the six mil for you. And you've got some spacer beads. I'll show you the spacer beads, they're really cute. Okay, let me show you these. Little round beads, can I get any out? Now if I get them out, I'm going to tip the whole lot out, actually no, I can't get them out. <laughs> I just suddenly thought, no, that's going to go everywhere. Those are your lovely little silver plated spacer beads, you get 20 of those. Sorry, 50 of those. I do apologize. 50. Right, let's get this right. 20 jump rings, 50 spacer beads, two toggle clasps, two lobster clasps, two pairs of the chandelier earrings, two pairs of the shepherd hook earrings, a 40 centimetre of the oval link chain, 20 carats of tanzanite, all silver plated. Are you ready for this? It's an 80 piece matrix kit with the, with the, with the, um, with the little box as well, with the plastic lid. Do you know it's a good job you're sat down, Fleur Hastings? Why is it going to be? It's going to be a Dion de Bon smashing this into oblivion, as one of our customers said this morning. Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh, 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 Dion! <laughs> that is so bad. So I'm never. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Look at Fleur. We've rendered Fleur speechless. I can't, Fleur, be, I can't believe that's that price. I, I mean, well, as well, what a lovely gift that would be. Yeah, really nice Easter gift. You know, instead of an Easter egg, it's the same sort of price as an Easter egg, isn't it? Yeah. Give that as an Easter gift. Yeah, well, oh, do you know, that's a lovely idea, yeah. And the thing is as well, if you know anybody, anybody with a December birthstone, that's their birthstone, Tanzanite, anybody, as I said, anybody getting married because you've got something blue and it's great for new beginnings. Well, what an excuse this is. I mean, let's face it, it's a new day today. It's a new minute. It's a new hour. If you've got a new job. So we said you get the sellotape with it. No. <laughs> Take it. Do you know? Victoria. I like your sense of humour, though. She said, do you get the sellotape with it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to peel it off. <laughs> Avril just said, hi, it's you, Fleur and Tim. Hello, Avril. Good morning, darling. She said, I already have one of these matrix kits, which remains unused at the moment, but I couldn't resist another one. Well, do you know, as well, we've got um, half term coming up, haven't yeah, we? Bre yeah. Most kids break up on the 12th of Feb, don't they? Yep. Yeah. What a lovely gift for the kids just to be. And it's really good as well. Do you know, sometimes if you've um, got into a, a bit of a rut with your designing, yeah. sometimes if you just get this at 4 95 like a little mini kit, add some head pins to it or a little bit of wire. So, Challenge yourself, say, if, yeah. I only, if I only add in sort of like a, a threading pack, what yeah. can I make? Or if I only add in yeah. some head pins, yeah, what idea. can I make? And it's really good to try and, you know, to A bit like can't push. cook, won't cook, when they used yeah. to bring a bag of stuff in that's that, it. And the chef had to make stuff with that. Yeah, yeah, and so you just challenge yourself to make something that you haven't made before mm. or to push yourself out of your comfort zone. Lee Evans, you saw make me laugh on that. He t really tapped the mickey out, he'd go, don't cook, won't, won't cook, don't, what was it? What was it called? Can't cook, won't cook, cook what was yeah. it? Was it can't cook? Won't he used to always go, it's can't cook, won't cook, don't flipping cook then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Liz just said, Dion, can you have your hair straightened more, please? <laughs> Dion, are you listening? Stop yucking then. So she's right, you're yucking there. I said, Liz, this is for you. Liz has just said, Dion, she said, can you have your hair straightened more, please? These prices that you were giving us are fabulous. I'm getting as many as I can. She said, yeah. She said she'll have her hair straightened more often if she can afford it. Sonny just said, now that's made my broke, ooh. Ooh, I've broken me toe once. It flipping hurts getting out the bath. That's made my broken toe feel better. Ba D baby strikes again. Boo! 
Boom! Happy, happy days. Broken toes, bad man, isn't it? Broken I did mine a couple of weeks ago. You, you are? I broke my little toe a couple of weeks ago. Your little one? You broke your little one? Walked into the skirting board. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I know. Sorry. I Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, should I? Sorry. I took all the skin off and my nail as well. Oh, so, right. yeah, you we shouldn't don't laugh. need the full detail. So you Some people haven't had their me. breakfast yet. Come on. <laughs> you all right? Are oh, you all right now? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Mm. You've never asked before, but I'm fine now. <laughs> I didn't know you'd bust it. How can I ask you if I don't know you'd bust <laughs> I it? I thought I told you. No. Oh, was it not you that I told you? Wasn't me, look. No. Oh, can't I get in trouble for a broken toe because I didn't ask? <laughs> so sorry. Right. <laughs> Knock yourselves out, four ninety five. Uh, right then, coming up next, we've got a... Is it a star buy as well? We just have a showstopper to star buy. Oh, Labrador, get ready. OK, we have given you a sneaky peek of this Labradorite. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's 90 carats of Labradorite. Now, if you look at that thing, is it natural? Oh, yeah, baby. Totally natural. Now, don't forget as well, on Jewelry Maker, we um, ensure that we have all of our gemstones uh, independently tested at a laboratory. Many white coats and ladies, obviously. Um, so we make sure we know we've got the documentation to support it. So if you want to add in authenticity gift cards, you can do the 25 pence what now angela was here uh, one of our guests is on is doing a business workshop yesterday and, sh and she'll agree with me if you're going to sell your jewelry work that 25 pence or double it up and make it 50 pence you make a bit of profit as well work the cost of that authenticity gift card into when you and give it free of charge do you agree with that yeah definitely yeah, yeah. that's a nice uh, nice yeah. touch i think now this brand new you're not seeing this particular strand before it's never this is its foot this is its debut Oh my goodness me, now that is the perfect size for gents and ladies jewellery. It's absolutely spiffing, don't you know? It starts, we start at the end by, uh, at the smaller sizes, but they have whoppers already, six by two mil, they're already bigger, that ain't look. They go lovely with the kit Labradorite that we had yeah, earlier as well, wouldn't they? Because they're different really shapes. Nice. Yeah, with all the leathers and that yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, because we had those silver leather, leathers, yeah. that gunmetal leather in the kit, didn't yeah. we? Um, 90 carats of Labradorite because they're so big. They go up to 7 by 3 mil as well. So they're absolute whoppers, aren't they? I'll show you on the neckline. They're totally natural. Now, we were talking yesterday on the show about loving to go to Madagascar. I'd love to go to Madagascar to actually see Labradorite. Mm. Where it actually, you know, I mean, it comes from different places in the world, but Madagascar is really delivering the most gorgeous, gorgeous... Um, area of the world now Ollie's just made a point in my own he's quite right the great the reason why Labradorite looks so works so well as a necklace is because you have the shadow of your head got the shadow of your chin if you've got a brucey chin like me you might have two chins who knows so you've got that shadow going on but then as you twist look and the light catches and your head sort of shadow moves or your chin shadow moves the light catches and that's where all the magic starts the firestone this was known as the glorious Labradorite. Now, what it does is it's got a, a phenomenon, as I said, an optical, an, a, an optical effect called adularescence, which was in then turn renamed Labradorescence because this has adularescence, which is the same thing that the blue metallic light shimmer that comes through in a rainbow moonstone. Okay, but because this is transparent moonstone, but uh, transparent moonstone is rainbow, rainbow moonstone. But because it's so abundant in Labradorite, it got renamed. And it is amazing. But again, as I was saying earlier, I haven't got any natural daylight. I cannot tell you. In fact, I look at the FIFA reviews on the Jewelry Maker website because I tell you now, every person I think I've ever spoken to has said, oh, you keep telling me about how much better Labradorite looks in daylight. But I didn't believe it till I saw it for myself. And everybody then agrees. Yeah. Do you agree? I do. I do agree. It's, it's my number one seller i mean i don't sell as much now as i used to because i'm here quite a lot yeah but it, yeah whenever it was on my stand or on my website it just used to fly it's fascinating it isn't is, it? it really is it's one of those gems that you could just sit and look at for hours and just keep turning it and just be mesmerized every single time by those flashes yeah. of color yeah it is yeah. i mean this for me is a magical stone absolutely magical it's just something mystical it's it's, it's, I mean, I took this home uh, just to show, not, not this particular strand, but I did, I did, um, I, I did take a Labradorite, a cabochon home to show my, my fella. And he sat, at, he was like this at the dining table, just doing that. 
I lost him for about 20, he didn't speak for 20 minutes, I'll never forget it. And he was absolutely mm. captivated. Yeah, and when you think you found the piece of labradorescence, as soon as you turn it, there's even more, yeah. even on just what every single one of those will show it. It's just amazing. It's incredible. It is absolutely. an amazing gemstone. Yeah. Um, now, Miss Janet, hello, gorgeous. She just said, stunning, great show, gang. Oh, thanks, Miss Janet in East Sussex. You're lovely. Right, shall we get the price in? Shall we, shall we, shall we? Oh, no. Oh, you are amazing. Do you know what, Dion? We do love you. Well, it's got a bit of blue in it, she said. Pop it if you get the tanzanite. Can you imagine? This tanzanite we took to 11.95. So let's just work this out. So 12, So for less than £22, you could have the lab, you could have the tanzanite and you could have the labradorite. Okay, now Avril just said, oh Dion, I see blue in those labradorite rondelles. She just took a pound off. What, just because Avril said there's blue in it? You are a madam, as my mother would say. You are a madam and we love you. 90 carats of lab. Oh, Avril, do you know what? Everybody that's checked out, you can all thank Avril there because she's just got you all down to 8 95 and you'll all pay the lower price. Okay, now I'm worried because, listen to this right, I've got Victoria, Rosalind, Carol, collector in Somerset, Sheila, collector in Surrey, I've got a collector in Denby, Denby Shire, I'm guessing, yeah, one in the East Riding of Yorkshire, Amanda, Angela, Avril's just come in on that now because she's been responsible for taking it down to 8 95 Well done, you, Avril. Elizabeth in the tiny way. Collector in Cumberland. Uh, I've just done it again. In Cumberland instead of, <laughs> instead of Northumberland because it was Cumbria. I said, what's wrong with me today? Can you keep all my words mixed up? It's very odd. Um, Sissy said, I will say it again. She said, I have bought, yes, yeah, she said this to me yesterday, didn't you? She said, I bought over 30 parcels, well, 31, because she bought one yesterday, 31 parcels of your Labrador, and I've never been disappointed in any of them. Well, we say Sissy in Oklahoma, she's going to be Sissy of Texas soon, or Sissy of Colorado. Um, yeah, she's never been, she's 31 parcels, because she bought one yesterday. Never, ever been disappointed, she said. And do you know what? I, I, no. You've worked with quite a number of our Labrador yeah. strands, haven't you, yeah, Flo? Have. What's your opinion? I think that, I mean, going back four years when we first started to see Labrador, I, I was watching and buying then. Sometimes you'd have to turn one and try and find a bit of Labrador essence on it. Yeah. These ones that we've been getting now for the past year and a half are just full. Yeah. They're just amazing. And it doesn't matter if it's faceted or unfaceted. Yeah. I think it's one of the only gemstones that looks just as beautiful. Smooth, smooth or, faceted. or faceted. I absolutely agree it's, with you, darling. It's yeah. just amazing. It is an amazing gemstone. Yeah. And like you say, it's... Um, I have it personally on my wrist so I can see it all the time. Yeah, I, I've got to be honest, I'm <laughs> yeah. the same. I tend to make bracelets, although I have to say, the two big cabochon um, pendants that Deb Briggs and Mark Smith have made yeah. me, oh gosh, they're just unbelievable. Can I just mention, ah, oh, Tony in Essex, my lovely friend, Tony, hello, gorgeous girl. In fact, I've just had Maggie, Christine, Margaret, Carol and Tony all on the telephone, okay? So that that is, um, I'm just, how many have I got left? I've got 25 left, so Angela, all the collectors, um, Joe, Joanne, Fiona, um, that's without the telephone buyers as well. I've only, oh, hang on, we're down to 15. Okay, that is the most incredible. 8.95. And a massive thank you to Avril there. One more look. Avril got us down to 8.95 just by saying she sees blue in it. So a massive thank you to Avril and uh, Dion there. Brilliant. Well done. Now, I did promise some peacock pearls, didn't Oh, hang on, is it the ones? Which one? We've done that. Which one? Oh no, sorry, we did the um, half drilled ones. Oh, do you know what? Can I show you those with the Labradorites? Oh, I think I go really nice. Oh yes, oh I'd like that. Oh, what do you think Fleur? That's really nice. Isn't it? That is gorgeous, really lovely. Uh, okay, I just wanted to show you those. Um, now, Peacock, oh, that's what I'm talking about. We look for the Orient. What's the Orient? Do we know? Iridescence. So you are, the value of a pearl will be down to its size. So you've got a good size there, seven by eight mil. You're looking for smoothness. Again, you've got lovely smoothness, but you're really looking for full on luster. Now the luster is, uh, is where you get the light. And can you see how it bounces off and sort of ricochets off the surface? And that's what gives you that lovely light reflection. That's called luster. And then you've got the Orient. 
my darlings. Not the train. You're not going on the Orient Express. This is where all that iridescence, and iridescence is all that, can you see rainbow of colour coming through? Got some like yellows and goldens and pinks and some purples coming off there as well. It's wonderful. Peacock, genuine freshwater cultured pearls in that lovely, I love it when we say potato pearls. Have you ever had a potato look like that? No. Potato. Peacock pearls. What do you think of those, Fern? I would love these and I'd knot them in between with some bright red silk. Bright red yeah. silk. All for yeah. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would be very. It would be very sexy, wouldn't it? I've got a strand of peacock pearls that I've done with orange because I've got a black and orange dress, a bit oh, like yeah. this one. So yeah, I um, tend to always have a, a strand of pearls. So I love pearl knotting. I think that's really therapeutic yeah. for me as well. But I like to do the different colours. But just looking at the tanzanite, if you put the tanzanite in between each one, I was just thinking one, that. Yeah. That I mean, you wouldn't have to knot between that. If you could, you could yeah. thread, it, thread it all onto your um, silks. So you've got a beautiful drape. Yeah. Um, but that would be a really stunning piece. No. Thank you, sweet pea. Gorgeous face. Uh, you got pearls, and they go nice with your white pearls as well, wouldn't they? Alternate them. Um, uh, uh, Louise has just said, oh, now, yeah. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Actually, the Lepidolite would look good with that. Shall we show it? Oh, yes, I like that. Oh, now, yes. Have we got any of those Lepidolites left? We've just popped them on the bottom of the screen. We went to less than £20 on the Lepidolite, 87 carats. The code's on the bottom of the screen. We, now, she just astounded me yet again. I've got to give you a count. We've got time. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We've gone to 7.95 and I'm at 20 and I'm not even halfway through. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. I don't believe it. 52, 54, 58. 58 freshwater peacock, gorgeous cultured pearls, 7 by 8 mil, amazing luster. I mean, you could be, that, we're talking 14 pence per pearl. 14 pence per pearl. Pop that onto sterling silver uh, findings that we bought you earlier, or the sterling, or the silver plated um, copper that we just had you in the matrix kit. Add a little tanzanite on, add a, add a peacock pearl. You've got to be talking over £30, haven't you? Definitely. Mm, amazing, Seven ninety five. Now, we have had a lot of people come in on that free phone number, 0800 6444 655. This has, understandably, and the tanzanite as well, uh, previously, uh, caused a little bit of a wait. Uh, so, but don't worry, that call centre know you're there. It's free phone, so you ain't got to worry about that. Um, keep checking out the website or the Jewelry Maker app with your PayPal if you prefer. But this has created a teensy-weeny bit of a wait, but we will get to you. Okay, so don't worry, seven ninety dollars worth away, isn't it? Um, right then. Now, I did promise you a sterling silver chain, didn't I? When we brought you the, earlier on this morning, if you were watching, thinking, when is that sterling, well, I say chain, necklace. Finish curb chain basically means fully finished necklace. Now, because you can see, and it's got a lovely weight to it, weight to it this necklace, because it's very compact in its design, it's a curb chain, but it's, uh, do you know what, you, what, you've got five grams of silver in this necklace. It's a really heavy one, isn't, isn't it? it? It's not heavy, it's in, Yeah, you can really feel it, can't you? It's a it's real very substantial, substantial one. yeah. And again, I think because of that, that compact nature of the design, male or female. Yeah, I definitely. really do. Yeah, Ollie's a, a gentleman, he's just said to me, my email director, he said, yep, totally agree, definitely. Now, I've only got 60. Can I turn it over, though? I'll show you on the neckline, but let me just turn it over so you can see. Because the good news is, and I'm just going to measure it fully extended, just to double check I've got it right. Yep, so with that extender, 16 to 18 inch, because what we ha we pop on the back, which I think is, I never knew about these until I came to work for Jewelry Maker, and, uh, I, ne and, and uh, I never did. Two inch extender there. So if you're like me and you sometimes you're thinking, oh, I don't know whether I want 16 inch or I want 18 inch or I want something in between, that there, it's like I've just had a beautiful uh, Larique pendant, very lovely, and I'm very grateful, but it came on an 18-inch chain, and it's too long for me. I need it shorter, but I don't necessarily want 16. I want to make in between. These are brilliant for that. We also add in, okay, uh, oops, excuse me, a, a bolt, uh, bolt clasp, or spring-release clasp, you might know it as, and then that little silver disc, which is hallmarked, okay? So that's your actual curb chain. Would you like to see it on the neckline? Now, seven ninety five. I started with less than sixty. Let me show you that on the neckline. Louise just said, "I have this. It's really weighty, while still dainty." Oh, it weighs. It, it, that that rhymes. 
elegant, if that makes sense. It totally makes sense. That's exactly what, what we were saying, wasn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, so it does look very, very sort of, very lovely density to the chain itself. 7.95, so no brainer. Uh, thank you for that, Louise. Um, right then. Is it the rose quartz? Ah, they're here. Okay, I know I've been promising these all day. This is the, there are two colours, light blue and a pastel pink rose, and it is actually called rose quartz for the Pantone colour for 2016. So if you want to make jewellery that is bang on trend colour-wise, that is your perfect gemstone for 2016 massive 785 carats now in the studio we don't tell you how many you're going to get but just to give you an idea i've got 15 5 10 15 in the studio now there are 17 on the image so it just shows you that there is a variation on on the on the number of cabochons that you'll get uh, i've got some lovely pear drops in the studio i've got um, sort of quite a wide oval i've got um i mean just let me show you uh, a beautiful pear drop as well yeah, some of these are absolutely huge. They're that lovely sort of fluffy candy floss, pastel pink. It, oh, they're dreamy, aren't they? They are. And you put in a rose quartz cabochon and you've got sort of like a, like a timeless elegance that you, you add in. Yeah, you have. And it goes with, um, you can put it with a real a black gemstone or a smoky yeah. quartz gemstone. You can put it with pearls. This It goes with a lot rose quartz and it's again one that people know so yeah, if you are giving it as a gift or selling it people do know what rose quartz a looks like what the color should be yeah and they've heard of it as a gemstone yeah absolutely now just really quickly as so i'm just going to show it very quickly because sorry if i just snatched my hand away then because um somebody messaged in what would it look like with the lapidolite it would look absolutely stunning is what it would look like look look at that wow Wow, let's get the price in. 758 carats and we've gone to 9.95. That is a real, we have gone absolutely, I tell you what, if we were doing the, is it the limbo where you have to go right under the, I'll tell you what, under the stick, that's what we've just done there. We have got 758 carats. Uh, again, if you just managed to pop those, if you did get the shadow white earlier, look, that would look lovely as well. Uh, now, if we have, if we, if we go by the 15 that we've got in the studio, per cabochon, 66 pence, I ask you, for the Pantone colour of 2016 as well. And a timeless classic, rose quartz. Oh, OK, we've got to go to a break now, my lovelies. We've got one more hour with you, my lovely, myself and the lovely Fleur. So um, please stay with us if you can. Um, and we will be with you after the break. We have, can I read this in 30 seconds? Yes, I can. Hi, girls. Um, great group if on a down, great group if on a down day, put jewelry maker on. Ah, you get a good laugh at all times. It's my hobby. I do it for charity and I love it. It's relaxing. You could buy the store in my eyes, Deb's in Somerset. <laughs> if you're on a down day. Uh, right then, so thank you very, very, very much. Uh, thank you to the amazing Fleur for your thank amazing you. demonstrations as well. Please join us if you can shortly. So take care. See you in a bit. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting. But being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity